Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to another one. Hope all is well. For those that's watching the rebroadcast, please give me a like, comment, share, subscribe. All that would be greatly appreciated. It helps me out. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate it in advance. But um, as we see here, we got some short clips here of um, the gold jacket holder, Warren Sapp, teaching these young men how to hunt the quarterback. Um, he is very valuable. Um, I said it before, he's a very valuable asset to this team. And I know that his position is a, a graduate, whatever they're calling it. He's a coach, actually. I'm calling him Coach Sapp. He's not a graduate. He, they could say on paper he's a graduate assistant. Hey, what's up, Warren? They could say that he's a graduate assistant on paper. No, 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 no. He's not a graduate assistant. He's a coach. That's what he is, and he's out there showing them how to hunt this court, these quarterbacks. And these uh, for the for the um, for the team, their only job is to listen and soak it up. And hopefully, that's what they're doing. Anytime he is speaking to you, I, I mean, stop what you're doing and look at him, and get that and get that information. That's their only job, man. And they and I think that's going to improve that defensive line game. And um, I've, I'm I'm fully thinking that they're going to get more people in when that transfer portal opens back up. I don't think they're quite done recruiting yet because it's still early on in the game. I mean, it's it's only spring right now. So they have a whole summer. That, I mean, it's going to be more people coming in. And then also we got some freshmen coming in that's not there yet. What's up? I'm listening. What's up, Cove 2X? But they have a whole uh, off season to get to get prepared to try to go make a run. And I know they're not done recruiting because um, Coach had said it. Coach Prime has said it uh, briefly. He had said it real fast. You had to be catching them to listen. He was like, "Yeah, we got we we like what we got here. But we we are going to add on to it." He said it. It was in their last practice when they had that huddle session. I, I'm going to bring it up. Um, after I finished watching this clip, but uh, he kind of briefly said it. He said that we, you know, he liked what he see right here, but we gonna add on to it, and definitely he's gonna add on to it. But um, they go, they really gonna try to make a run. I had mentioned in my last live that they had already had a clip in the chamber for Warren Sat when he got there. That I believe that article was written before he got there. They were just waiting for him to get there and for because they weren't going to stop him from coming because they're trying to keep Coach Prime there. Because um, if he leaves, the whole team is following him. Most of the players are following him to wherever he goes. I promise you that. So their job is to try to keep him happy and keep him there. Because I'm telling you, after the after this season, especially if they make a run, let's say, for example, all he got to do is win eight games and um, major college programs around the country is going to be um, barking. I mean, knocking down his door because he has the bet. He has the, now that coach Saban has retired, all eyes are on them. All eyes were on them last year because they wanted to see what he can do, but all eyes are going to be on him this year. The whole team, he has the biggest platform in the business possibly including the NFL. The NFL and the NCAA combined, combined, he has the biggest platform. I know one NFL owner that wants him, okay, because he won his two sons. So, you, of course, he want him too. Because not just for football, for for all what they bring, um, the media attention and everything else, that, and that equals money. That equals jersey sales. That equals ticket sales. Um, that whole damn stadium would be damn near sold out. So he's looking at he's looking down in the future, right? I mean, they still got Dak Prescott, but that means that Shador doesn't have to come in and start right away. If they still have Dak Prescott, he could he could stand to you know, like kind of how like Tom Brady did when he came to New England. They had Drew Bledsoe until he got hurt, thanks to my New York Jets. Mo Lewis took um, Drew Bledsoe out of the game. That was in Giant Stadium. He damn near killed Drew Bledsoe, actually. 
that's how hard the hit was Mo Lewis put on him. And then Tom Brady was able to come in and then the rest was history. I'm not saying he's going to have a Tom Brady-like career, but he certainly has the potential to. Um, he just need protection. That's all Shador needs. If you notice when he dropped back, he's very relaxed. That's when he has protection. That's when he's most dangerous. Um, he also can run as well, but he's not dangerous with his feet. He's dangerous with his eyes. That's what makes him most dangerous, his eyes and his um and him going through his project um um going through his um what do you call it? Processions um and picking the right target. And you see in in the in the practice, Coach Prime want him to release that ball earlier, meaning that when the wide receiver right before he's at the top of his route, he wants that ball out of his hands. So if you know where the wide receiver is supposed to be, and right before at the top of his route, before um, he reaches his route, he wants that ball out of his hands. And I think that's the only thing that coach know he has to work on. And um, that's pretty much it. But if he got time, he's going to be dangerous. So I'm not worried about the quarterback position this year. I'm not worried about I'm worried about that offensive line. I'm not even worried about the defensive line. I'm worried about that offensive line. If they can, um, which is early, I mean, they got the whole offseason to get it together because I'm pretty sure uh, Coach Lowhold is going to get them together. But that's really all they need is to give him a few seconds. That's pretty much it. And that ball, he's going to be deadly. But um, I think they still need more depth, especially at that linebacker position. Or maybe the uh, um, offensive line, too, need a little bit more depth, too, I think. Because right now we're only working with two centers. That's not good. What if one goes down? Then we only got one left for the season. So they need a little bit more depth there. But I'm pretty sure they – well, actually, no, we got three. I kept forgetting about the young kid that came in, uh, Cash. Cash Cleveland, I keep forgetting about him. But um, I think they – I'm for sure they're going to go out and get more to add more depth in certain key positions. And – um. Just with the what we have right now at the wide receiver position and the running back position, that's in the offer. That's enough to make a run this year. I'm not worried about the secondary. Shiloh and them got that um, down pack, and um, that kid from Florida State still starting. What's his name at the at the cornerback position? He still got it, so he's not losing his position. Um, not sure what's going on with Kermani. I'm not sure if he's hurt. But that kid is not losing his position. And he's a senior, too. He's not going to lose it. It's going to be him, Travis, Travis J. Uh, Travis J, he's ready. And uh, I forget the other kid right now. Those are our cornerbacks. The safety positions I'm not worried about. Shallow and the other kid got it together. Linebacker position, I actually am really not worried about that either. Um, I like Bentley. A lot of people don't like him. I like Bentley. He has a, he has a lot of experience, and it seemed like Trevor stand on that field as you can see. He's the projected starter at one of those positions. And then we remember we have Gant as well. Gant is back healthy again, so I think we should be straight now. So I think that I think this is the team to make the run this year. It looks definitely the team looks different than it did last year. You can see it. And also, um, Passarello is now healthy again. He's our biggest tight end. Make no mistakes about it. He's bigger than um, Matea, actually. He, I think he's the projected starter at the tight end, at one of them tight end positions. It'll be um, Passarello if he decides to stay. Um, then you got Yelver Yelverton as well. Then you have um, Matea. But I think Passarello is the projected starter. Uh, he's like 6'5", 250 or something like that. He's a big kid. He's a big target. And you know Shador likes to throw to his tight ends. He did it at Jackson State. So they do need those tight ends to get busy. And um, they're going to use multiple tight ends. That's exactly what they did at Jackson State. So if if Shador has um, time to release that ball, you're going to see you're going to pick up where he left off at Jackson State. That's what that's the type of um showing that you're gonna see from him. 
and he's going to thread the needle to Travis and Travis is going to go up to get his circuit shots like he always did. And we just need them to stay healthy. That's that's Travis Shador and Shiloh's only job right now is to stay healthy. That's it. Uh, as far as their as far as their play, I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about the kid from Florida State. Not worried about him at the cornerback position. He should be even even more stronger this year. And also the other kid that they brought in. Now the wide receiver position, they're gonna they're gonna go ham this year. Expect them to go ham. So it's gonna be an air raid this year. Um now that we got number 10 on the team and he got all that separation, he has the speed and he can also separate. It's gonna be an air assault this year. It's gonna be something to see. Um but just the offensive line got to hold up. Now that kid got a lot of pressure on him um, at the left tackle position. He's going to start as a true freshman, but he has a he has the world on his shoulders right now because he got to protect Shador's blind side. So I see Rock getting in the um, mix as well. Look for Rock to um, get a lot of playing time on that offensive line, and um, Benson, of course. Um, but yeah, that's what I see so far from the little bit that we do see in practice. Um, what up, Big LT? What's up, East Coast Cav? What's up, Firefly? How y'all doing today? What's up, Thomas? I'll get y'all up in a second. East Coast, what's up, East Coast? I'm listening. What's up, Warren? I see y'all. Thomas, and now let's look at Warren Sapp. Now, this guy, I had, I talked about that um article that they put out that article was ready for him that wasn't just some article that was a premeditated article to attack warren Sapp to try to put pressure on coach prime to get him off the team i'm telling you right now if he leaves that team we're fucked because he needs to get that defensive line together if they can go ahead and hunt the quarterback this year we may damn near only went lose two games that's very crucial that he's there he's a coach actually he's not a Listen, it's just on paper that they're calling him a graduate assistant. <laughs> Bullshit. You don't call no gold, no gold jacket a graduate assistant. He, he He's overqualified. He's overqualified for the position. And they said, well, he doesn't have any experience coaching. Yes, he does. He go to the NFL and coach the NFL players all the time. You ever see him at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, training camp? He coaches all the time. He is a coach. But I understand that, you know, officially, like on paper, he's with the team now. Because unofficially, in the past, he wasn't with the team. See, I think a lot of these writers, they, they're a lot younger than me. They don't know him as a player. So I get that. They don't know how valuable he is. But I'm here to tell you that when he played, he was like, um, he was one of he was one of one. He put pressure on that damn offensive line until the final whistle blow. He did that since um, he was at uh, the University of Miami. It was 100% hell until the final whistle blew for, for the end of the game. That's how he played. And if he can get these players to play like that, we can that, that'll be the Achilles heel of us uh, winning, uh, lose only one or two games this year. He has the ability to take some of these players who were just average at, at one point to make them above average, just with the knowledge that he has. And like I said, he's been coaching. Um, he goes to the, the Buccaneers camps, the Raiders. He's been doing it. It's just that they don't the rate them. It's just that some of these writers, they don't know that because they're too young. They don't know that. They don't know that he um, he goes in and um, coach these players in the offseason. I don't think they're aware of it. So they think he doesn't have any coaching experience. He does. So a graduate assistant missed me with it. He's not a graduate assistant. He's a coach. You don't call. That's like somebody that worked in a profession and they won the highest accolades and honors in their profession. You mean to tell me they can't teach? Well, some, some of them can't be good teachers. Everybody can't be a teacher. But he has experiences being a teacher already. So he's a coach. So I just want to make that clear for these writers. I'm not talking about the team. I'm not talking about the team. I'm talking about these stupid ass writers. 
that don't do their homework. So I'm, I'm just talking about them. So trust me, with him out there, they need him out there. They need him out there. That's almost like that's like it's unheard of to have two gold jackets on one team coaching. It's unheard of. And we got to take this season by season because far as I'm concerned, they might not be there next year. As far as I'm concerned, they they don't they deserve better, actually. And that's no knock on Colorado, but these these guys deserve a lot more money. For what for, for what they bring to the table. Warren Sapp has the ability to get all the five stars there. That's 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 it. all these five star parents. They know who he is. That's the ability. That's the um. That's what they bring to the table. They bring more than just coaching. These are icons that's on that team. He's a he's a defensive line icon. He ha- he has a bust in the Hall of Fame. And there's only like very few that's living that's in that fraternity. So that's what that's what's going on right here. The only other gold jacket in college football um, is Jason Taylor at the University of Miami. As far as I'm concerned, they can bring him too. Maybe coach can call him up and say, Jason, you want to come up with us? You might as well. <laughs> so we can complete the trifecta. You might as well come on up and be the um, defensive ends coach or, or be a consultant. You might as well come now. Because we're a team of gold jackets. So you might as well get him for next year. But he's at the U right now. He's at the University of Miami. So I just want to say that to the writers again. You can miss me with these articles. See, I Coach Sapp and Coach Prompt, they, they don't have to respond to these articles. I'll do it. You guys don't know what you're talking about. And then, oh, his past. Everybody has a past. Everybody. It's just that some of us, you don't know what's in our closet. Everybody has a pass if you live long enough. But anyway, so I just wanted to say that again for Coach Sapp. Graduate assistant, no, negative. He's not a graduate assistant. Look, look, look at him. Look. You heard what he did to him? He just gave him something. I don't know if the kid caught it. He said, you need to come up. It's something technical he's telling him. And hopefully he caught it. You turn that corner? Coach. That, did that look like this? That's a coach. That's that's what you see right That is a coach. That's a coach that know what he, the hell he's talking about. He just and then he just um the the um described to him what he wanted to say. Let's look at it again. See what he did with his arm? That's that's probably just enough that that kid know to get to the quarterback this year. As far as I'm concerned, every other coach on that defensive line need to go have a seat now, now that he's there. As far as I'm concerned. Because if I'm a player, out there, I'm listening to him. He has a bust. That's what I want. That means he knew something that was above all the rest to get a bust in the Hall of Fame. He, that means he knows something. You know what I'm saying? So that's like, that's that's the equivalent to like, um, this is kind of extreme, but like if I want to make some money in the stocks, who do you think I'm listening to? Warren Buffett, right? That's who I'm going to listen to because he got some type of inside information like that I need that might get help me out. It's the same thing. That's a little extreme, but it's the same thing. <laughs> Best 
Man, that's a big boy. Man. Oh, you know, you know, right. You see how intense he is? You, that's how they have to match their practice. They have to they have to match his intensity. And then also they got to match his intensity throughout the whole game. See how fiery he is? That's how he was when he was a player. They have to match that intensity the whole fucking game. And then they'll be successful. I'm guaranteed. Guaranteed. Because I know what he I know what he was doing. I was watching his highlights um before I went live. I was watching uh Warren Sapp highlights. He gave you 100 percent hell for the whole game. And he was talking shit the whole game, too. Open, open, open. Then we rush. Hey, it's just repetition. We'll build it up. I don't know if they realize it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not get. I'm maybe because I'm not there. I need. I need the. I need the same energy. But maybe they're just like concentrating on listening to what he's saying. I don't know if they quite realize what they got in front of them. I don't know if they quite realize it. I'm not. I don't know. I would have to go there to see it. I would have to go there to see it, to see how they react to them. I don't know if they quite, that's like equivalent to, let's say if you're a college basketball player, right? That's equivalent to having Michael Jordan in your face. That's what they got right there. For for the defensive lineman, that's the equivalent to having Michael Jordan right standing in your face. Or if you were center, that's the equivalent to having Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the captain, standing in your face right now. I don't know if they I don't know if they know the history on him. I'm not I'm not quite certain. I don't know. We're gonna have to wait till the season start to see. Because just for just for him, me if I'm a defensive lineman and I got him looking at me, I am going to give that offensive line hell, yo. We might get in a fight. I might, I'm gonna give the offensive line hell just for him standing there. You might have to carry me out on a stretch after that practice. I'd be so tired. I hope they know what they got in front of them, man. Come on, JJ. Loosen up, loosen up. There you go. Get your hands off that Let's go. All right, you see what he's doing? Chidozi is listening. He is literally helping that kid into the NFL. We're watching it. We're watching it. He's literally guiding his hand there. All he got to do is listen. Right now it's full speed third. But we're going full darn speed. This is always competition. Everything is competition. You got that? Yes, sir. Let's go to work. Let's look, lift each other up and let's communicate. Let's communicate with one another. Break it down on that night. Hey, no man, don't three, one, two, three. Come on. 
Charlie playing hard, man. Okay, Gotta give us a rush on the edge, right? Hideouts, right? Where's these wideouts, right? Hey, let's fucking full middle jack. Hideout in the back, right? Everybody else good? Any questions? Everybody good? Hey, everybody take a breath. Right? You breathe your ass and who got shiloh mad man who who got him mad because he was responding to haters somebody got him upset look at that jimmy look what jimmy doing jimmy focus A def definitely a different feel for this team this year, man. He owes us. We expected some good things from this young man, too. He said we weren't going to win today. We did nothing but win today. Yeah, he was throwing it outside. He turned around. If you score, you run. So don't even get that confused. Run on the ground. Run on the floor. You know what's funny? Um, which you don't hear from these coaches this year is them giving the effort. They giving the effort. You don't hear that this year. You definitely need this kid to be ready. Caleb, run, Caleb. The consistency to get better every day is the beginning. But that doesn't write the end. At the end, you got to finish what you start. You got to finish. So all we need is Ray Lewis out there now. Just bring them all, coach. Just bring all the gold jackets you can find, man. Just bring them all. Just, just call them all graduate assistants. Just, just bring them all, everybody you can find. I believe one, um, Ray Lewis did go back to school, didn't he? I believe he did. Just bring them all. Just, just call them graduate assistants. You know, that'll that'll complete that linebacker. That'll complete the whole team. That and uh, who else? Might as well bring Jason Taylor. And uh, who else? And get Randy Moss out there. That's all you need. Just bring your, bring all your friends. Control. It's what now? Or uh, what's the name? To. It's what now? Defense what now? What now? Now. Defense now. Now. Right now, like he says, the beginning and there's an end. What's it like for Coach Prime? You know, experience, man. Just you know, get learning a new mentality, you know, about winning, you know. You get taught the right ways to do things. There we go. There we go. We're going to do the track. What's happening, y'all? What y'all talking about, man? What's going on, Danielle? How you doing? Sam's take. What's up with y'all? Let me put the link out there. Anybody want to come on? I spammed it. Yeah, bring Ed Reed. Yeah, Anthony, that's what I was thinking about. I was just thinking for a second. Who else? Just bring Ed with you, too. He went back to school, too. He got his degree. Just bring them all, man. 
And if they if you can't have them as a graduate assistant, just have them standing there. Just have them at the practice and, you know, just unofficially just have them talking to the players. Because I know T.O. helped them wide receivers last year. I know he did. Michael Irvin, too. Imagine having Mike just just having Michael Irvin at a at a I don't I don't think they fully understand it. I don't think they fully understand what they got at the team right now. I don't think they, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. We're going to have to wait and see what their play got to tell me. Their play got to tell me. Thomas, what's going on? Long time. Been a minute. What up? What up, man? You know, can I keep up with you, man? What's good? Buff Nation? What's happening with everybody? Oh, man. Life just what's caught up like? to me. It's been a while. Yeah, I know. I had to handle some things. Yeah, my um, mother had an earthquake. And um, so I'm making sure she was all right. Because she yeah. lived in a high rise. And uh, it was so significant, man. Her chandeliers, all everything fell on the floor. That was what New York, New Jersey. Yeah, she live in the tri-state. Yeah, it was, was shook out here, but I, I don't know when it happened. I didn't feel it. See, it was like the people say it's only it was only a four point five, but you gotta understand they're not used to that over there. We yeah. had earthquakes in the past, like we had a earthquake where I'm at, but right. we not it, we don't happen that often. Right, but it'll be it'll be it'll shake it'll shake somewhere in Cali, and you might not even feel it. Like, like it'll be right, right. It'll shake. It's Cali so big, so like be like I know they said a four point eight hit New York, but New York's small, so like if y'all hit it, y'all feel it everywhere in New York. Like if one just hit New York, because it take up the space in New York, New York ain't that big, New Jersey, you know all of that. But yeah, I know y'all was like, "What? We thinking that? I ain't gonna go off topic, man." <laughs> Huh? I don't want to go too far off topic. I was going to ask you a question about something else, but yeah, nah, you know, she's all right there. Everything's okay with her? This is chandelier. She yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she good, but she just not used to it. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know it's <laughs> she didn't know what it was at first. She was, because she called me. She said, Hey, my, all my chandeliers just fell. I said, You just had an earthquake, ma. Right. She was like, uh, I think something like exploded out here. I'm like, Nah, that sounds like more like an earthquake. And then, sure enough, the news started reporting it. Yeah, earthquakes. Well, think about earthquakes. The ones that move to the side, like they shake sideways, you don't really got to worry about them. The ones that go up and down, that's the one you got to worry about. So, like, if you feel that thing drop, oh wow, definitely wow. run for something. Yeah, but if it moves side to side, oh, it's nothing. Yeah. yeah so, what do you think about? Um, you said, oh, uh, you said, nah, I live in Cali. You feel it. Yeah, you guys, you guys had more, you, you guys had more throughout the years than we have. We now, the last major earthquake we had around here happened about five years ago. And I was near the epicenter. It was like the epicenter was probably like maybe 20 miles away. That's why I felt we felt it at work. We felt it really bad. Right. But, um, it wasn't even, uh, I think that was like registered like a three point something. Right. Now you feel them in Cali if they near you. But like if it's like I'm in the Bay or even though I was in LA, like if they like in Santa Ana uh, Valley or something, it'd be like a four point eight. You might not feel it. Like unless it's hidden right, like less like fifty to hundred miles next to yeah. you. Cali's but so Tom, big, bro. Thomas, I had to ask you. It's been a minute. What, what you think about practice? I mean, they just get, look. They just getting started. <laughs> They, this is early. They getting. They just getting started. So what hey, do you think? Hey, nah, I, I, I've been what I've been doing. What you think real? about the block bully? Man, I think he's gonna be all right. Well, I, I, I just got finished looking at this too. When you, uh, I, I seen I was I was looking at the old thing popped up, but uh, yeah, I, I like I like the block. I don't know why he didn't uh practice uh, yesterday. Was it when he was out of pass or they took him out of pass? Maybe coach took him out. You know, I sometimes he get people a rest. Right, right. You know, he gave him a little Travis treatment, you know? So, you, you know, he know he that. Gave, you see he gave um, the other guy the Travis treatment. He said, look, I don't want to see you till Wednesday. Right, right. He don't know what's going on. He probably think, <laughs> like, nah, just relax. Travis probably going to tell him, nah, just relax, but he wants you to stay healthy. So, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good thing. Because right, right there, that's also a good sign. That's like, man, we already know what you got, man. Just, just yeah, stay we healthy. Need what's you going on, fellas? Hey, what's, what's up, up, big up, Hey, y'all been doing, man? How you doing, Matt? Oh man, hanging in there. How, how you been doing? Oh man, I can't complain, brother. Just got off of work, man, and seen that sap little uh, video right there, man. It was yeah. fire. 
Yeah, I'm glad to see him there. Yeah, that's lit. I'm talking about like I said. Yeah, I've been. Do it, do it, do it. We say okay. No, yeah, I was gonna just say, man, I've been what I've been waiting. Uh, I don't know if everybody, all the other fans, been waiting, but I've been waiting for them to drop a D line. Um, competition with the uh, CSAP and the uh, new defensive line coach. You see how he's like in their face? He's like ta- coaching them through it? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I he, see the technique. Yeah. He's and you know what else I noticed too, Max? Mm-hmm. He didn't name no neither one of them the defensive uh, line coach. I think uh, the, the other – Damien, he's more like the assistant. You know what I'm saying? I think both – both of them are probably like you know what I mean. I don't think neither one of them are, uh right. that has been named the defensive line well, coach himself. Well, one of them is the isn't he a defensive out defensive ends coach? I believe he, he got promoted. Uh, uh Dan- no, you talking about Daly or Thomas? Dancy. You talking about Dancy? Dancy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, Dancy, and then you know he brought a Daly or Thomas on too. I guess right, they kind of right. shadow shadow Dancy. Yeah, that is crazy. Oh, he did? So he brought him on as an for real? Yeah, he's an animal. Yeah, yeah he's part of the, uh, the, the staff over there. That's why I said, why don't you just bring all your friends? And, that's why I said, why don't you just bring all your friends and call them analysts? Because they're really coaches, but they're analysts, you know. Probably pulled the cheat code. He got a daily. Yeah, he got a cheat code too. with them. That's what you remember when he was in practice. Remember when he was um saying his message? He told the team. Remember he told the team, he said, look, we got the coaches here to help you. You just got to listen. They gonna show you how they gonna show you how to get to the next level. They give you the cheat codes. You just gotta if listen. If they got a problem with them players not listening, they gonna find players that will listen. Yo, no, I see. I see. I watched they practice the other day. I seen uh, who was it? Uh, I want to say uh, Elkhorn Barnes and, and uh, and Keaton Wade do their little outside stunt. And then how he, I, he was he was talking about it. He like how he's like, who is this from? It was Tyler Brown. I was looking at it. Then a few players, I'm like, okay, so they they kicking off just right. And then I yeah. seen one play where uh, early I think too. it was I think it was I, I want to say Carter or it might have been Barnes. It might have been Barnes. He was getting doubled, and he went down to one knee. I'm like that's that's the technique. I'm like finally somebody did. It. I'm like oh, that must be set. Yeah, I know it's set because that's old school. Be. Like when you get when you get put on skates, you you taught to go to one knee and rock it down. And like not to fall forward one day because you'll get your knees broke, but like you got to kind of hold your ground too. Like how you take one knee, and I seen Barnes do that. So oh, there it go. He holding gap. Let's go. <laughs> and the old school pros, that's all you see. Everybody tackling on their knees, take a knee on the on, on the skate. Don't get put on skates. Hold. I uh, you know what, Thomas? My bad, brother. I I didn't even notice that. I seen them doing it, and I just seen um, Chidozi doing that's it, and I didn't even notice what that was. That's what the they were doing. Yeah, that's the technique. You taught me something, man. Yeah, the yeah. team looks way different because they got all those coaches there. And just like, for example, the um defensive coordinator, what do you think he's telling Shiloh? He's telling him how to get how to up his draft status. He's giving him cheat code. He's like, Yeah, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. That's all you need to do. Because he don't work with all the great, so it, this is almost unfair. It's unfair. It's just that the players just have to listen. That's Look, hey, it's and you like, know what else I noticed too, man? Yeah, is it uh, man, um, what's his name? Livingston in his bag too, man. You've been seeing, I've been seeing, um, noticing that he put he playing Shador, I mean, Shador, Travis Hunter in the slot, you know what I mean, and having um, having a uh, Preston Hodge playing outside and uh, DJ McKinney playing outside, you know what I mean, he mixing Travis around through the defense and slot, outside, slot. You know what I mean? Me, me, to the right, to the left. You know what I mean? Even I've been seeing uh Travis J playing uh some star. Yeah, Travis is gonna get a lot of playing time, Travis J. He def he's back healthy, he's ready to go. Look, yeah. These guys are gonna get it, man. I'm talking about they getting pro technique right yep. now, but they're not only getting pro technique, they're getting the old school pro technique. They getting uh, the basic real pro technique like that's missing in the NFL right now. That's why the NFL looking so untalented to a point to where you can't really see the technique. This, if if Coach Prime stays there with all the coaches, it's going to be a breeding ground. It's going it's going to be he's turned into Alabama. He, he's going to eventually get all the five stars to come there. Is it? You're just watching the basically what you're watching right now. You're watching the foundation being built if he stays. But they're going to have to find a way to get him to stay because I'm telling you, it's going to be teams, they're going to damn near kidnap him. 
to let try him to do get what him. he want. Mac, let him do what he want to do. Let him do what state. he want. Right. He ain't going nowhere. But right. he can't, he can't do what he want if you got the you got the hometown media blasting right. him for everything and writing all type of crazy articles, man, and just tearing the man down with every move that he make that they don't they don't agree with or that they don't like. Well, you know what matters though? It matters with the upper echelon at the university. As long as they're on board, he'll stay. As long as they're on board. It don't matter what the writers are saying. It matters if the ones that really matter, if they're on board with it, then it, then this is a dynasty being built. Right. But see, that could have been, see, we got to look at that deeper because that could have been, if you want, well, if you really want to talk about that, that could have all been strategic because the result of it didn't, it didn't cause any injury. No, it didn't cause any injuries. So, you know, it was that strategic just to get that out of the way of now. So that could be oh, already. could have been. Just to focus on now, you know that. Uh, and then look at the second article they wrote. They mess around and called him a, a what a personal or a player personnel, whatever. Then they say he's making a hundred thousand. So it's like yeah, he's yeah. the highest. He's the highest um, being paid at his position right now. The highest right. ever. So that's that's already gone and forgotten about. And you keep yeah. bringing it up again. It's just like beating a dead horse. Yeah, they gonna be the dead horse at this point. As long as the people that matter, if they're on board, it's all that's it, obviously they are on board because he's there. They're right. on board. Right. It wasn't too yeah. much push. I think the most of the pushback was due to general, like the general opinion or general voice was just bringing You know that how they pushback. say in this country, uh money talks, bullshit walks. Man, all they the way down. Money street. up there. Man, look. If these guys really go out there and perform like a pro team, like a semi pro team, like any kind, and blow this little college league out, probably right. get about five five stars and twenty pro. Yeah, he's gonna get them all. The floodgates. Gonna and open. then let let them, and they keep seeing these uh training videos about Sapp and let that defense defensive line get out there and get the monster and stuff. Uh, these the the man, just them next them top three, four, five games. Man, they got all that. They gonna act like they ain't never said none of this stuff. Yeah. I'm looking at it. I, 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 they, right now, I've been timing defense to rush. I've been catching two, like two 100s, two 100s a few times. But this up them little drills, and then how I seen Anquan take the knee and stand, and then I seen he was trying, if you go back, when he's teaching Chidozi right there, when Chidozi learned, if you go back and replay, when Chidozi was getting double team, when he learned to take that knee and then come back up off that knee and, like, yep, push shirt, yep. he'll, he'll push that second guard off and make the play. And that's how you play D-line. That's how they played D-line in the 90s and the early 2000s. Now they don't play D-line like that. They play – they feel gap. They have hold. But, like, it's just – when they get skated, it's just like they just get skated now. I don't know. Or they just go down or fall on somebody's legs. But you don't see players, like, go feel gap, take knee, and then push jerk up off your knee and then hold gap and tackle. Like, you don't see that anymore. Like, it's just gone. The sack piece them that right now. Well, here, oh, well, real quick, um, you say he's not in the top 20 in safeties in college football. That's just because, in my mind, he is. He is. Um, I mean, he. Uh, there was a couple plays that he made where that ball got dislodged. That, that takes technique for him to do that. So the people, the NFL, the people that matter, they're seeing it. So it don't matter really what the writers are um, writing about him. It just the people that matter, they're seeing the technique. They're seeing it. So that's that's all that's all Shiloh needs to play for. He needs to play for the Jerry Jones or the people or the Belichicks of the world that can actually see what he's doing. So yeah. If if number two, like I don't know, he was tied for second in the Pac twelve and then like what the tackles and all that at, at the safety spot. Then he, he tied for like first, I think, with every player or with no the most yeah. fumbles. Like, come on, man. That's now, as safety. far as the missed tackles is concerned, <laughs> everybody missed tackles. I mean, he's he's not a he's not a machine. I mean, he's not a robot. I mean, he's gonna miss some, but he didn't miss a lot. And also, he got too much work. I didn't want to see him make all them tackles. He's not supposed to make all those tackles. Well, but he, he can't did. Give it up no touchdown. He played safety. Like the tackles is a plus. Yeah, I mean, it's a plus that he led the team in tackles, but this year he's not supposed to. He's well, supposed to have help. Well, he wasn't even supposed to lead the team in tackles in the first place. Yeah, he's right. supposed to be the last. He's, he's, he's supposed to be there, but he right, definitely – He's supposed to be a linebacker. Uh, yeah. That'd be or something. 
So well, he he can because Caleb Downs is a, they led his team in tackles, but they called Caleb Downs and they Alabama defense. Yeah, actually, he best, did best. actually. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. No, but I'm like, sure. but like the down play of it is sick. I keep trying to. Oh, I gotta keep saying it. Y'all keep forgetting. Solo missed all of this last year. And like, and for him to still lead the team in tackles is amazing. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Remember, he had to it's graduate. Amazing. Yeah, he yeah. had to graduate Jackson State before he came. So all this what you're seeing here, he wasn't there. He missed the spring and he missed half of uh half of uh his last year season at Jackson with a knee injury. Yeah, right. he came there. When when did he get there? When did he May. start practicing? Um, in the he got there in May session too, right? He got there in May last yep. year. What's him up with Jackson? I mean, when did he get to Colorado last year? After he, I know after he graduated, right. but he got there in summer session one or two. He got there, he got there in May. May. Okay, so yeah, all this what you're seeing here, he wasn't there. He was he was there, but he was just kind of on the <laughs> sideline. No, he was at Jackson graduating. Graduating, yeah. Show, he didn't show up to Colorado till May. This time last year, Shiloh was at Jackson State. Yeah, he wasn't practicing no football. Probably just running and like doing on his own. But he wasn't practicing no tackling drills, no coverage route, no coverage reps, none of that. So all that you see in Shallow doing right now, he didn't do none of this last yeah, year. Yeah, he's gonna he be still more than. Came in. Yeah, That's he's what gonna try to his job. He he trying to up his draft status at this point. People are like, oh, it's okay. You can miss spring and come in and make all the tackles in the world. No, you can't. <laughs> you sound drunk and crazy. I'm, I'm I mean, he already. Yeah. Like, bro, the man missed, bro. You know how hard it is to miss an off season to come play a full season? Are you ridiculously out of your mind? Because yeah, that's it's crazy. Like, because you gotta have you still gotta have a mental fortitude to keep your body in some point of shape to get ready to come in there and do all that. You know what I mean? Your body gotta be in shape this to take plan. on all that abuse. Like they lifting weights so their body can get beat down. Like that's all it is. You don't. Yeah, you're gonna get stronger. Yeah, you can get faster. But it's for you to get beat down. That's why you will lift. So all that wear and tear don't take too much down from you. Like Shallow, he didn't even hit no weights until like the summer. But left that he was older, he had all that experience already. So it didn't. This is like it's just kicking back. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, yeah, Mister Seven, his arm tackling. Like when I had showed that one play, Same well, Mike, what well, Michael Welch did. Michael Welch knew what he was getting ready to do, and he 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 kind of spinned off of him. That's how he was able to break free. But if Shiloh had wrapped up, Michael Welch would have went down with him. That's the only, that's his only thing. I mean, that's just how he plays. I mean, he just – if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, he, definitely what he's but doing I, is not broke. I know this, though, uh, Matt. Huh? I know that uh, after this spring, when that portal opened up, some of them D tackles, uh, yeah, they, they see that, man. They, they coming. Yeah, they coming. The dogs – more dogs are coming. It just when the portal opens back up, them rush, them, them edge rushers and shit like I mean and stuff like that, man. Excuse me, language. They coming, man. Yeah, def most definitely. For sure, they, man. Who would it come? You got. What do you say, Thomas? I said for sure they come. Who would it be? You got Lewis, Sap. Now you got a daily Thomas. Come man, on. if if Try. if I'm a defensive lineman in college, I I, I have to let Sap coach me, man. I have got to. Got to. Got to. You trying to play like him anyway? Yeah, I, I have to all, let him coach me. Max, all these defensive linemen, they all play half sap game. Like they do his goal smooth. Sap made the goal smooth what it is today. What I mean by goal, I mean when a lineman go at your inside or outside shoulder, you duck it out back or you duck it down in and you, you just get ghost with the hands. They can't it's like they don't touch you. It's like that's what that's why everybody everybody do the swipe. Everybody's trying to rip around the corner, ghost around the corner. It's ghost, rush, stab, uh, uh, sticks. You know what I mean? Like certain people. Hey, Tommy, that's your boy right there. I think Sw- Swain looked like he a dog. He I'm looked missing. like it. Swain, hey, him, 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 him and Jordan, they, they going to sharpen, sharpen, man. I'm telling you. Swain going to be something. Swain going to be something. But he going to get all the sack. He ain't going to have no other coach after this or well, before this. You know what I'm saying? Kyle, he's going to do all of the professional training now until he gets to the pros. That's crazy. I don't see Sap leaving for a while. I think him and Sap gonna be there for a while. Yeah, as long as he's there, Sap is there. As long as he's there, Sap is there. And the rest of the coaches. They came, see, listen, they came to help Prime. Those are his boys. They came to help. They know he needs help and they came to help. Sap, I mean, yeah, he's the highest paid. He didn't come there for that. He came to help his boy out. That's what happened. 
Seth don't need no money, but he'll take nah, it. Nah, he came to help his friend out. That's what that's what you're saying. He like okay. sap dog, I need help. I need you to teach these kids how to hunt. And that's what he's doing. It's it's cool. viral. Like I see some just certain like certain stretch moves, certain gap movements, like they their lines looking really good. Like the, the, and like yesterday, you see the turn up. Like I said, ooh, they turned up. Uh like yesterday was something different. Where's Friday. Ed Reed at? Where why don't he just bring Ed Reed? Just come be a graduate assistant. Oh, this 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 clip right here finna go viral. So that's what they've been waiting on. Yeah, everybody been waiting. And look what he's doing. He's been listen, when he used to be at did the you see how he walked, did you see how he walked between the offensive linemen and the two uh yeah T, uh T yeah. uh TC face? Yeah. No, I mean not TC, that was uh Chijose. He like hey, look at him, he's scared of you, he quivering. That's yeah. probably why uh, we've been seeing uh, Celeste is more in the um, starting lineup because he's getting pushed around a lot by these bigger boys. You said Zelinkas? Yeah. You see how big Zelinkas he's got? Zelinkas playing good, yo. You see how yeah. big he's got? Zelinkas is playing good in that center I, position. I don't know what he did in the offseason, but that kid don't got bigger. And he's he, he going to stay there. He's not leaving. I think him and Tyler got together. You can tell when him and Tyler together. I've been watching him and Tyler. Like every time I see them in there together, they they working good together. Yeah, the kid don't got nasty. He just need to um listen to Low Holt with the technique, and he'll be fine. He's the future. He'll be fine. That's what I'm saying. They do it. Yeah, I think Zaniska might end up uh taking uh taking that role from uh Walker. You think so? I think so, man. Cause he like you said, he's bigger and he can handle himself a little bit uh more firm. I think he like he's able to pull a little bit more deep down. And you know, dig his routine. Cause I, what I've been seeing, uh, Yukari Walker been kind of get pushed back, especially against um, Terry and Carter, and um, <clears throat> and shoot, Adobe. pretty much all three of them de tackle Terry and Carter, Barnes, and and Shadoza, Yeah, man, been driving them back. I mean, he probably know the plays and snap it real well and all that, but I don't think he's big enough yet. I think Mo he needs like that. um, Mo said. I think he need to put, probably put on like ten. Twenty more pounds. Yeah, I but said, I definitely, said definitely put on that weight being there. I like the yeah, man UConn, but I doubted it. Yeah, I like the man UConn, but I doubted his weight too, man. I said, I don't know, he's a little light in the pants. Be yeah, a center, but they like, oh Kelsey, Kelsey, but Kelsey all muscle. <laughs> Definitely two seventy. <laughs> got a little fat on your body. Two seventy. Got two percent fat. You just look fat. <laughs> He said those refs better get their whistles ready for Shiloh. Oh, boy. Come on, man. And they tripping, man. It, it, really. Listen, that's just how he plays. He's been playing like that since he was um, he was at um, South Carolina. He That's just how he plays. Man, can y'all imagine them, them ends coming in like that and Travis oh. Hunter in the, in the slot? A big Ooh, LT. Big city. A, a big big LT. city, man. Big LT. Big Thomas. city you, all you, day, man. Hey, Big LT, Tom, did you hear what Shiloh said? He said, I've been watching Steve Atwater. He Ooh. said, I've been watching Ronnie Lott. The hardest yeah. thing. Oh, then, he, then he had the nerve to say he'd been watching, what's his name? What's the one that passed away? Sean, Sean Taylor. Sean, oh Sean Taylor. I yeah. said, you've been watching him? That torpedo oh, action. Man. Get that heat-seeking missile going. Hey, yeah. he, y'all, he got all freedom just to go lay some people up. Well, ain't even going to be looking at Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. Man, uh, oh, he what was that boy name from uh for Kansas Roddy City Lott. back in the day? Uh, Hanks. Uh, yeah, him. Uh, uh, uh Eric Berry. Dawkins. He even mentioned Eric, name. Eric Berry. Sanders. Uh, yeah, Bob Sanders. Well, he meant no. He mentioned all the hitters though. He mentioned the Wu. Bob headers. was a hitter. Bobby's a smack though. I used to give it to little Bob. He was. But like you know what? I, to be honest, I rather I sacrifice his hit his hitting for him from taking to him getting picks, man. I, I rather him getting picks, turning the ball over, coming through the like edge and picking that ball off. Because a lot of them big hits he be um going for. You know what I mean? Almost like he hesitate a little bit to get that big hit. Now nah, forget that. Go pick that ball off. Yeah. Look for him to do, get a couple picks this year. I'm looking for it. Yeah. I want him at least by six picks, man. Yeah, give Ronnie me five Lott. or six picks. Yeah, he oh, mentioned John picks. Lynch as well. I said, oh, he's been doing his homework. Lynch, he's been man. doing his homework. He's been he yeah. mentioned John Lynch, Ronnie Lott. Steve I used to love John Lynch, man. Yeah, I went to a Lynch camp before. It was lit. Lynch is cool, man. Man, I'm telling you, but 
Hey Shiloh, Shiloh I need you. you. Hey Shiloh, I need you to go watch the steel curtain. Go watch those guys from the steel curtain, Shiloh. One time, it's on NFL film. Oh, Corey Palomalo. No, talking about the eighty. They were slapping the you steel in the head, curtain. Man. I'm talking about the 1970s. Yeah. The steel curtain. They slap you all in the face, bass, all in the head. You can get punched in the helmet back in them days. Shiloh, the purple people leaders. Go look at them. Go look uh, at the no age hey, Shiloh. Go look at the no name defense. They went under fucking. They went undefeated. Go, let's, <laughs> go look at the. Go look at the no name. Hey, you say, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let one out of there, huh? <laughs> yeah, almost did. They went undefeated. <laughs> Max, I'm feeling. I'm juice, right? I'm fat. Back <laughs> yeah, the hey, Max got juice. You. <laughs> hey, Max got excited real quick. Shiloh, go watch <laughs> Jack Tatum. Shiloh, go watch Jack Tatum one time. Just one time, just and then he he already got the spirit. He's channeled the spirit in. When yeah, he said that. Sean Taylor, I had to pause it, man, because Sean should have still been here with us. It's messed man, up. Man, I mean, he should have, man. He should have. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, 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 no, no cap, man. Uh, I, me and my friends, I think we. Uh, man, I swear, I died when he died, man. I think we cried, man. It was we were so sad. It was we were so all broke, man. When that yeah, man that died, man. Cause it was oh shocking. my god, he just he was on he was. He was at his birth of his awakening, man. He was, man, he was leading the league, or he was second, or leading the league in interception before he died, too, man. In this season, yeah, he would have been in the Hall of Fame. He was having a hall. He was on track for the Hall of Fame. Man, come on, man. They don't make him like that no more either, man. Six three, six four, two twenty five. Yeah, pure beast. And when Shiloh oh, started man. mentioning that. That he he pretty much was telling his haters he's done his homework on the all time greats. He's done his homework. Show them what the guard. In the offensive line, especially Benson. Benson, I need you to go watch. I I need you to go channel Art Shell. I need you to find out who Art Shell is. I want to see Benson put on like 20 more pounds, man. I would like to see Benson put him like 15, 20 more pounds. He's already a big kid, though. He looked big already. I think he's like 320. Yeah, I think he, he's in his threes. He's in the threes. He's like 320, something like that. But I, I, didn't I, don't why, I don't know why he looked a little thin to me. Maybe he's just athletic. 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he had athletic look to him. Yeah, he, um, you know yeah he's saying? big, though. Yeah, he's big. One of, the, one of the big, big. But he mean, he, it, you know, his meanness take up, you know, makes up for a lot of it. You know, yeah, he out there being a bully, side. too. Yeah. yeah, I already knew it. I told you I'll see him out there cleaning up the B gaps straight down blocking machine. That's what he was doing at Indiana. I'm talking about cleaning that whole side of the lineup, walling the whole A gap. Like, bro, how you just complete the like? <laughs> oh no, I know Rod Woodson. This oh no, nuts. Rod Woodson get respect. <laughs> Rod. Yes, he does. Hey man, if they had Ray Lewis and Ed in there doing that film study, man, have you seen them before? Uh, breakdown film, uh, Matt yeah, together. Yeah, I have. Yes, man, them boy, man, come on, man. Listen, though, come listen, on, man. He ain't there breaking that down, man. But you can't bring that. You can't bring that in there, Max. I'm, t- I'm sorry. You can't bring somebody like Ray and Ed in there with a a young deep defensive coordinator like that, man. They're gonna take over. Well, they, they gonna know, take they over, know, man. It ain't gonna be is. no disrespect to it towards him. It's just the 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 like you said, the greatness and the 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 mind, the great them two great minds together. Like, oh man. Well, here is it. Here it is, though. It could work because he's putting the schemes together. They're teaching the players how to go out there and go get it, according to the scheme. All he got to do is put the scheme together and put the plays together. They're teaching and they the, teach players the players how to, how to do run, run the schemes. Yeah, he says the, the philosophy okay. of the scheme. The philosophy of the scheme, and you learn your technique. But like all of them guys, man, you Ty got, Law is coaching. You got he Pat only. Shermer, Prime, Low Ho, Lewis. Sat Mathis F six pros, seven pros. Yeah, you got oh, Mathis. Man, if he brought if he brought them in, in, oh, in I guess what it can be um assistant um Livingston with the safeties and Ray assistant um with the linebackers. Hart with the linebackers. I'm talking about, I'm talking about film breakdown. All of that is bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like they'd be like some kind of uh analyst roles. Uh, no, I'm talking about those people breaking. Y'all talking about y'all talking about Ray Lewis and 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 uh Ed Reed breaking down film. I'm talking about look who we got breaking down film right now. Sat Lewis, uh, Coach Pat Prime. Shermer, 
Prime, Madness. Who else we got? Uh, I mean, they already Rojo. got a defensive specialist there. Prime and is Damian a defensive Thomas. specialist. Hageman. Hageman, yeah. Damian Thomas. Thomas. That's eight. Mm-hmm. That's almost a whole defensive squad right there. <laughs> you see how Prime, I like who, uh, whoever the idea was that. Corey Phillips. Oh, wait, I forgot Corey Phillips. That's yeah, nine. Corey Phillips. Yeah, he's there. That's whoever nine. idea was to put Coach Prime in first person, that was good, man. I like it. It's hilarious watching him um, talk. And don't slack him. on Brett Barloni, man. He didn't play ball, too. Well, yeah, all of them play. Everybody, well, everybody, everybody played ball. I was going to, like, the pro the pro ballers. Cause we yeah, yeah, pros, yeah, yeah, yeah. Breaking down film is life. Like, it's not like college. Like, it's just not like college. I ain't been to the pros, but I, you know, talk to the pros. All they do is watch film, bro. Like, this is film, 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 film. It's just broke. It's just like how you watch movies. It's just, they just, I see it too. Like, I have people, few of my ones that go whatever and show me how he's breaking, he's breaking down some of stuff to me. I'm like, bro, I would, I would never look at film like that. He starts showing me different ways to look at it. I know this is way more advanced on how they look at it, bro. They break down how many numbers on each side of the hash, how you playing on the hash. It's so much. They it go into breaking down film that most people don't even talk about, like, at all. From splits to from the hash, the inside hash, to line up to the, from the ball to outside ball. Like, all of this stuff is, is so much. That, like, they, it's to a point to where they know where the, where the tip going to come from because we know how we're going to push the quarterback and if we tip the ball, it's gonna fall. Like we need somebody here or over there. Like everything is, it's like it's 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 looking football, but it's not really looking football because everything's planned. It truly is planned. It truly is planned. People, I know who like. How do you plan for football? It's about breaking down the most highly possible situation and execute that possibility. That's football. And the higher you get, the more these guys get. And then, with they it. said, and then they they said the next level is. After you watch so much film, it's supposed to become instinct. It's this instinct, bro. It's just like you're not even looking. Your body, it's like you going what they call it, ultra instinct on Dragon Ball Z. Your body go ultra instinct, like it's this, and you just nah, show up. for real. It's instinct. You yeah. Up, yeah, you show up. You put the situation, real, real. And your technique take over, and you work out the situation. Like it's not even you learn all technique to when your body react to technique. It just knows how to flow through it. So. Those guys know the technique flows, and like that's what I, they mean when they say that. Go ahead. I never forget with Lawrence Taylor. He used to watch a lot of film. He said it was something that he was he was studying a quarterback, and he said this quarterback used to twitch, and that's how he knew he was throwing right. He it said it was just he, he found it in film. Mm-hmm. He said there's certain things you can't break, and that's that's what you got to find. The, so, um, yeah, he could be like you can look at the quarterback when they in the gun. Sometimes they like, they like to get ready, like say they want to uh, move to the left, they're planting, shake their right leg. You see them like hit their leg or their other leg. You see them plant their feet. Like you watch how many steps they planting down in the ground. Like you watch everything, how many steps in between the yards people taking. Like, you 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 watching footsteps. Like you literally break down how many steps. Okay, he like as soon as you take that first step, he might take a step here. That's when you get into the film and you start to break down where I'm gonna go to get him from not to go past where he's trying to get. And this is where film gets mm-hmm. like you start falling in love with it because then you start to really understand what's going on. And those guys, they know how to break it down like that to where all of them. And like I said, I seen like even like how like the center, like how they taking on the when they when they when they zone in the field. I'm like, oh yeah, they they doing that lunge right. They're not just grabbing trying to find somebody. They're staying hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder, block cold B. Like I'm looking, I'm like, yo, they just snapped the whole like, yo. Look at everybody else. Go watch. Like, I've been, I've been watching Florida State. I've been watching a bunch of other colleges, too. So I just won't be all people going to be like, oh, you just can't step on CU. Hey, nah, Tom, Thomas, we got a suits. question. Why is two never under center? What, what y'all mean? think? What? So we didn't not... say that. They showed him under center a couple of times. Yeah, he'd he be under center, but you'll you'll probably see it more this year. You'll see it more. I mean, they just they, had him. They just had a skit on one of them, uh, on one of them channels where he was taking uh snaps was on the, was practicing up on the center. Yeah, if it if it calls for him to be on the center, he'll be on the center. If it if the play calls for it, <laughs> but if it calls for him to be in the shotgun, he'll be in the shotgun. That's as simple as that. Exactly. Yeah, but he got he definitely got the line. I mean, if it whatever the play calls for it, whatever because they said look for him to change up plays on the fly too. I want to see him do that. If he 
I want to see him get his Peyton Manning on. Let's see if he do. He's done it before. He's done a little bit at Jackson State. I want to see him do it again. It's beautiful to watch when he calls his audibles. I want to see him do it. You get into his Omaha? Yeah, I want to see him do it a few times during the game. But I think he's going to slice him and Pat, him and Pat Shermer. I think, because like I said, Sh- Shador, I said it before, like he, well, we all know this, right? He, for like the last four years, he didn't have like how many different coordinators. This is his first year. He really get to work with somebody for like a full whole year in a season. Is this the first year they're gonna be having the uh, microphones in the? I mean, the uh, in the right. helmet, right? And they got the microphones too. So who's gonna have it in the helmet? I know Shador. Who on defense? Probably be Shiloh, right? Mm-hmm. Who do you think goes to Either either that or whoever playing the um the mic position. The mic or the free. The Michael, yeah. They did not maybe. Well, see, like I don't know. Yeah, Michael free maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure how they playing it. The mic position or. I don't know. It might be. It might it be, one on defense? be Shiloh. It's one and one, right? One, one on mm-hmm. defense, one on offense. It might be the. It might be the mic. I don't know. Whoever, uh, it, whoever, uh, Livingston really like. I don't know. He he. It seems like right now he's dealing a lot of good with Simon Craig. Like court, like talking with and Shiloh, him and Shiloh. Yeah, I like how Simon Craig looking. He's yeah, looking better. He looking real. He's he, like yeah, he, Cam. He, he didn't put some weight on too. Mm-hmm. Like, can't look, getting ready. Yeah, Alto Alto is getting reps. He was in a yellow jersey for one day. I don't know why, but he's out of the yellow jersey again. It was a uh, concussion protocol. Oh, right? Concussion protocol. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got up a little stumble. Yeah, he's yeah he's off the yellow jersey and he's getting his reps. You, they just ain't gonna show him. I wouldn't show him either. If I was, but I wouldn't show him because if he's anywhere near how he was. I wouldn't show him. I would let it be a surprise. What? You got to have some surprises. You can't let show everything. What? The little glimpse yesterday should have been all we should have seen. Uh, Alton did all right. He did like a little spin in the backfield. Yeah. He fumbled though. Coach Mc got him on a fumble tip. I guess he was trying to get up off the field real quick too. <laughs> yeah, he said, "Wait a minute." But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Clown was after him. He said, "Wait a minute." Oh, 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 oh get on over. Oh. <laughs> He was already over on the sideline. He made him run. He made him run, didn't he? Yeah. He he said, no, you got to run. (laughs) Yeah, he made the whole offense run. He made all of them run. I like that's old school, man. That's old school play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you heard what Big Terry and Carter said. He like, yeah, he's like, "Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it. He like, I don't want to hear your mouth. That's right. Yeah, they going. It's hard. Yeah, that's real. Imagine he had people from all. He shouldn't have said that. That was disrespectful. Or oh, woo woo. Like man, come on, man. You heard Prime? Prime? Did Prime take it disrespectful? Prime took it as man. That was real. He said, "Well, shut it up, then." Yeah, he ain't take it as that. He you know it. That's, uh, that's called. That's called. That's called re, uh, relating to someone. Right. You know what I'm that's talking about? Yeah, and, <laughs> and, 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 and that was player to player. Talking, talking with him. Yeah, yeah and that's player to player, player, man. You remember yeah. when he said the um what's his name? You out there looking like roadkill. He out there talking trash with him with him. <laughs> yeah. He right. Said, you, you, you look like roadkill out there. Boy, remember he said that what's his name? He said you you were waiting for me to blow that whistle. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you waiting for me to blow that whistle. <laughs> nah, eyes to Timmy. Yeah, prom talking trash to him. You see them eyes turn to Timmy, boy. You better go get that boy. <laughs> Give him something. <laughs> Go go do something. Go 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 up his chest. Go do something. <laughs> yeah, he all over the place. He see everything. He all but over I, the place. You hey, messed up, he got you. I knew he was gonna yeah, be like real. that, man. When he was doing all that running, what I say? I said he about to be out there in their face this year. Last year they didn't get they didn't get prime, man. He was hurt. He was hurt. Yeah, he I was, don't want them to show Alto no more. We got that, that was that one surprise. He has to be a surprise. I don't want to show the the big C. He's the secret. Yeah, mm-hmm. let him let the, we don't we don't need to show him. I don't want to see Swain him no more. Don't show yeah, I don't want to see name. Swain either. Don't show what's the name too much. Keep, they they don't show Chadozi too much either. Yeah, they keeping them surprises. They got yeah, you gotta have some kind of surprise for the other team. And uh, the other team, the other team is watching too. They're watching. And that was one of the uh, smarter things uh, Bucky did, man. Getting that uh, that that um. 
point of view, prime point oh, of view. Oh man, I love the point of view, man, because you see him doing all he talking to him and mm -hmm. doing trash talk too. It's hilarious. It's lit, I like when he started yelling. That's even more hilarious. But God darn. Uh, you don't know when they were get, get, get 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 uh, <laughs> getting at the flat, the uh, the chain gang. Yeah. Oh man, he don't got on oh. the chain <laughs> gang. Y'all like, play. Y'all yeah, play video games, right? <laughs> Listen, he don't coach up the the chain gang. It was like, what the fuck? <laughs> but my man can't get And they was they was shook too, Max. <laughs> and they like they was excited. They like they they was like excited to get coached. Tell me no, they ain't shook. They were getting coached. That's all. It's like. It was looking right, all like right. They yeah, like, they were really my lightweight. They were probably proud. Went home yeah. bragging about it. Right, man, that was so awesome, man. Man, I man, I shit in my pants. We was at practice today. He told me to move the chains faster. I said, yeah, I got it, coach. I'll be there in a yeah. second. He's like, man, we was like that's all he took it. I did. That's what I. Who the world is? I got some. This played to my mom. I don't know what's his plan. Oh, you get somebody playing music. Yeah, they running by. They like outside. Uh, it's called. I might pull it up. You see where my mic at? Man, your mic put you picked up everything. Yeah, I ain't picked this. They drive. You, out, you outside? Hell, like, nah, it's like they have a, they driving by. Oh, they got the uh, system in the car. Man, man, I like when he coach up. I like that first person because he talking trash. He. I mean, the coach up the chain game, that was that was hilarious. He had to put him in a huddle for real quick. <laughs> yo, they were so excited to be, to be told to do something. But, oh, yo. I like yeah. Welch, too. I like Michael Welch. So we don't need to see no more of him, either. I'll tell you, hey, that's that development. You seen what Shallow went and rocked him? Welch playing this year. He going to get some time. Hey, that that got him ready because he was he was loafing. Hey man, when you play off, hey, every defensive player at least. I, me personally, I think they should red shirt him, man. Who? I think shirt. they should pick up another veteran running back and red shirt him. Mm -mm, that boy can play some running back. Oh, uh, he might. I, I know he can say, play some, man. Say, I, 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 I let let him, I let him develop some more. I'm gonna let him put on some more, uh, put on some more man muscle. Develop him a little bit more. He and, about uh, to, he about the same he size. Got, he, got, he, he bigger than Dylan. Yeah, he got four busts. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, he about to yeah, but, you know, I will, I just won't put that wear on him that early. Maybe yeah. play him for like like uh you know like they did some other guy th three four games and then sit him down. He ready. That's he a good ready. problem to have though to have so many good running backs. That's a very yeah very because good if you add it, him and Dylan can be the lead backs going into next year to whatever you bring in there next year. You know what I mean? Yeah, really good problem to he have. Go, he gonna be, he gonna be. Well, look, man, he ready. I, when he when that play when he zoned and hit Shallow and, and made Bentley, he Bentley couldn't read him. That's why Bentley overplayed it because the gap was there. Like you just had to step in the gap, Bentley. But good running backs can play you out your gap, and that's what he did. And he, I was like, this one more, one see more the good second, The second I seen him do that play when he truck when he shook Bentley and truck Shallow, how he ran, I said he can play. He can play right now because it's timing. I checked that out, and I was listening to Big Dog Tico the last, uh, last night. He said the same thing. I said, "Yeah, we think like yeah, that. he ready to I play said, now." I said the same yeah. thing. The second I he, seen him hit that zone like that, I said, "Oh no, he play. yeah, he's a he, true he freshman. Good. He ready to go he, he now. Good. He good. Yeah, he ready now. He good. good, good, good. So he he he, he, he good, 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 good. He's good, good. No good." good. I knew he was ready because he used to initiate those. Um, even the little stuff he do, he used to initiate the um breaks. I knew he was ready. He's ready to go now. Some awesome. players are just ready. They just ready to like, like Caleb Downs. He's just ready to go. Some players are just ready to go out of high school. That, it's very rare, but he's ready. Yeah, he's been coached well. Whatever school he come from, good, I agree good. with you, Ronda. Absolutely. They get Randa. They might need more linebackers. Um, the running backs are straight. Oh yeah. Bring him back. The wide two receivers more are straight too. The wide receivers are straight too. It's like he yeah, got the right amount of patience. It's like he got the right amount of patience and he got the right pace back there. I'm that's all I'm seeing. I want to see him speed step back in the backfield. He ain't doing it. He pacing. I'm like, oh God. Oh my game go again. Oh, he pacing again. Oh God. You watching him, just watch him. He's just pacing. You don't see him pick up his speed because he's patient enough to keep his pace to where he can just hit the vision. Like I see it. I see this, I see this play. I looked at him and I was watching him on film. I said, This man, he got that look. You got that look, body. But now I'm like, oh yeah, I was right. I see it. 
He's so close. Yeah, he, he, he saw he saw a shallow going to so hit stick, so he rolled off of it. That's how he got free. He, rolled off of it. he just shallow. he just kind of he tried to spin. He did spin it, but shallow yeah. got a little bit of on him, but he Back was able to spin free and um, break through. That's how he got away. That's bad technique on shallow. He gonna get better. He got to he got to plant both knees in the ground and keep keep his keep his both shoulders forward. He started to lean. And, Instead of him rocking in the hip, he tried to like I don't know he was trying to like ankle like ankle grab or something to like move to the side. I he think he was trying to he was trying to hit stack him. That's what he was trying to do. Right, he got drive if shallow. If shallow would just hit, let let both his knees hit the ground and then hit him right in the thigh pad, he'll make a whole lot more tackles. Yeah, he ain't gonna miss too many. He not gonna miss too many of those tackles. He ain't gonna miss too many. Man, he say he only missed twelve for the whole season. That's not well, bad, man. actually. No, he My said nine. He said twelve out of a hundred. Yeah, that's said, not bad. That's not. That's great. He said twelve. He number. said twelve. He said he missed twelve percent. He said so. Twelve out of a hundred. You give me another safety in the country that did that, and yeah. I thought about it. And then Max, he said, "Oh, and by the way, I only gave up a hundred and sixty yards all season." I said, "God damn, Shallow Sh- played played pretty elite last year." Like, just from the outside looking in, like, looking in as a fan. I said, damn. But what's hey. going on, guys? How y'all feel? Hey, nothing much. Sorry, how you, how you been? I'm good. I'm good. Are you right, man? I, said, I was saying the whole thing. And then, plus, on top of that, that's with no off-season training. There's yeah, no he OTA. showed up late. Right. Yeah, man. I forgot about that. I forgot about that, Tom. I was saying it the whole time. I said, man, come on. How you expect this man to make every tackle when he just got there and made? He missed the whole – that's when you practice your tackling in the spring. As you can, as we all can see, they're practicing tackling. They're tackling. They're doing their stuff. He wasn't here at all. Remember, he wasn't here for another month and a half. He came yeah. in when Will Shepard come. That's why I'm like, man, you know, yeah, they older, they could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Zay, but, like, when you expect us to do stuff like that, tackle and cover and all that, you got to you gotta train at that, man. You got to really train at that. Yeah, I Show think it. the tight ends are good, too. We got enough tight ends. The whole team gonna tackle better this year just because they tackling right now together. They all here. I look, I look at that film last year, a year ago. Films were popping. Up. I look, oh man, none of them guys, none of them guys were there during the season. Go look at last year's spring film and tell me who you see that you remember from last year's season, and tell me how many <laughs> like everybody left, bro. Crazy. Just on top of that, now imagine they about to get all of this and they about to be. Man, they about to like I said, twelve and zero, man. We going to the natty, man. I'm done. Holla at me when we pick that ring up. <laughs> you said holla when we pick the. You said twelve and zero. Holla when we pick the ring up. We going twelve and zero. We going to the natty, man. We nattied out, man. I'm done, man. We pick, I said holla at me when we pick that ring up, man. This is a wrap, man. Yeah, People, I don't. I really don't know how I feel about those tight ends, Max. The I'm tight ends. Well, Passarello was injured last year. He's back. Yeah, that, and I think that's our hope. Because Shaman Matea looks lost out there. We got Yeverton as well. Remember, Yeverton is back. He was hurt too. He's back. I don't even know who that is. There's some big tight and some big targets, man. Right, the guy from uh, Ohio State. Hello. No, that's the guy Sam. Can y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. Who that? Who, I can hear you. We can. Hear you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Sam, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sam, that's the Sam guy Hart. from Ohio State. Yeah, Sam. Sam Hart. Hart. He Remember, he's there now. Is he there? Yeah, he. I, well, I don't he know. Should, he, should. he might be there now. I'm not mm, sure. That's a good question. Yeah, I think the tight ends are straight. And then they converted one of the smalls. I forgot Savelle Smalls. And then right. it's another one, Max. It's another guy that they converted from um, tight end to. I mean, from um, I want to say outside linebacker to tight end. Smalls. Smalls. It's not Smalls. Smalls. It's another guy. It's another guy. Um, I'm not sure who it is. It's in one of the well off videos. They was in the locker room talking. Oh, I I, I don't remember it. I, I gotta go Smalls. back and look. It was a no, the recent it's video. It's Savelle Smalls, but it's another guy. <clears throat> it's another guy. Oh, I, I believe wanna, it. I want to say he's a sophomore now. I'm lost. You got me lost now. Oh, you said Webb? My bad. Oh, you said Webb? Who's the other guy that got converted to tight end? Not Savelle Smalls, the other guy. Young guy. Young guy. Oh, you talking about uh Morgan Pearson? That's what I'm talking about, Morgan Pearson. Oh, okay. The linebacker. Oh, yeah. 
I thought he was already there before Smalls. No, this is first. Nah, they kind of they first. kind of transition at the same time this year. Okay, okay. I didn't even know. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So they they More. definitely they got. He had that. Uh, he was wearing a yellow jersey, Max. More yeah, than they, because he said that was going to be his only real shot to get on the field. So okay. he was like, "Yeah, I'll do it." Heck yeah, yeah. And, so and he ain't never played a uh, linebacker. He was playing like wide receiver slash like tight end type of role in high school. Okay, smart. they definitely. Got and he a said he's a, uh, he's a and and he also is, is uh, all state in baseball. Yeah, really? yeah, that's he what said, he was talking about. LJ uh, he said if they would have had a baseball team, he'd have been he playing doing sports. It. He would have joined mm-hmm. it, yeah. Because he I said he was going to go to OU to play baseball. Yeah, um, they was talking about it on Well Off, Thomas. They was in the locker room talking about it. Okay. Oh, no, I was thinking that was small. That was Parsons. Yeah. Uh, Morgan they, Pearson. They, was both no, Pearson. Pearson. They, they, Pearson. they interviewed both of them. Oh, yeah. that's why I was tripping. Okay. I think the defense got now got an identity with Lauren Sapp Yep. Oh, facts. They're going to be, I think it's going to be something else. So, so how does this work, y'all? Like, how does George Hankerman. need to upgrade at, at linebacker, man. If George Hankerman is just a, like a, 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 a I'm going to say like a mentor, how does he even affect the team as far as his, like, coaching ability, like? Like, cause he hey, can't hey, get out there and coach. He can't do what Warren said, or none of those guys can. They got to pass that. They got to uh, that rule. Got to pass that they in process of trying to um. They have motion trying to get rule. going. Unlimited coaches, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a rule that Coach Prime was talking about that's going to get passed. Well, the analyst can do a on field, but coaching, he's not even you know? an analyst. No, I mean, certainly uh, that's what. Well, yeah, I think well, I hope his there, title or something. It's a director. He's technically something. he's technically is basically the same thing as a uh is what a, um what uh Pat Sherman was. No, it's not. Well, no, yeah, I'm you, no, look. He, he, he uh leadership department. Yeah, like, yeah, leadership leadership. Yeah, but that's something they just made up. Yeah, well, they, they did. They did do that. The, yeah, like, I mean, so I mean. What was Pat Sherman he's last year? He's the director. Pat Sherman was an he's the he's a director of football leadership and engagement. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, it I mean, what is that? That's not an analyst. No, that's not, no, an, analyst. not an analyst. Oh, okay. But hey, he's there though. It, it, it's a plus to have him there. Yeah. Right, right. If one of well, the players, I mean, he said he's gonna yeah. have a hand on that off, on that offensive line. He was uh he was dealing with the NFL Players Association too as well for years. Their organization, he's doing what they have think. That's the same thing. Oh, yeah, man, that man. Too. Yeah, that man will reach his loan then. Yeah, so you know oh. it's good to have, yeah. He, he good for, you know, the guaranteed guarantees. Let's right, keep right. Getting, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Prime know what he's doing, man. I was like, when he said he worked in the NFL uh, player association, I said, oh, okay. I stayed if he can't so get, these um, guys into the league. If he can't get Ray in there, man, if he can somehow get – uh. Uh, taquito spikes, is it taquito or keto spikes? Taquito spike. Yeah, man. If he can get him in there, man, or one of them, you know, top uh, old school linebackers in there to help uh, coach Hard out. Arrington. Yeah, yeah, oh. man. Oh man, he, he got right. one. In, he got one in there though. Lt. He got oh, a Darius. But he's a, he's a, oh. he's more the edge. He's, I think he's going to be more uh, that shadow man and play, That man played every position at linebacker with the Ravens. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, did. He, did. he did. He did, actually. He did. Well, okay. he yeah, he yeah, got he, he got the He got the He got the He got the He got more than enough coaches there oh, now. Man. Everything else would just be like overboard yeah. like do you great. understand what one pro coach can help you out with like it's like you know how you said max when he was saying hey just get damn pick your head up yeah Those and little it, thing, and it ain't... go ahead no go ahead brother no, it's good. those little things like yo uh, like he said like he said hell you help you win games yes you got that times nine bro yeah people we're gonna see some amazing football next year no no doubt they're gonna be no, well coached, and it ain't play. like uh that Ray Lewis uh technique or uh teaches them rub off on uh Delius Thomas. 
I'm sure oh, it man, did. That's a fact. I'm that's sure it did we, a rub off on him. I bet you Mike. I bet you Michael Vick can tell you how good Adele your Samus is. Look, it's like if you can't get if you can't get Ray and that's Lewis, saying something for Michael Vick. You know he broke Michael Vick leg. Man, Daly Thomas broke how many people off in the leg? He, how many people? He, how many seasons he ended, bro? He's the smack, bro. He's kind of like that Him dude from Dallas. Nasty. Hey, you talking about hitting like that dude from that crazy dude that in Dallas right now? Man, I was, I was, that's what that's I was. Another one. Who are you talking about, man? I don't want him hitting me. I Daly forget Thomas? his name. He played in Dallas. Well, uh, LeBron Suggs, man. You don't, hey, man. Who you want to get hit by? Thomas or Suggs? <laughs> I don't want to get hit by Suggs either. How about both of them at the same time? <laughs> and, the, and then they, then, then, then those guys had y'all forgetting about they played with Peter Bowell too. Like. Yeah, Peter Bowell was there too. Yep. Peter Bowell, Big Saragusa, man. Come yeah, on. Yeah, Tony Saragusa. They better be stacked in line. Jamie Sharper was there. Jamie Sharper was there. But look, they better be stacked at linebacker, though, man, because right now, I don't know who's gonna leave in that linebacker room when the portal open up, but you got you got the guys that you got there now. We know for sure Western's gonna go play this year because he's he's acting up right now. His his confidence is blowing. You can hear him out there on the field thumping his chest. I he didn't made a play in the back. You can hear him like in the background thumping his chest. And um and plus you got the um whoever they finna bring in through the portal, and you got the the, the Garcia kid that's coming in. Yeah, he's you know what I mean. He's yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, he's nice, and you got uh, uh, Goldberg's boy. Yeah, he's you not there either. About? He's not there like yet Goldberg. either. Come I on, like man. They, they, yeah, man. No, those, those are, and those are big two big linebackers. Both of them guys, uh, six foot, six foot one, six foot two, two twenty. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard both of them Phil boys. Big. I heard when Phil Loho told his players to stand near him or the other guy and at all times in practice. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, oh, big yeah. boss. I heard that. Why would you not? It's like that's what I'm like. Big why boss. Would he even had to tell you that. Like, yeah, he should be next doing. to him. Yeah. And they and they didn't say and they didn't. They, they out, yes, sir. All right, they right there. Yeah. When he talks, they listen. Oh yeah. He shouldn't have yeah. to waste his breath for that. Man, y'all see what they saying in the, in the chat? Man, they saying Phil Loho is making his guy stand next to him. Yeah. And he's yeah, not he playing with him. He means business. Yeah, he yeah means that's what he said. That's what he did, yeah. bro. He did Make that. sure my guys know their assignment. Well, I know he has something. He said, yeah. he said, yeah. he said, yeah. if I ain't right, if you don't stand next to me, stand next to uh, it was some other, I guess, like some other offensive line coach. Right, and then Wait, he was like, so uh, "What video did he say this on?" LT? In the last video, I got to uh, watch uh, that again. I was falling asleep on it. Yeah, he was like, "You stand, you at all times. You either stand next to me, or he named somebody else at all times." And he said in a very low voice too, and then he wow. meant business. Yeah, and they listen. You know, he's not that far removed from the trenches in the NFL. So of course he's not nice. even that much older than these guys. No, like, it's not. not like a huge gap. Bro, I'm just scared that, that we're not going to be. I'm I'm scared that he's going to be like so good of a coach. We're not going to be able to retain him. But that's what that's what you want. Like he has to move to the next level if he want to. You know that's yeah. that's what Coach Prime want. He want that. Like if he right. wants to go to the next level and. Be like an art shell and be a head coach one day. Yeah, that's what he want. This is this is his first stop. Yeah, of course. Right. If that's what he want to do. Boy, no, the problem want to keep and he, and he and they molding the monster out of the uh two or three of them line them uh them D linemen, man. Them D tackle. Sap ain't playing, he getting in them boys. He is my they mind. said they said Brandon Davis Swain had three sacks yesterday uh Saturday. Yeah, man, yesterday. uh uh, McCoy, McCoy had like two. Yeah, they they look like they don't play. Like look, that that freshman don't play. Uh-huh. He's ready to go. You right, Thomas. He got a lot of sacks in high school for a reason. I'm telling you, I and, said, uh, I, Punisher. They call him the Punisher. Yeah, he looked and like Eric Brand. Eric Brandley had a a, a, a fourth fumble and a, a recovery, and then you had um JJ Hawkins had that tip ball on Shador to call that interception. JJ Hawkins been flashing, boy. This whole this whole little uh, spring. Nah, he had though. Yeah, he caused the fumble too. 
called the Fumble. Got that. He smacked yep. uh, with, with problems getting on their tail. Talking about yeah, that. when they smacked him in the back in the backfield, smack uh, off and all in the backfield, yeah. made him fumble. Yeah, they yeah, up. I know. They yeah, they, up. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they ain't going nowhere. No, nah, he's not. He's he gonna be part of that rotation. Gonna keep. They gonna have all them fresh legs, boys in the hunting. There ain't gonna be no uh somebody just getting locked up on one man and just, just standing there now. Them boys gonna be rotating in and up out of there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Big you see how, man, you see how uh uh staff had them boys running running doing them goddamn drills. Yeah. And play play that play that but run run that back row on the uh uh Mac. Okay. Yeah, boy, man, Sap is a monster, man. He is, man. He see he see how intense he is. He giving them pro workouts. He know that he gonna bring them up to speed. Come on, look at this dude, man. You want everybody to, been waiting on, to waiting on this to that out. 90s. Ooh, ooh, that realness. Look at him talking to him. Look, look how long that line is, though. He's go. watching him. He's yeah, building. exactly go. how long that line is. Look, he's building that motor up in him. He's building that motor. When he makes that like, line that long, like that's building that motor, that endurance, and that hunger. I like how he get out there and do the drill. Like, this is how you do it. Look like, at I him. Like he, it. He's watching him. Let me see who uh-huh. that. That's what Sway had. Sway had that bounce. That's why I seen that, too, in his film. He's still bouncing. See, like, if you and go he back, finna go run it back. Let me see. And he finna he gonna run it back to Prime and let him know who dog, who, what he see, and what he like. Yeah, and I, and I know, like, three. Let me go get about three more of those. I know where to go get them. Same, look. Trying to get a little bounce, man. Chidozi got to get healthy, man. Man, if yeah. ain't no fathers, if What's it ain't leave by ten fathers, uh, on, on sure. they line I'm trying to sure get up, trying to get their sons up there. I'm not sure what's wrong with him, Max. I know he's hurt. It looked like his hand. Like there, like, yeah, it looked like yeah, his thumb. Yeah. It looked like he might have broke his thumb or something. Oh, oh, that no, hand them, is them, now a battering ram. Now that's a battering. Them last two pinky fingers. Pinky by the pinky Wait, finger. I don't think Ooh. I seen this video at all. Yeah, no, nah, this is new. It just just dropped. Well, yeah, it dropped today. That's on the other well off. Why yeah, did not get clip. the alert for this? No, the well off. But it, this is the well off clips. This is well off clips. He got like a third channel. This is well off third channel. I'm gonna oh, share no, second channel. Yeah, second can you channel. share that, man? Yeah, I'm gonna share. I, it I never even heard of this channel. Oh, yeah, this is this is second. This is second channel. Here, I put it in. Uh, well, um, I spammed it. Got well off clips. Yeah, well off clips. Getting the fives going. Let's go now. This, these, I love these drills. And they bonds. You see, we see how he's right there guiding them through right, it. Right there, yeah. You see, right yeah. there, he got to learn to take a knee. He got to learn to take a knee and hold and stay square. He'll teach. He got to come up. He go. He gonna teach him. He te- he teach them how to stab right there. That's a stab. What he doing? He's stabbing. Teach them how to stab. So they can hold the gap, stab, hold the gap, take a knee. You know what I'm saying? That's if the ball coming to you. But he, he ain't, ain't no ball coming to you. See, yeah, how he's, see how he's closely watching him? Shade, stay steady. Stab, oh, he took hold, a knee. You saw that? There, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. he teaching them how to, they, what yeah. to do when they take on yeah. that double team. Yeah. 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 Teach them. So if they do, and but, the ball. But look, you hear what he's talking about? You hear what he's talking about over there? Yeah. <laughs> but look at both of them though. Go back, uh, 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 uh Max. Look how both of the offensive classic. line and defensive line coach in the, in their face talking to him about it. At the same, yeah. it didn't, especially it uh, right Walker. Wow. Yeah, he, he look at it, he too light in the ass, man. Wait, who's too light in the ass? Uh, your Curry, fifty five, right yonder. Is that your Curry, fifty five? Yeah, that's him right there. He was the center. That's the center. Damn, look how low Holt is towering over him. Damn. It's a big man. That's a big man, man. And look at look at look at Sap. All right in, uh, there, look. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. He like he like, if you can hear him, you can hear him. He he talking about telling them that they, uh, you're curious, scared of them. Step. Oop, took a knee. Yeah. He got Come him. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's, how, that's how you take on the gap. And they was you not. You see how he walked up on your curry? Yeah, <laughs> got both of them. I see him. He did. He did tanking to Tyler Brown the same way. He couldn't move him. He just didn't take a knee because he probably would have got tanked over. Yeah, you see how he walked between you. that right boy, here, man. Yeah. That boy was a monster back then, man. In his youth, man. Check you can see he, he didn't. He didn't give a. Uh, 
Man. That right there, most colleges just drill. They don't do it like that. They well, do with it that drill just way. now? Yeah, that little circle drill. Back. A lot of colleges, they let you hit, engage, and let go. Now he, he drive it all the way around. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the old school way of doing it. Now they just do a little outside edge and let you turn hips. But this man. right here. He's going to get uh, Wiggins right, too, man. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that boy right there. Ooh, he coming. He going to turn man, Wiggins something. into something Hey, who's number, who's number 40? That's McCoy. That's McCoy. That's McCoy? Yup. Damn, he don't. Now, he okay, see, boy. Out there. He look good out yep. there. Yup. Westside, boy, man. from the West. Out there in Oklahoma City. Putnam City, baby. Yeah, McCoy. Look, look how he doing his hands. Yeah, he working them more. You want you want to see a bounce? You want to see a bounce in a step? When you see, should like watch watch Swain right here. He got the bounce on. This bounce, Swain, bounce, right? Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. Yep. You want to see that bounce? You want to see that bounce right there? How he hit the edge and it was bouncing. You want to see him do that? You want? To see, he just ran. You you uh -huh. that, you'll see. Like, he just ran. Look like he bouncing. I can't really tell. Oh, that's that's, that's uh, really. uh huh. Yeah, he bouncing, bouncing. That's, that's, uh, there you go. Woo! That's how you hit that. That's how you hit the edge. Ooh, Big Chidoza. That's how you turn that edge. That's how Eric Bradley's still a baby. Yeah, he teaching them to Bradley be lethal. Bradley got technique. That man got technique. They getting ready to be lethal. That's like baby Paul. step, baby step, baby step. Yeah, he working on baby step. Mm-hmm. Get technique. You know who was good? You know who was good at that little technique? Will Smith was. Rest in peace mm -hmm. to him. Look at it. Look at they, it. They even, in fact, they call one of the moves to Will Smith. I forget the technique, but they call it. strong, him. boy. Look at me. That boy's strong, man. That boy was strong. That's why I sat for, uh, was it, uh, that's, that's the sap move. Slap right on there. Head, Go back. That, that, that boy was that, strong right there. That's the sap move. Best in that guy. Oh, the yeah, sap told him that right there. Oh, wait, man, we got missed. Let me go back again. Oh, uh, we start, we start 1 1000. Look, look how he holding him, how he holding him up right there, holding himself, man, holding that block. Look at sap. Right. Look, look at the link is watching on. You see that? See him watching on, ready to go. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, them nice. boys gonna be lethal, man. They, they training killers out here. They gonna be lethal. Damn, they can't move them. Come on, that's, come on. Look at Sap. 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 Oh, that boy's strong, man. Teach him how to hit, yeah. Teach him how to hold that. Hold yeah. up, he's holding the six eight dude and rock. That's Savion. He's strong, him, man. That's Savion well, one man. leg. Well, one leg, Max. I see him. <laughs> he's probably trying to get that one leg down. He can't get it down. Look, he can't get it down. We're like, Savion, like, go hold back. Hold on, man. Hold on. Hey, this ain't back. right. Man. Man, I hey, man, look. Savion trying to pull that it back. That man didn't go, like, go to Savion the, the world's strongest man <laughs> contest or something, man. He's trying to put his knee down. Look. He's trying to put his knee down. He's trying to put his knee down. Oh, man. Watch, watch, watch. Savion, look. He's trying to put his knee down. Look, look, look at Sap. Look at Sap. Look at Look at Sap. Look at Sap. Oh man! Come on, man! Hey, um, hey, Chidozi huh? wanted. Remember, he kept saying "Sap" on the way. He couldn't wait for Sap. Yeah, man. Oh, I gotta look at that. Hey, he, he, look at this, man. He he man he hold Listen, he's holding six hundred pounds off of him. Right. Listen, look, look, they can't move him, and they know if he get his knee down, they won't ever move him. And watch what Sabian start doing when he trying to put his knee down. Look, watch. He's trying to put his knee down. Look at Sabian. And you know, trying to get him. He, he was trying to lift their leg. You seen him? He wanted to lift them on over. <laughs> He's trying to trick Look at, look at, look at, nah, look at Lloyd Ho. Look at Lloyd Ho. Y'all couldn't get that. Y'all couldn't get that mother effort. Come on, man. Look at Lloyd Ho. Came up, came up in there. He had something to say for real. Yeah. You got to get right. Look at him. Ugh. You got it's Sabian CB working in. Watch Lloyd Ho come up in there. Look, he sad. also got a low center of gravity too. He five eleven. Man, can't get him. This right here is technique. That was technique right there. How yep. you just come it's on? Pure that wheel. Was that. that was that was Mayor. We carry him Carter. Over there. No, that was Carter. That was Carter going through Mayor's and uh. Look man, look at Big Barnes back there, man. Boom. Woo. One one thousand sack. Man, come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna be dangerous next year. That line. And that was what? Look, 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 look. look. You're Curry Walker. That's who we own. That's why uh, that's why Zelenkis is starting, man. 
Wait, let me look at that again. I didn't notice that was your carry. Let me see again. Yeah, that's why Zelensky's been since starting. You know? Mm-mm-mm. Hey, man, may the best man get the position, you know? They're going to sort them out, man. They yeah, they're going to sort it out. That's how we sort it out right here. I'm talking about that. It's right here. Woo, I know it's more to see, man. Good Lord. What I'm seeing, they're going to be ready, ready. There ain't no way in the world they ain't going to know what to do with any situation, I think. Woo. Like I said, just off that alone, this let you see them stabbing me. This is like, yeah, let's go. It's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. Shador get the ball 20, 30 minutes a game. It's a wrap. Wait, Zelinkas did a little something there. Okay. He's trying to get it right. You got, I think you got to loosen up. They try, they turn thing. You got to turn. You don't never want to get turned. Never want to get turned. The thing is to keep your shoulders square with the line of scrimmage. Keep your shoulders square. Keep your shoulders square. Damn, Shadozy, damn, he did get by Let's on go. that one. I saw that. He did get by. Dozy. He getting double. Look, he's like, yeah, I'm he leaned good. on. Um, Sapped. Yeah, he leaned. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at it again. Yeah, he got him there. He had the leverage. He got through. The devil. Teach him that little poop. As soon as you get there, as soon as you hit that shorter pad in between both right there, they can't get you. Boom. But see, he squared him, shared him, and still getting blocked down. Like, sap on him to keep his shoulders square. It's a little bit more, though. You want to keep them shoulders square. Like, you got that, though, boy. Keep the hold down, man. Go and get it now. Go in and get it now. <laughs> hey, this is amazing, man. Yeah, it really is good good footage here. I was pumped watching this. Hey, they go, what's the name right there? Somebody said, where is um, McCaskill? You just saw him. Watch, 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 where's the run is route. Watch the bounce, 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 bounce. That's right. That's pro feet. You can see. Now watch Caleb here. It don't look the same. He got to get more technique in his bounce. Like, you, you, that's the breakdown difference when you see players moving with that bounce, that bunny. You know what I'm talking about? That's when they got that technique. Your feet, when your feet get to a certain point, you just start bouncing on your run. Yeah, that's why, you know, it's a lot of guys who run like that out there. That's how the pros look. When you look at pros, they all run like that. They all run with that bounce. You seen that bounce I was showing you, Max, right there? Yeah. Go back. Yeah, okay. that's the – if you go back and you look, just look. If you, if you really just like <clears throat> wherever you look at it, you'll see how they move. And you'll see the difference between the bounce and then somebody just running. Like, it, it, it come through training, like, right, boom, boom. You see how he just bouncing? It seems like even his shoulder pass is coming up a little bit. But right here, look, no bounce, just run forward. You'll see it. <laughs> it it's just the difference between footwork. Yeah, man, you know, you don't heal the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Just bounce, right? Mm, break down, pow, oof. You more, more dog running, more straight ahead, which is good running. I never even bounce, heard man. of this channel before. What? No wonder only got 10,000 subscribers. Bro, he don't promote this channel. It's on It's on here. If you go to his page, it's right there. But I'm, I'm just going to put it in the... Um, yeah, I, I seen we you spammed it in the comments, <clears throat> so I went and um, subscribed to it. Yeah, he put all his clips on there. Yeah, this is a really good uh this is really good uh clips here that he showed. These are some of the clips he hasn't showed before. We get the uh the little behind the scenes footage of the behind yeah, the scenes. There's some stuff he's never showed on his main page. Oh yeah, here's good. I like, I, like, I like what I'm seeing. I really like what I'm seeing. I'm kinda like I'm seeing the speed and the the progression of other schools, they're not showing as much. I seen some of the USC stuff too. I've seen a couple of these little uh, Oh, I see Ben. He, he's standing with Shiloh. Is he the other safety? We'll see. Big Ben? Mm hmm. Like, he's going to communicate with them safeties. They all got to know. Yeah, that's true. They all got to know. But Ben might get some burn, though. I know he back healthy this year. I mean, he was injured last year. Somebody said that Rob, somebody in the comments said Rob isn't vocal enough. 
Who's not vocal? Who, oh, Robbie's not vocal. No, well, everybody got their own style. Right. That's what I was thinking, Max. Like, <clears> everybody's <throat> not a rah rah guy. As long as his message get across, that's all that matters. Yeah, and I think the way he's running this defense is perfect. His team is disciplined enough. They listening to him. Max, it's like night and day from last year. Complete. Complete night and day. It's like he's got a seen, lot of experience. See, Max, you seen Chidozi? He don't have on no pads. He's hurt. I this mean, he probably resting. Um, you know how a coach tell you to sit out? Sometimes yeah, because he did tell Torian Carter he's yeah, not he coming like back until Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Want to stay rest, stay fresh. Oh, let me drop it on a second. What did they? Oh, what the? Uh, they ain't gonna be hitting until Wednesday. <clears throat> I think it's another scrimmage next Saturday. Yeah, they walk through today. The what well, they they run to condition today? Then they off tomorrow. Back Tuesday. The pad yeah, he'll it. tell some of them to sit out until then to get a break. They'll be back tomorrow. The break is not in the past. Well, Rhonda, why does he need to be a rah-rah guy? No, he doesn't. All players doesn't react to that. Well, Man. he got he got um a lot of experience in the NFL with great players. So right, twelve years. He 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 coached the best. He made this guy Jesse Bates the best safety in the NFL. Yeah, that's on his resume. Yeah, kick me out, man. Oh, Honestly, it was two of them, Max, because the guy that was behind Jesse Bates, he was really good too. I, I want to say he got accolades. And he got he got some experience with Pac Man too. Not only that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. plus that. And then he was a scout and he scouted players. He coached and he got them to be like pro man. He totally developed pros to be a pro like all pros like yo uh, and he know he know that. how to you know that film too though man he know how to adjust and i believe he know how to uh put the matchups together and put players in the right places and able to get players in and out the game you won't be seeing all that um you know what was it uh too many players too many players on the field and all that right play a game right because they doing it now look that's what I was saying too. I said it's hard. Look, look, you, you do all of that stuff. You can you say that stuff now. You rotate and now <laughs> and then you do it in the game. But when you with a team where y'all ain't even like did this and then you start in the middle of the you know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be hard. Like who don't people don't know? Like it's so much going here, on. Here you go, Thomas. You watching the screen? I'm looking at it. That's what you was you saying the bounce. Oh, he almost had him. Yeah, man. yeah, man, yeah, was, yeah. He, man, got, he tried yeah. to take his head off. Dylan got hey, Hodge been playing yeah. real good too, man. Hodge Dylan been got playing good. Dylan got bounce out there. You know what I'm talking about? That's, that's what they talking about. When people saying they got that bounce out there, that's what they talking about. They want to see him do that. But like, bro, when you ain't rotate how they rotating now is how they gonna rotate in the season. And if they going like how they going five five three or whatever he practicing on, this man they gonna be beating teams now. If they no, play into the third trip. string, he must have yeah. tripped right here. Let me see. He must have tripped or something. He like he tried to brush Travis. It's on another. It's on. I think it's on the next film. They show he like brush Travis. He yeah, they to, showed like, a different Travis. angle. Yeah. Yeah, he tried to pocket him and like Travis too strong. He just like do. He just fell. <laughs> Travis just caught an easy bird. A little schooling. A little school, a little develop. That's called development, y'all. That right there, development. Hodge picked up. Same thing with with Shallow Smack, little uh, Welsh. You know, what I'm saying Welsh came right back trucking. Now he know better. Hey, Look man, at you Dylan. Know. He he getting he getting ready. Man, he's oh, yeah. Three touchdowns a game, easy. Yeah, he getting ready. Well, you heard you heard it here first. Dylan, two two touchdowns for show. Sure. Three touchdowns a game. I don't. I don't. I think this team gonna be really good, but. I don't think. We oh, they go, they go, they go. Your boy. Somebody say where McCaskill at? There he is, right there. That's McCaskill, man. I'm telling you, look, you got a lot of talent, certain techniques. It get you a whole lot. Get Michigan well. last I year ooh. won a lot of technique, man. Even when they got when they lost TCU. Listen, listen though, listen to the program you're talking about, Thomas. You're talking this. about a program that has a history behind it. Like players want to go there. That's this is what Prime is building towards. 
Huh? That's what I'm saying. That history, I mean, I could see be you. wrong. I could see be wrong. You ain't, if they, you if they get it, then that's fine. But I just don't see it. Not this I year. Get I get it. I, I take a step back. I can take a zoom. I can take a. I can take a wide view. Hey, I see. It. I ain't. Everybody want to say, "Oh, it's that was a great catch. Yeah, that was. Look, you got all the man. Come on. Who was that? Who was that? That was a Marion was Miller, Marion. wasn't it? Yeah. It was oh, it was O on uh, McKinney. So it wasn't no scrub. That's number eight. That's OSU transfer. <laughs> but Miller been topping everybody all spring. <laughs> Man, I said, was, it. Uh-huh. I, I still say he gonna be CU best receiver they ever had, bro. As from a freshman to a senior, bro, straight up. He already averaged like twenty some yards of catch, twenty seven. He about to average like thirty. He gonna keep that up. Watch. He gonna Chris, graduate. Chris, bro. Chris, we ain't say nothing about Kansas. We talking about Michigan. I bro. seen Kansas. I seen Kansas too. I watched their little. They got a little practice out there. They. Yo, oh, man, they, they trying to they trying to record like yeah, uh, man, everybody Colorado doing. Yeah, yeah, a lot everybody. of people are starting to record like that now. Yeah, Bruh, when, like, didn't I tell you it started with Hawaii, Max? Remember, I came Hawaii, yeah, Hawaii does it. it. Mm-hmm. Bro, yeah, Kansas ain't too big, ain't look too big. And I look at their highlights like they got they got a cool little and and and, little and, band, and Max. They, I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> I don't think Hawaii would have been. Viewed like it is without Dennis Thurman because Dennis Thurman has that that coach prime experience. So going over there to Hawaii is just gave you that. Oh, let's see what he has to offer. So people are are tuning in and watching it. Yeah, but yeah, a, a lot, lot of, of a lot people. of players are starting to uh, film it now. To you know, on their social medias, I'm starting to see it on YouTube now. Yeah. Well, well, right. um l- let's see who follows behind Bucky and put the GoPro on their coach next. Cuz it's oh, going to glad come. he's okay. That that was a that was a hell of a play. His I'm glad that kid well, um got up after that. His legs got hit. Yeah, that turf, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, a lot of colleges got their little films. Uh, they got their little they go McCaskill channels out. There he is. Yeah, McCaskill play. Look at him. Boom. But look at that D. Oof, yeah. Don't do it. Well, D turned up right there. Man, Ooh, my, hey, Max, my- did you hear what Shallow said? Shallow said he, he was bored the other day at practice. He said, he said, um, um, Rob is calling. Please, so look, good. go back to this player right they, here. They, he, they go not even to getting to the, to the third level to him for him to make any plays. That's way look, that's the way he wanted to be. Yeah, down there, the, the, the trench is doing a thing. Yeah, the trenches. So he, he yeah, them boys, them, them, them boys, them boys, them boys coming through the hunt, man. That means he's playing that regular speed. And then it's more, individual, it's more individual uh, one-on-ones, too. Look how fast that pocket collapsed, man. Oh, man. I think yeah, your play coming right up here. now. Your play coming up now. Not well, all one. of these plays, like, pretty good to look at the line. But I like Jimmy. I like that move right, here right coming up. Yeah. There's one play coming up. Though, really, this one right here show a lot of technique. Yeah, this play this right team. here coming up. It might be. Look at it. It's hard to bring them down. God. Lee, that's that was a good nice. one, too. Yeah, yeah that's the defense nice. kills the camps. That little, little Craig went in there. Man, I like Amari McNeil, man. Wait, who's number? Who's 92 again? 92 is Bomb. That's God, from Bomb. That's, that's a big kid, man. Yeah, that's why I said we need about, about two more of him. I mean, look at this. God, Two or three you, more. Man. Boy, that kid right there. And he building confidence, too. This is confidence and playing time that's been installed in him that they wasn't getting at Alabama. No shaking for us uh, towards Alabama, but they didn't have the time to, to, you know what I'm saying, to put into him to get that out of him like that. Right. Well, they, had, they had so many players at Alabama. It's just like a right. waiting a waiting line. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was stockpiled. Yeah. Palm going to turn him up. Sad turn him up. 
And they nurturing them too. And they and they nurturing them too, man. Damn, look at that. That is bad intentions. God, and Chris, Chris E, you right. That's what Prime been was getting and on him about. Craig got it. And he was saying you need Craig to get the ball the out faster. Soman Craig was in the mix too. Yeah, oh yeah. Watch yeah, this. He made it's a, a very it's a violent there. play that's here. Craig. That was Boom. violent. Yeah, that's Craig coming in. Boom. Oh, that, and look, and he talking trash. That's violent. Oh man. You see how he gets so yeah, that right there. This is right here. This play right here. This see, he needs to get the ball out faster there because yeah. that could well, be Prime, a set. Prime told him that. Yeah, that's what I was telling. That's what I was telling Chris E. Um, that Prime told him he needs to get the ball out. I like how that freshman Jordan is vocal. Seaton is huge, I like man. I like how Seaton is vocal. Sometimes you just yeah, got to get the ball gotta, away. That's yeah, right. you gotta. Uh, yes, you know, I gotta get the ball a lot faster, man. Make the decision, make the you know, make the faster decision. Yeah, that play right there showed a lot, man. We, we could have broke that play down, seen so much. I was breaking down all these plays yesterday, man. Like, yeah, they, 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 look, they looking real right. When you I like how start, he keeping that matchup with Marion and uh, Thomas. And let me ask you something. So, when are you gonna start a channel breaking these plays down? I don't know. Right now, I'm just like. I'm just right now. I'm just surfing through the the whole scenery. I'm checking out other colleges. I don't know. I might. You know I that's a good. One. That's a good um niche to get in because you know that other channel is doing that. Man, that man will be on a talk for hours if he do something like that. Yeah, that's a good videos. niche to get in. Right, man. I, I'll break down this little play right here for about twenty minutes. <laughs> all right, break, all right, break it. All right, break it down. Break it down. Break it. Well, break that up. Break the break that up. The, what I want the, the one before that. that. That's the real breakdown. One, the one that he was. When Keaton, when Keaton Wade and uh, the one before this, when he told Travis to catch it, he said, nah, I ain't, well, I ain't catching that. The one Travis, before that. Travis, uh, he got a little bigger. He definitely got his weight up. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, yeah, easily. 190, 185, 190. Well, to do what he need to do, he don't want to get, you know, he's right where he's good where he's at. Right. Bounce. Look at that bounce, bounce, bounce. Look at yeah, that. Pro bounce. Woo! Floating that's, a pro. that's a pro right there. That's a yeah, pro, man. His that's only pro. job, his only job is to stay healthy. That's it. Right. Yeah. Uh, there it he would have caught that if he was gonna uh came and slapped that at that last moment. He was gonna catch that. He do Trav the getting Hodge better. A little stiff on him. He almost tried to stiff arm. I saw it. Yeah, he did. He did. He did, he did pull, I think he pulled Travis down. By that like number shirt. seventeen is going to have to learn to jump when when those play when you know at the end of those plays because that's how you blow a knee out, twist the ankle, break a leg. Hot. Mm -hmm. They was talking about that on on that other channel. That man. Oh, that's a physical running about. back. That's physical. It's hard to bring him down. All right, break this right running. now, Thomas. This is the one I want you to break this it down. Out there running, running. Break that violent play down. What, this right here? here. This is pursuit. This all not pursuit. this one. Not this one. The next one. This one. This. Oh yeah, no. Nah, this Craig right here. And you see? And so tell me who y'all think that is from right there that made that tackle. Tell me who that is. Craig. 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 Craig, Craig got it. No, nope. right there. No, no, right there. That made that dive. That's who made oh, the tackle. Hit him. Jalen Wester. Oh, thank that's you, Craig. Will. That's Wester, oh. Will. Good job, no. Will, man. That's Wester. Look how that's it, look Wester. how quick he. I thought it was you see how quick he, 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 he that tackle, but that's did you Jaylen see how quick Wester. he broke that play down and Man, and, and went in like the hell this play? Wow, right yeah. there. Oh, yeah. so was, that show was too far. Ooh -wee. That's why he got up and he was talking. You can hear him in the background. Where he from? If, if you play yeah, this, you can hear him in the more. background talking. About, I do this. I do this. You know how he got that that voice. I do this. Yeah. <laughs> you go today. I was. I thought though. Wow, bro. He got. He took on the block. He took. Okay. Wow. Where he dropped from? Sam Craig was uh getting up flexing from uh hitting uh he, he hitting Seville Smalls. Yeah, he blew Smalls. <laughs> Bodhi, I think that's your name. Seventeen oh, man, is not real solid. Israel Solomon has on a yellow shirt. On the yeah, uh, that's uh, oh yeah, that's Hodge in the uh, number seventeen. Is Hodge? Yeah, 
It's hard. The one where you said a hard. Hard. Yeah, hard. He's had a blonde on her. Cisco. Oh, you beat for that. Yeah, Come on, man. I need you up in there again. I need you up man. in there, man. Yeah, I need Gant all, all the way up in there. But why? I don't need to sit no watching. I need you up in there. I like how Gant been showing up lately, though. Know, stress, stress. Who the we saw? Somebody flying in the week saw. Look, that hit stick is not going to bring him down. He's too big for that. That You got to wrap him up. You yeah. have to but all the, I don't like how it, oh, it's all the, the, the whole secondary is over there. But where is them D-linemen? Y'all got to get off them blocks. Go back to that one more time, Max. They not the D line got to get off them blocks, man. Them edges, look at that boom. He is got mashed into the ground. Then look at the rest of them. Where, where's the next defensive lineman at? He supposed to be coming through that mile. He supposed to got cleaned up. Somebody supposed to came through that clean, clean. Oh, the mechanics right. still up. Hey, look, Dre, I honest, one Dre, of the I offensive linemen got a pancake. Did you see it? There's a pancake yep. there too. Uh, on the end. Yep. Yeah, on the end. Dre, I honestly thinking if I had to bet on it, Slusher is going in the portal, bro. I haven't seen him all uh, camp. Yeah, where is Slusher? Yeah, I haven't seen him since like uh, like uh, what's the type of uh, conditioning? He might be hurt. He might be hurt. I mean, I haven't seen him since that Ben Fennessy video. He was out at dinner with them at, at dinner with them, but I haven't seen him. Boom, pancake. The good stretch, little play. They stretch right there. Now that he still, he, yeah, he held, he held the edge. He still got stretched. Not gonna get him down. They go Gant yeah, right there. Who's the next? Who, who's the first D lineman over there? Though, that's why I want to see Big Bones. Cause he supposed to pass. Whoever that's that a was. Hell of a play clean, he just made right there. Bro. Yeah, that was a hell of a play. Yeah, Wester. Yeah, that was. He yeah, look at Wester. You see him placing? Look at Wester. What's over there placing afterwards? See Bones. He got a flexing because he because he clogged the gap. He clogged the gap up. And what's the over there? He he flexing because he didn't just right make here, a play. Good. I like that. Look at that stunt. Oh my god! All right, it's just look at, to like you ain't got it. Go back. You ain't got it. Throw it away. That there's a throwaway. Hey, hey Max. Hey, throw Max. Away. Do you think Romani is gonna hit the portal? I don't see. I don't see. I, when we don't see these players, I, we don't know what's going on. Sometimes it could be injuries. It could be anything. Man, I heard that he was um, on academic probation or something like that. We we don't know what's. I'm not they, saying that that's facts. Yeah, man, but see, the I thing mean, is, man, yeah, I think I people just making up. People just making up. People just making up whatever. I don't want to say because the team hasn't said anything. So until they right. say something, then you know, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know, man. I, people just making up, what's saying whatever. Yeah, we just don't know what's so happening. Ease their mind, or so they can have a, a, an excuse or something like that. Back there, you know, you're gonna have to wait until they let somebody yeah, know, man. Because I mean, at the end of the day, the only reason why people want to know is because they don't see them because you got this this access. You don't know when uh, uh if a player's uh, not showing up to practice at LSU until the game starts. Yeah, the only he's not there playing in the game. The only way we'll know unless the coach or the team say something. That's only yeah, way. man. Treat it just like you would treat your other schoolhouse that's in your uh in your state that you've been rooting for. That you when you don't see they play at practice. Wait, if man. you get to see the practice. I think you got some um feedback in your microphone. Let me see. I don't know which one it is. So is it me? I don't know if it's you. Is it me? No, it went away now. That's cool. It went away. Let me go back okay. to that. Uh, I think I went back too far. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is really good play, man. Really good. Okay, so there go the pancake. So McCaskill is doing his thing now. Boom. He took him away. He's still on his feet. Yeah, you got to wrap him up now. That's how they got him. Because if he breaks, if he breaks free, he's gonna be dangerous. So they got to make sure they contain him. Boom. That's a good one. I want to look at this play here with Shador. Let's see. Because coach went up to him, so you gotta let the ball go. Let's see what's happening. Because if ain't nobody open, then just let the ball go. Oh, shoot, he can also take off too if he need to. 
But it's all good. It's just one play, though. We we not there at the whole practice. It's right here. Look at the stunts right here. Look at the stun the left. Boom. Watch the right. Look at the other stun the backside break. I'm loving this right here with the D line right here. Number twenty seven is Wade. That's key. Look back this play up and and, and pause it. Wait, out. who is like, who is right number twenty seven? Watch. watch right here. Wade. Now look at the backside of this play. Back okay, back Wade right. is now, getting work now. He see a first twist. But look how Tyler and them take it on. Look. Take it on right. Still look, can't block Kane away, back. right? But look on the backside. They still hold. So if Shador would have stepped up, that's a, that's a total flush stunt. They executed that. He had he had no choice. There was nothing for Shador. Dude, that was all defense. If you go back, you see the twist on the backside, bro. Like, I like that because when you twist on the ends, a lot of times the quarterback step up and get the sneak. But right here, they 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 blowing up the C-gap. He come Hell, down. He, he shut up. He, come, he needed to. He could have took I'm, off. He could no, but, not, but see, if he took off, Keaton Wade coming. You see, if yeah, he took off, Keaton Wade coming, right? But, okay, watch the backside. Now, if he keep going the other way, watch they twist on the backside of Keaton Wade. They can't yeah, block Keaton good. Wade right yeah, off. that was nice. He can't, see, uh, he can't go that way because they twist just right. That's that's elite defense. That's the elite defensive line. And look, right look there. at the defensive end. Now he's getting ready to break free. Now he's breaking up right. Now, he's he's right. now, now it's the pursuit now. That's how it looked all year last year. Yeah, Shador got to get rid. Shador got to get rid of that ball. For that's for a sack play. right there. Yes, yeah, a sack. Mm -hmm. he got but sack. He that's got also sack good on the. Game. That's also good on the defense. It lets you know that um, Livingston scheming up some good uh, defensive line rushes and all that. Exactly. That, that, that's what I'm saying. That stunt right there. Sometimes, but you got players back up like Keaton Way. Watch Keaton Way right here. Back up a little more. Just really watch Keaton. But if you go, he probably can't back up. But if you see it, it's hard to block this guy. I've been saying it all year. You can't block. Wait, what, what, you what's can't. Keaton Way's number again? 27. He's okay. 27. He's 27. So, look, as soon as he gets off his block, look who picks him up. Boom. That's good on the offense. Now, come right here. Tyler sees him, right? But, boom. Right. Can't hold on to him. Look, he got his hands. Well, on top of the pass. Perfect. He's, going, he's following right off the door. Him. Spying the quarterback at the yeah, same time, him, and he breaks. And now free. look, quarter, man, that is that right there to me. Yeah, I said we, we lit, we're lit, beautiful. we're lit. And that's a sad. I'm done. I ain't got to break too much right, more. So that no, down. no, break down. There's more to this. Hold film, on, give me a huh? second. It's more to that play right there. Give me a second. So what does Shador got to do here now? Hold on. What does Shador, he got to do? So right now he's the, going through his progressions. Right now, at the best thing point, Shador, this has either if it's if, if he's seen the be like right in these kind of stunts, these are like the for sure sacks, like like prime mercy. We know we get the second for sure. It's like sometimes you can line up a certain way and and off the ball, they run off too many people. Shador can't do nothing because everybody running a route. So the stunt it comes quicker if you got people who can maneuver it. And from what I've been seeing, like I already know Keaton Way, you can't block this guy, you can't That's block Swain. Yes. Says, yeah, he, he got sacked there. He, he got sacked there, but he kept going. But the way the stunt pressure came, it was forcing the pocket to, to flush to make him do all of this. This was just all defensive dominance. It was nothing the office could do here. This is like just nothing. Okay. I'm looking when at I see the one, huh? So he one looks, on one seven comes off. He gets he the picked one up one again. Here. He Tyler separates. picks him up. They back one on one. That's 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 good pocket. The good pocket, but see, Keaton Wade. He should have stepped up in the pocket though. He was sitting out. He was too far out the pocket. Sitting out there too far out the pocket though. But look, if he if he step up in the pocket, Barnes come he back up, play back shield, and make the tackle. So now he's flush. Like you're flush, and now it's all pursuit. But like the the spreading of the line, how the how the defense lined up, they not really well, throwing it all the, the way. Away. He did throw the ball. He did. Shador did what he had to do. Of course, he, he had the choice. Away. Yeah, we're that right there. We're we're already, the we're already, already sat. It's, but this is like um, he's he's throwing away faster than that. In he's the game, already, but he's sat. Look, he he grabs his waist. Bam! Man. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just told not to hit the quarterback. If they if they were trying to hit him, he would he would probably went down. That play was three one thousandths of a second. Well, just All almost right. three one thousandths. Be two minutes because they had to do this little. Extra oh, well, I'm, I'm doing it slow motion, so I can't count it. Yeah, when I was counting it in regular speed, I was like, "Wow, this is this is elite defense play." Oh like, no, they, they go to they go to clock in back of us, so we can look at that. All right, let's look. The clock is in back of us. Yeah, he got to let the ball go. 
at this point. I think college, would you allow three or four, three seconds? Well, three to second, three, uh, three to four seconds, good play. Two seconds, no play. One second, you're just getting killed. Three seconds is a standard play. And that line was holding up pretty good, man. Yeah, it was for a little bit. It ain't got to him. It was good play by the defense. I ain't lying to you. Yeah, three seconds. They back there. All right. So it's see. Look at the clock. It starts at nine. Let's see when he let the ball go. Hey, he got sacked before that. Let's see how many seconds it take. They broke the pocket there. That was like less than three. You break the pocket. Look at the pocket breaking. Sack for well, four seconds. That's a nice little play, though. I'm glad they picked this. Um, broke, you, they chose the chair. There. That was pretty decent. And then now uh, here we go. Two, four. I wish I was on a fly four, on the five, wall in the full practice. I wish four, I could four, five, see full practice. That's cool. This is a nice film to watch, though. Yeah, because you see, you see the technique coming out here, and boom. So it's like three second broke pocket, four second sack. You look at it like that. So, you, you know, most plays, you get three seconds, you got to get a ball out already, two seconds, three seconds. But if you get four seconds, you're sacked. Five seconds, you're sacked. You know, so that's pretty much how it looked. Seaton you know talking I mean? to but him. You always count from when the pocket break. Like the rush come, pocket break, that's that's the hurry rush. That's the timing. Then the sack come, well, you know, we was getting sacked in two seconds last year. That was just, There was no yeah, pocket yeah. break. Yeah, last year he didn't have a chance, man. Yeah, it, it, it was just, the pocket got to – you got to at least hold to break the pocket, at least do something. He still managed to get some respectable stats, even still. So. Flushing, man. A couple more of these plays. You gonna, a couple of these plays before this, was it before this, when Long was smashing up and crunching the quarterback, they was giving it one second pocket. Like, it was once – call those one second pockets, like, like – Crunching up very hmm. that was good, right? So I say hey, he's gonna be right, Joe. Man, that was a nice one. <laughs> he got that's well the one with uh on, on Coop smacked him in the helmet and he just kept going. You can't you can't he gonna get your shoulder snatched. Like his patience, bro, like his pace and patience is there. Yeah, they definitely got they cooking up something here. Oh boy, it is just about to be Coach nice. Sal. Right, here it is. This is what you missed. Here it is. Let me play it. What Coach Loholt said, always stick with me at all times. This is what you missed. I think you Okay. Would. Yeah, I didn't hear. Hey, what's up, somebody? You need to run on the field and yell at them. Like, don't just run out there and get to them and then say, you understand that? Sure. Simple as shit. Run and yell at them and they start running off of them. Everybody in there? Yes, sir. Anything pop up on that? That's it. When you're not in, you need to be by me or Coach Gunn. Not standing wherever the f you want to stand with AP and shit. Stand by me or Coach Gunn. Everybody stand in there. Oh, that gunner guy. The, the gunner guy is the martial art artist. Yeah, he said you either stand with me all the time or. Yeah. By Coach Gunner. Yeah, the gunner. I think gunner is like his consistent. Yeah, he's the guy that knows martial arts. Yeah, that was the guy that said that he's a what a black belt or something. Uh huh. Yeah, he said you stand with me at all times or coach. Look, yeah, they go Hag right there. He out there. Yeah, hey, yeah, he's right there he in the mix. So you know, he and that's what I that's what I was trying to say, Max. It's gonna be Hagerman, Phil. And um, who else is on the offensive line? Like hey, kind of Gunner guy. Gunner, remember? Yeah. Cause remember, Gunner was on uh Jordan Seaton's recruit recruiting uh thing too. Part of his recruiting uh. Yeah, and it's gonna be versus Sat Sal and um Damian Lewis. Yeah, that is great, bro. That's that it. is crazy. Iron sharp as iron, still sharp and still. Yeah, Sap is being Sap, Damian Lewis, uh, Dalius Thomas, and uh, Coach Dancy. Yeah, dancing. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god! So they sitting up here. They sitting up here training monsters. That's what they're doing. 
So if they Straight if they up. have it in them, this coach is gonna bring it out of you. And they still ain't got the uh the, the boys that's coming in from the uh that's coming in in round May. Right. Yeah, yeah. Green. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, they I mean? got freshmen coming in. Seventeen yeah. more people. Plus the, uh, what, whoever they pick up in the portal, who looking right now, who watching, just got done watching that uh that clips. Oh yeah, them portal people are watching. They're watching it. No, we don't even know who we getting at the portal, but we got. Seven it gotta be players. at least about 15, 20 daddies and mamas out there, man. They just got that scene that one sapping like, hey man, they, they on they on somebody line trying to get them up there, trying to get that boy up there. Yeah, because you three hundred pound to get that big three hundred pound loan up there. What was the kid that um what's that played last year? For, he was in the uh, um pro day, and he's getting a look at an NFL team. I who who you talking about? Huh? Pain. I forget. One of them is is going to get invited somewhere. I can't remember the name. Remember his name? McClendon. Derek McClendon. McClendon. Yeah. He, he, actually, he actually had one of the better um performances. Yeah, he the, did have uh, a good performance. He did. Uh, pro day. Yeah, he That's just played he himself on a, He might play himself on a roster. Him and Ward. Him and yep. Ward had the best. Ward had a good one too. And um, the wide receiver. Um, Who, Xavier. Uh, Xavier Weaver. Yeah, he showed out. Yeah, but he yeah. had a combine invite though, so we knew he was going to be. Pretty yeah, good. But he on um, his pro day when they came back to watch him, he showed out. Yes, he did. He did. Yes, he did. He was. He yeah, was I could. I, I could see him getting drafted somewhere like the, uh, the Chiefs, man. He goes somewhere, man. He go over there with Patrick Mahomes, man. Yeah, but see, one thing that they have an advantage of, they have they have a contact, a point of reference to get on a team. All it needs is for Coach Lowhold to say, yeah, he he can at least make your roster on a practice squad, and that'll mm-hmm. get you some money. So they they have those they have those contacts there. That's what's very valuable about these coaches are there because all the teams got to do is call. Hey, hey, Coach Loho, what, what what you got over there? Oh yeah, right. okay, I, I can right. take a chance on them. Okay, but send them up. That's all. That's that's what they got there. They all guarantee the you see it. They just got to yeah, listen. Uh, DJ going uh, I'm not. What's his name? Um, and they got prime. Going Dominic. Going Dominic. Gonna make somebody squad. Prime got all types of contacts. Right. They guaranteeing seniors. You a senior at CU, for sure you're gonna go try out for a pro team. As yeah, a player, a that's all you that's all you should yeah. want, man. As a player, man, what else is a chance yeah. to get out there? You want a better job. All right. And get down and get the set in that period. All right, just make sure we can get the system. See, he don't even need to raise his voice. That's the type of respect he got. He don't need to do. You just you just listening. Prime the same way actually, but he just you know he just um old school type of coach. He gonna raise his voice, but he don't need to if he don't want to. He don't have to. Guys don't need to scream at nothing. Mm-mm, not you really. Be, you should be screaming. You should, you should be screaming. You, you, <laughs> like, he's passionate though. He's gonna scream. Coach Coach Prime is gonna scream. He just really really passionate. Which I, I like when he do that. It don't matter. I like when he uh, get into it. He get turned up. Yeah, prom intense. Yeah, he is. Intense he, and being intense. And and you know what I see, I notice in him? He feels a lot better. You see how he's all over the field? He don't have it's that machine. Back. Yeah, he feels much better this year. He's, he's not in that golf cart all the time. Uh uh-uh. uh. He's a, he's walking. He's all over the place. And uh, and I think he uh he really does feel that uh he has a whole lot better team. I think he likes what he's looking at more. Yeah, he likes. You know it. I think he's feeling he's feeling the vibe that like he's feeling that vibe more. He's getting more uh comfortable within that Colorado facility and with that uh with the team and all that. He probably getting that that Jackson State feeling a little bit. Yeah, he got it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's real comfortable down there in Jackson, man. You know, real, real comfortable. Oh, you heard what you said people, about letting him get comfortable. Yeah. Remember what you said, LT, about getting comfortable? Uh-huh. It's all things ahead now. And look at how, how he communicated with these guys right here, man. Building that uh, they, that bond and relationship with these dudes. So, Max, don't need are, you, to, uh, are, you, are you worried, Denny, Max, that we don't have any commits, like, going into – you know, to the season, like, 
Nah, you don't it's need them. A lot of these schools got commits. All like, nah, I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, because yeah. all of the commits can, can uh decommit today if they wanted to. Yeah, people always can flip their commits. So it and, not, and I don't think that's not how they trying to how they trying to move either. Where if you notice it, I don't think they trying to move to where they got you know everybody committing every other day and stuff like that for what because they know they can just end up leaving and people make that a big story you know what i mean i think they trying to have their guys um release their commits when they when they um at a certain point of time i think they have like a a, a certain point of time when they want their release like closer towards the signing day or something like that like legit right so i don't think he want no no games it's hey, probably less, it's probably, known for doing that. He, he probably look at that as like funny, fun, funny bunny stuff, like games. Why would I have you commit early now and then six months from now you say you ain't down? He, just, he probably don't like. I'm, you. I'm sorry, guys. I just disagree with y'all. I, I don't. I don't like that idea. Of it. I just don't. I just don't. I watch Nick. Uh, I watch Nick Saban do it for years. Yeah, he but he did the yeah. same thing. But look, Prime did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but he's not gonna, he gonna move like Nick Saban, you know. Day. Nah, it's, remember, it's the remember, landscape remember at the end of the season, he was orchestrating all that stuff. He he was timing who was coming out. He was giving everybody a little shine of who was coming to see you. Okay, well, he I was give you absorbing all of that. that so I don't think he. Hey, look at this already. comment look, right here. Look at LSU. Look at this comment. He might have silent commits. You don't know. Ah, uh, big facts. Yeah, you see all the he boys. Has all kind of stuff, he like, just had what's that, uh, that big four star Addison taking pictures. Yeah, of he got like he had like 20, 30. But see, the whole thing every year, remember this every year, 400 people flip from the people yeah. who commit early. So every year, they say like six to 700 high schoolers commit early, and then yeah. at the end of the year, 400 of those players flip every year. That's the numbers, like the average but, numbers. But you also got to understand. So it's part that, to me. You also got to understand the rules of engagement have changed now. That's what even Nick Saban right. said he didn't like. It's it's but almost see, look, like free agency. See. It's free agency now, so the rules of engagement is changing. It looked like Prime he's mastered it. So, you know, this is only the second year. You got to wait. I would say by the third or fourth year, he really gonna get going. By the third or fourth year, right, right. But you got to really look. People so people so zoomed in on how many recruit like his. He okay, so he only had eight. He only had eight scholars he can give up after he had to bring people in to help develop his team, right? So he had brought in eight high school players, but he still got like I think five or six high school walk-ons. So he, in total, he got like maybe like 14, 15 high school players still. I think yeah. still he probably told them other guys that they can come as a walk-on because he had no scholars, and they said no, nah, they went somewhere else. But at the end of the day, Prime got enough coming in next year for show because like again we can still have four or five players commit mm -hmm. now for 2024 you know what i'm saying because it's, it's going to be still like 400 between now and june it's going to be about 400 high schoolers decommit de from where they committed earlier on in yeah, december it's early so, in the game so yeah so it's like don't even trip it's going to yeah. be the, the img guy the img lineman that's 24 everybody all over that only got his top eight up he might flip. He might flip and come to see you and be a walk on. And who knows? But you know what I'm saying. But does he want to come as a walk on, or or is he go? Are they gonna let? It, or they might work something out. Who knows? But like, with, uh, and with Jordan Seaton, uh, and with Jordan Seaton cousin, that's a four star. I think he right, might you know come. Right. All oh, yeah, it's a receiver from IMG that might still come here. It's a guy from Georgia that's still talking about. Like these people talking about they're walking on. Like what? That, like, that like, Addison kid. Right, you know what I'm saying? So we, we still might end up with 20 freshmen this year and then what they going to say. So it's like all of that is just blase. Even if it's like, just think about it. Like last year, the coaching staff was, I ain't knocking these guys. Big up to these guys, but in comparison, like we're talking uh, Kelly, Williams, Nick Williams, Sean Lewis. Like this is how the people was looking at it doing recruiting last year. Like we know when it was hard. Now this year it's like you got Sap, Loho, Adelius Thomas, right, Hegeman, God dang, everybody, man, Lewis, Prime, P uh, Pat Sherman, you got all these pro guys now. Coach these youngsters are still looking at that, like, yo, yeah. Be careful, man. People talking. I mean, I just look at it like this, right? 
if if these guys not committing to your program early meant nothing at all, is basically what you guys are saying, then yeah, they but, wouldn't have it. Like, yeah, but they Coach has a formula. He goes with a certain formula. He goes with ex- he goes for experience first. Yeah, that's the. I don't, well, I'm yeah, not yeah. Argue see, that, see prom had see prom had to do that this year, or he wouldn't have been able to, to develop. Like, how you gonna develop next year if you can't develop this year? So, he had to get those seniors in here. Like, yeah. It, without without to those and them guys, we wouldn't be able to get Zelinkis and them ready. We won't be able to get Sabian better. We won't be able to get uh Dylan better. Without Haas, we won't be able to get Armarion Cooper better. Like, and then like they're gonna be juniors next year, like Amarion and 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 Dylan and and then we got people that came in at the transfer portal as sophomores. We got a few sophomores out the portal, you know what I'm saying? So we got these guys that's coming back. So let's say we have enough, let's say we have about twenty five juniors and maybe four or five seniors, six seniors, and a bunch of sophomores. Right now, we could bring in freshmen like crazy next year. After next year, so, we could so bring do you in think freshmen. after this year, the 40 40 20 changes? I think it wasn't the thing. it wasn't happening. He looked the 40 40 was hot. That was only how you gut a team, that's not how you build a team. He said that was the formula for how you gut a team. You get 40 but also, transfers, uh, also, 40 uh, HBCU on. players, I'll, and 20 freshmen. I'll, also, Neely said he doesn't see him changing it nah, anytime he's not gonna soon. Now he's gonna change it because it's already changed. It's already he didn't he didn't bring in 40 40 this year. Like yes, he did. Yeah, he Thomas. did that last year. He, he did, did that, that one this time. year too. He didn't bring in 40% HBCU players and 40% that transfer doesn't mean players. it's HBCU. That's great transfers. That's Regular all okay. So look, that's still a transfer portal. Uh, any of those is transfer portals. Like if you get all of those grads and players, oh, that's a transfer. So that's a that's forty percent trans or forty percent transfer portal. Forty percent not HBCU. if they're fifth year senior, Thomas. No, it's not. That's a grad transfer. He can't do it again. Like you really can't do it again. Like, because he I don't did think 40 he's gonna have it. People want to keep saying he's doing the 40 because he now he only getting he only getting transfer portal and high school players, but he didn't even get 40 percent of, of transfer portal players. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you, know, you add, if you break almost, down his, almost 40%. if you break down his total of players, yes, he did because they broke it down on two four seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've 24, yeah, 24 is like. 24 is 44, 48. You got, I mean, that's not even half. I mean, you still got a hundred man roster. So 20 is a quarter of eight of a hundred. So yeah, he's still not even done. Is not, yet. It's not 40. Yeah, he's not even done yet. He's not done yet. There's more players you know I mean? coming in. So even I'm if you go sure. off the transfers, right? He only brought in 25 transfers. That's only 25%. It's not even mm-hmm. 40%. So mm-hmm. he ain't even doing that now. So like he can't do it now because he don't got the scholars to do it. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it every year unless. I mean, you can't do it every year. You just can't. You, you just can't. But I see the next year with all these seniors, he got like 25 seniors. There's going to be 25 freshmen. And he might bring in uh, two of like, maybe four or five, maybe eight seniors, or maybe like a couple older guys out the portal to help, like just to help develop. Other than mm-hmm. that, he rolling. I said it. He expedited. With everybody thinking when he came in, because he came in with everything that he knew what to build on. He didn't just come in to somebody else's mess and had to let everything go and then rebuild and then do all the, the traditional three year stuff, four year stuff. No, that he expedited that. And people gotta understand developing is when you have older players beating up your younger players, like how Shallow smacked little Welsh during the whistle. Because you have to play through the whistle. And when you do make a play in practice, you get the ball, don't ease up. Stay going yeah, hard. Like you're about to score. And Shiloh stung him. And now he's running hard every time he touched the ball. That's called development. Because nah, when he's going to high school, he's to come do he's it here. Sign and walk on players that nobody else wanted. Don't give me that, please. Huh? What? So you saying so you saying walk on players can't be turned into? I'm not something? saying that. I'm not saying that's not what I'm saying. But no other programs wanted them. 
But no, I'm not saying no, 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 that's, no. That's, that's not true, though. Outside of that one guy, who else wanted these people? Why didn't they get it? Why didn't they? Why did? Why did? Which one? What player you talking about? Sure, what sure what player you talking about? Well, they had offers, but they chose to come here. I'm though. talking they about the, 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 the cornerback outside of him. Which, which cornerback? The corner. The corner. Which one though? The, the latest guy that we just got, snake, bro. Nine. Murphy. Murray. No, no Murphy. Murray. No, the, the Murphy. Guy, Jackson. Not Murphy. Who? Murphy is the latest corner that we just got. And before I mean, Malachi, Malachi Murphy is the, the, the last person they just got. No, you, I, the, the, these players had other offers, but they chose. Oh, you talking about Bozy? The but being Bozy. Bozy. I was outside of Bozy because he had he had he had a lot of offers. Yeah, I mean the other players. Goldberg had was at Alabama. He when when Saban left, he came to see you. Yeah, he had, he could have stayed at Alabama if he wanted what? to. He, what he's I'm a saying, good player. He what I'm saying is, he chose to come up. A lot of these players wanted to come here. They had other offers. Seaton had other offers. Well, we he know was, that, Max. I'm not saying that. I'm talking. No, you talking this. about you talking about the you talking about these talking about these, uh, these latest players that we just got. I mean, the uh, Preston, I mean, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Son could have went to Alabama, but he chose to. No, nah, but no, nah, he, I'm not talking about these last. He's talking about these last three of the recruits. Players. But them guys, them I'm guys have the offers last though. Of the recruits, like these ones that we've yeah, been right. getting Garcia in the last was couple going, weeks. Garcia they had, had they offers. had they offers had though. Had though. They might not have been the big power five offers like you like you assuming to be. Hey, LT. I mean, they had offers. That's the point I'm making, bro. LT, can you come out and come back in? You getting feedback on your mic? Okay, okay. Let me give you the link. All right. Make sometimes yeah. it's uh it's StreamYard be tripping sometimes. I think it's StreamYard. But what Dre, what offers did they have? They didn't have power five offers. Which which, from, which players you making, talking about that didn't have other I'm offers? talking about Max, I'm talking about the players in the last couple weeks, not Goldberg and all of them. We know that they were elite. Like I don't care if you walk on to Alabama like Right, you have your game has to talk for you to even be able to walk on at, at Alabama. We know that. I'm talking about these players that we've been getting in the last couple of weeks. Name one of the players. Name yeah, one. what player? You um, the, the guy Bozy. Ben Boozy. Bo- he had, ben uh, Boozy, I mean, a monster. He had hold on, hold on, wait. hold on. Well, I'm sorry, you not do know he had because uh, he had an offer from Maryland. He had a couple of Florida State. Yeah, yeah, all of them had problems. offers. All of them had offers, man. All but, of them. Hold on, let me let me because uh, because I I'm I'm getting ready to go look it up. Wait, hold on, this it up right now. On. Hold on, let me see something. No, Big LT, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay, you still there? Web, you still there? I'm still here. Okay, somebody did somebody drop off? I don't think so. Yeah, somebody okay, came right. in and they dropped off. Sorry, it was okay. My bad, yo. I didn't mean to cut y'all off. No, nah, but uh, Ben Boozy, I believe his offers dropped because of that 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 case, that situation he had. I think that's why a lot of his his stuff went cold. Yeah, all of these players had offers. That guy could they, play. All these players had offers, but they chose to, they wanted to come here. Right, is that and Ben Boozy? He can and, play. Yeah, and then and then at the end of the day, I think and and then at the end of the day, I think they it was like you know. Some second chance opportunities for them guys too, though, man. It's probably a little bit. Everybody got to offer, but see, we talking about prime recruiting players or what kind of. Play, he gonna get the best of the. He gonna get what he want. It ain't like he can't get the. Facts. It's it like what, what look, look, who we look at that. Look at that Travis Hunter right there. Okay, so like, what we talking about? Like, it don't make no sense. Then we got Seaton over there too. Carmine, where's Carmine? Anybody? <laughs> Like I, I don't know. I think everybody like who, who really think who? So who you think in college got the most like all star teams? Um, you said who got the most all stars on their team? Or like the all star team? You know so how like, you guys are telling Ohio, me Cole it's probably Ohio State. Cole Masters didn't get offered by no other school. Um, wait a minute. Let me keep going. Cole Matthews is a walk up was a walk on though. That's what I said, LT. I mean, everything got walk on though, bro. Yeah, Ooh, bro. bro I never said that they didn't. You're just not listening to me. I mean, I'm so saying okay, like what, we okay, what's we your, got okay, what? players. Prime is getting players that nobody else wanted 
who else would have wanted a Cole Mathis on that team? Who else, wanted, who else wanted Bob Stoop's son that was on that's on the that was on the OU team? Bro, we're not talking about last year. We're talking about this year. We, got, we might got we might got maybe three players nobody was looking at, and that's that's they lost. Thank you. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, Cole we Mathis fight. is there because his dad is there and his right, brother. The, he yeah, could have went somewhere else. Oh, you talking about Cole Mathis? Come on, man. Cole Mathis. He could have went somewhere he, else. If, if he, he could have went to Oklahoma, if, no, if, wait, Cole could have went to Oklahoma. To, uh, if I'm Cole tripping. didn't follow his day where his daddy went, he was gonna be a walk on at o- Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah he, he was gonna be a sooner. Bro. Yeah, he was. I'm, I'm tripping. I said, a sooner. That's what he y'all said. He's gonna be, he's gonna think, be walk on this. Uh, y'all Oklahoma. actually think a guy that's five seven? He needs time. He needs time to get. He I just, time I just to told you that um the Bob Stoops sons was a walk on over there and played. He wasn't a hundred and twenty pounds, bro. Yeah, he needs he but needs time to get bigger. As uh as Mathis, he needs time to get bigger. LT, he needs no, about he three was years. Not he's not a hundred. He was not a hundred and twenty pounds, bro. Yeah, but That's we'll see. You know why? You know why though? Because he we'll, he bent he damn near probably like a a, a, a four fifth year senior. He red shirted damn near oh, like two years. He, didn't he just come out of high school, Cole Mathis? Yeah, no, yeah. It, right. But Stoops, Stoops redshirted for like the first two years and didn't play. Yeah, I was. Look. Yeah, let's let's look at him in three years to see what how much he weighs. Yeah. In three years. What? What? Yeah, that's that's yeah. yeah come like, yeah, yeah. when nobody looked for Stoops, boy. But yeah, look, look at future. him out there making plays. Was out there making plays for OU for the past three two three years. Yeah, you got look that like the first two. That's all development. About two or three years from now, we'll come back to him. Yeah, probably get to develop him. People should be happy. Probably get to develop young Cole Mathis. But like other than that, like all them other walk on, like I said, he still oh, I forgot about Cole Mathis. That's about sixteen. Well, he do got fifteen freshmen that he got coming in. Yeah. And and for him to for him to be a walk on and nobody want him, the kid is like the third, the top top three best route runner on the team. <laughs> oh, he doesn't play wide receiver, bro. Who? Cole Taylor. Mathis. What? Cole, I think he's a DB receiver, right? And then he, you got what's his name? No, he's not a receiver at all. He plays in high school. Back. Then you I got the one. Yeah, in high school. He no in high school. You he got played Nate. it, and then he went to his coach. Oh, you talking about his brother? I'm <laughs> yes, okay. his little brother. Okay, okay. I'm thinking you talking. About, I'm thinking of Caleb. This whole. Oh, you think he's talking about Caleb? Oh, okay. No, oh, Caleb, oh, little brother. Oh man. Hold up. Caleb. Okay, oh. okay, now hold I on. I he know did. Caleb Lillard went to Oklahoma. That's who, that's who, that's who this, this whole time I've been thinking you think about Caleb. But look, look, but look on that though, Webb, that's a low oh. blow, Webb. Why would you even pick that kid, man? Because he got him, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. He, he just was, got look, a high school, man. Just like, he didn't want to like, go to Oklahoma. That's just almost like if you if your son go to the if you if you coach at the school your son go he gonna play he just gonna go to the school he's of course he gonna be on the team that don't Listen, mean he gonna bro. play he could have went to Oklahoma but come on bro you know how long he gonna if, be on if my son line? if my son is on team? you do you understand how dangerous football is. Man, you do on, understand, man. correct? You gotta give him, you gotta give him time to develop. Life, so Listen, soft. my son. You be, you be, you be, you be calling your son soft and telling him he don't, don't play in college when he's been playing football. No, my word. son, I would have told my son go to Juco. He gonna red shirt get yeah, bigger and play football. Man, gonna, he's, he's not gonna got, even touch the football field. That's why people are, that's why short people play football because you can get big. Like, yeah, you gotta give him a couple years to get bigger. Football is for short people. Basketball is for the Gigantians. It was like, as people man. say, "Oh, you too short group." No, you're not too short to play football. Maybe you could be too small. Man, by the time he's a, and, by and, time he's and, a and that make him more better because now we Paul know that, got he but, brought in he brought in fifteen we, freshmen. Listen, well, how much not eight. do you think you could put on? Well, yeah, by the time he's a red shirt sophomore, he's gonna be a hundred and sixty pounds, man. Right, well, all muscle, yeah. all muscle, no fat, no fat at all. He's gonna sit on the brick. Yeah. Hey, That's listen, by the time he's a, hey, you remember, a um, he's gonna be 160 pounds. You remember Tyron Matthew, the honey badger? He's five nine. Yeah, Max, well, but look how, look at what way he came in. Look at how many stars he was rated. Yeah, oh, he's really no comparing. It doesn't matter. He's not, gonna, he's not gonna be a honey factor, badger. Bro. He's not a factor. You don't know what he's gonna develop into. He's young. He can play. 
You don't know. You can't even say it. Bro, y'all look, let's be honest. The whole thing is, man, we just arguing. Brian can get whatever he wants. The thing was, hey, hey, Thomas, you see what they're saying? I'm an op for CU. They the whole time, they don't even come over here, so they don't know. No, but what I'm saying is, no, he ain't no op. They tripping. No, he's not an op. No, he's not an op. No, no, what I'm saying is, Web. It take it's gonna take some players. It take a while to develop. I, so und- I his, understand that it's Max. gonna take him about three years. But he wasn't even rated coming well, out of high school. Yeah, but he got the change. Right, a cash yeah, but a cash Cleveland wasn't one rated one too. Frame. Yeah, but, but we know real. we know. Look at the program cash Cleveland went to. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. how was he not rated at IMG? Well, a player he like that didn't even. Cash Cleveland had zero stars. He didn't have nothing. Nothing. A I like thought Cash way, Cleveland you was even, You shouldn't even thought yeah, of that. Cash Cleveland was, had nothing. Cash great. Cleveland had no rating. No nothing. LT, he had no the stars. Fact that the matter is he got him. I didn't make prime. But, he, but like, where bro, he's a like, walk on. How he's you going to tell me not to? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I think. Like, but here's the That's thing. The well, well, in some time in life, sometime in life. It's like he's not even there. Sometime in life, people got connections. That's life. He has connections. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's all. That's all it is. He don't have no scholarship. It's like he's not he, even there. He has the I just, connections. I just he has don't the think. connect. Let me say this real quick. He has the connections to develop. Some people have connections, like like Eli Manning. He right. had connections when he went to the NFL. He didn't go to NFL as a regular kid. He went to the NFL with connections. That's why his dad said he wasn't playing everywhere. Some people just got connections, but give him give him about two or three years to, to gain the weight. He'll gain the weight, and look, his maturity. He'll gain the weight. Right, he ain't nowhere. We he had this Twitter. conversation before, bro. Okay, you gain the weight, but you can't add inches to your height. You are playing defensive. Back. Dude, the honey badger, the honey badger is five nine. It's five. Well, help me see what how tall he plays Tyron safety Matthew. though, Max. He didn't play. He didn't play cornerback. Tyron Matthew was five nine. How, how tall do you think Hodge is? It, height don't matter. Seven. Height doesn't matter. Height doesn't matter. How tall do you think? Okay. I, I, I mean, what's I think the name? Like, he, he, he's not anyway. Uh, like, it's, the, it's uh, like we already uh, got key uh, freshmen Cameron already. Cameron Craig ain't number five eight, bro. Yeah, Silman Craig is. Well, let me see. Is he, I thought he was about six. He foot. plays. He nah. doesn't. He plays safety he though, bro. Taller. Silman Craig looks. He's taller. not lining up against he, Cordell he, he, he can get moved. Guys, look, he can get moved to safety eight. too. Like it, like it don't. Point, like I don't get what's point, the argument. Like point, is it like argue. you saying probably can't get players or what? I don't know. Yeah, he can get the players, it's, and it's like he couldn't look. He couldn't offer scholarships to freshmen because he had to give summer spring uh semester scholarships to transfers. It's the either. Well, you do you want to eat today or starve tomorrow? Do you want to starve today and eat for the next week? Donnie C. The like, fact of the matter is, Israel what do you want to do? Is making plays and can't, bro. So you can't even use him. That, that that's developing players. Solomon is being right. developed. That's not so argument. He's not five seven. Yeah, but height look, doesn't man, matter. that don't look. He's he gonna how bring in what he's gonna matter, bring in. Though, man. Height doesn't matter. Height doesn't matter. In football, that's, that's, height really don't kind of matter, man. It height make it better. Yeah, height it, matters, football, but if you, it, it does it matter. I know. Well, no, what, what, what I'm saying is, see, it we depends talk, where you playing. Get this Wait, hold on, out. let Max talk. Let me get this point out. Sometimes, look at Dave Maggot if you know who Dave Maggot is. Sometimes the heart matters. Sometimes, yeah, it does matter if you if you're tall. It, it that that helps. But sometimes, like with Tyron Matthew, he had other things to make up for his height. You know, he was a short safety. I know you're right, talking man. about cornerbacks, but. Right, I'm talking about cornerback, cornerback, DB. He played DB. This position, man. He's probably gonna be like. He can go to, Yeah, he mess around, be a strong safety. A free yeah, safety. strong safety. He won't be. He, he might can not move all around. He, he like might not be a cornerback. He and he might have a growth spurt because he's still young. Right. He might have a growth spurt. We don't know. Right, he's too young. But the point is, he gonna develop a prime and he gonna be professional when he's done. Know that for a fact. That's just the whole thing. All right, give me we another just player. Talk, we were just talking about we were just talking about these players on TV channel. Give me a give me another player except for his son. Give me a hold on. Player. I'm I'm looking now, Max. Because we were just talking about it. We me and um me five, and Sam just gave me his stats. He five seven one twenty. 
Jonas and them was just talking about it. But how old, how how much he gonna weigh when he's like twenty one or twenty years old? He probably be weighing more than that. He be he put an extra twenty pounds on, man. Twenty thirty pounds on, man. Twenty pounds a year. Twenty yeah, pounds he... of muscle a year is a lot. Yeah, Kermani, Kermani, Kermani could still get bigger. He still he still got to fill out. Um. Travis is gonna get bigger in the NFL. He gonna he still hasn't reached his peak yet. He got to get bigger, so it takes a while. Uh, work out. The more you work out, you going the muscle gonna get big. Muscle Shit look that. bigger and weigh more than fat. How tall was the pocket Hercules in the NFL? He's like what five five. Man, them guys, them little stubby. Her- man, you don't want to get hit by them little trolls. Man, it'd be the worst hits. Sam says she thinks really get hit by big old Why do you think that? Why do you think he transferring? Now who's transferring? She said she think her Carmani is transferring. You should you should come up, Sam. Let us know why you say they come up real I quick. Mean, like I guess his word, the man, the man saying that the man's boy mouth ain't good enough no more. For me. Yeah, I need to hear it out of his mouth. You know, when I say I'm the going to the that is on when I'm not good. I ain't making that mistake no more. <laughs> That's crazy. I ain't never seen it like it, once they used to say, Man, I gotta see it on camera. I need to see it from hey it's y'all remember. Day. Hey, look, yeah, Sam. You can't, you can't even say it yourself. Hey, perfect, perfect example. Remember, I jumped out the window last year. Like, damn, I come in using smoke, this and that. I really didn't know what was going on. So, not Just smoke. Um, what's his name? What was the wide receiver? Willie name? Gaines. Willie Gaines. Remember that? I ain't making a mistake no more. Willie Beeman. Man, he don't know what's going. He says the man say he going to the store. He that doesn't mean he about to go to bed and go to sleep. Yeah, Shiloh is not that big, but he hits hard. It's the heart. The heart makes up for it, and the determination. They own. So I was saying, if it, man, Shiloh, look, give Shiloh his props. Do you understand how hard it is to not practice tackling and to go into a whole season and be your team's best tackler? Yeah, that's no. a that's. That's like you. Let me tell you. Do you know how to bake a crystal airplane? Oh, if you oh you can't make one. Oh, you suck. That's what. That's how you sound right now. Like, you, you, like get a man at least trying to know no, how to Dre, do it. Hold on, but give me one second. It. Give me one second, Thomas. No, what I'm saying is until we hear it out of Kermani's mouth or the team that he's transferring. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We don't know what's going on with him. That's all. That was my whole point. I know he can change his mind and transfer anywhere. Of course, we know that. Come on, you're not going nowhere. You know this is the spot, man. Like they rotate him. Like I don't know people. I guess. I mean, I just, I, I, I just, rotation, man. You see Travis big moving from outside to inside. And you got this corner in there and that corner in there. Come on, man. Don't be silly. Well, yeah, when you know, prime, when you know that they ain't well, Prime wants a 6'2", 100-inch long arm cor- uh, corner. Come on, man. He just got to get his, get, his, get, his, get his stuff uh, right, man. Mine is not going nowhere. They just want to be things. Uh, Mario Miller not going nowhere. It's their team next year. Why would they leave? Like, it's them. Hey, they the face of the team next year. Why would they leave? Yeah, low buckets. We were just watching. It'd be his team next year. We were just watching it. Low buckets. We were just watching the clip with Warren Sapp earlier. You said Carmani needs a fresh start. Sometimes a fresh start is good. Carmani don't need a fresh start. Carmani is fine. He probably just got a little injury. Tweet the ankle, probably. Or probably not even that. Probably just ain't seen him. Like they messing with y'all. They like they like y'all so worried about it. They gonna they gonna stress y'all out. Like I said, watch when the recruiting start. Y'all was people were stressing over Jordan C. And, oh my God, him forget out. him. He ain't coming. Well, forget him, man. Well, I say this again. When it's five five stars doing the same thing next year, cause y'all want these early commitments. So y'all can stress all year about them traveling to all these different schools. Like just think about it. Well, do you want the stress of someone that you know that's coming? But yet he might go somewhere else. Or would you rather just deal with how it's moving now and people coming to the school without giving you early hopes to breathe on? Like, chillax, yo. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be what it's going to be. And Prime going to have it right. So, like, it's going to look better than from oh, how it yeah. is now. Why even trip? You ain't going to be playing games for Prime by no commitment, sir. 
Nah, I ain't gonna be no because he already know hype. He already know hype moves because he didn't learn. He didn't seen it all last year. He didn't seen it all. Trust me, he seen it wait all. Wait a last minute, year. he might did it all last year. Wait, hold on one second. Dude, it's about to rain up in here. You said something other than um Shane Cox. Oh man, <laughs> what you I'm mean? Saying, Shane Cox is gonna go crazy. Shane Cox. <laughs> Shane going crazy and McNeil going crazy. Everybody calling them booty. I said, hey, ask Nebraska that. Nebraska ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I think all they needed was this. Understand, yo, they wasn't here last year in the spring. If if you can't look at somebody and say who has no understanding on how to fix a bike and they fix the bike. Hold on one they, second, it, Thomas. It kind of loose here and second. there. Thomas, give me a second. Sam, you said you called it and stuff. Remember last year when I said Kamani might need to transfer, y'all got on my back? Remember that? Y'all got on my back. Because I remember I still got the live. I said, oh, that kid, gonna, they're going to lose that kid. But then I, I I fell back on it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I had said that. I said, man, he might gonna need to transfer. I said it last season. People got on my back. And then y'all see y'all calling for him to transfer now. That's funny. Hopefully, we don't know what's going on with him. He could have an injury or something. We don't know. We don't know what's going on with him until he say something, you know? Money good, man. You got a five half a million in IL chilling. Ain't see you, man. Y'all just need to chillax. He ain't going nowhere. Like, he know he needs the training. He knew he wasn't. I mean, being held back is, last year. But I just don't want to, I don't want to make up anything because sometimes these players be watching. So I don't want them to be like, oh, you're on Max Channel. They, they are sitting up there lying. Nah, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to speculate no more, man. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, nah, that speculation is dead. Yo, the yeah, man, I want to. I want to go what we see on this screen. I'm going off with the key. I have seen the key say with his own pair of lips. Right. Man. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not making that portal, mistake no more. Saying, you know. Yeah, I'm not making that mistake no more. Until they nope. name off the roster, don't worry about it. Yeah, he, his name is on the roster. So this be this be satisfied. What we get to see? I think we getting people getting too uh. You know how how people get. You gotta get too much information, man, and spending too much time worried about yeah. it. That's yeah, the most question. Yeah. That's the most asked question I see on Well Off. Where's Kamani? Where's Kamani? Where's Kamani? Where's Kamani? That's a good thing because he's in demand. The fans want to see him. That's uh -huh. it's a good thing. And somebody not that don't uh talk that much in the camera and all that. You know what I mean? No, he don't. But at the same time, I don't. I, it's, it's half of people that's his fans, and then it's another half of the people that just want to be able to be like, oh, I told you so. He wasn't going to yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, but, you know, they want to have something against Prime to say, you know, something to say against Prime and shit. I mean, stuff. That's right. all that yeah. happens. The smart guys. Yeah. The thing at Prime about. I oh, do know that he has a red shirt available. He does have one available if he want to use it. No, he fine. He fine. Bro. It's, it's early. This is when you. This is when you. You know, little nicks here and there. It's, it's early spring, so you know it's 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 it's, it's commonly happening. You you gonna be hurt all year, you know. You always don't nobody. Ain't nobody fully sound playing football. Straight up. Yeah, yeah straight it, up. It, there ain't too many people that have like um, insider information on that team, though. If they say they do, they lying. And I'm then they do you. got inside information, something like this. Obviously, they keeping it in house because the prime don't want everybody to know. Right. Obviously, it's something personal, and the kid don't want it. Everybody all in the business. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they they're very tight lip on the inner workings of the team. So whenever we hear something, we'll hear it. They'll let us know. Let's break the news, not the gossip. Yeah, yeah. I I, I got to stay away yeah. from that because. If I try to speculate, I'm going to be wrong. I promise you. I'm 100% wrong. If I try to speculate on this, I'm going to be 100% wrong. Right, because yep. it's you know, speculation generally. General yeah. opinion. Good dude, opportunity. Obviously, you see the competition out there ain't that steep for him to beat. So what you worried about? Yeah. Afraid he's he not going to get in the game or something? He's going to play. Comp. Okay, let's see what Sam say. What's up, Sam? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I, I, let me just say this, because I know the chat chat's going to come for me. I I absolutely no, don't worry about that. Just speak your oh, speak your speech. I absolutely I absolutely love. Um, hey, I absolutely love Cormani. I'm a huge Cormani fan. I'll be back, Sam. I'm, I'm on mute. Go ahead. 
Hey, Sam, Sam I, I think, think you might. Sam, yeah, I think, I think you you're. Yourself. Go ahead. Yeah, let me um just continue to talk while I get myself situation. Yeah, sorry. It's chill, man. Mighty Bow in the building. You know, still yeah, mine ain't going like, nowhere. You know? Don't if Kamari was going that, somewhere, yeah, you would say if mama and if mama and sister would have put would have been and put something out about that, man. Right, everybody meshing well, man. You know it's this yeah, big man. love, big get off the, the young man jock, man. And let him, let him, let him be him. Let him do his damn. That man let him grow, 19, man. man. Let him, let him bump his head a little bit and go through whatever he's going through and get himself right. He might need to sit back and he probably having a reflection or. You might got the chicken pops or something, man. God dang. Right? Like, <laughs> Pie frying chicken making cornbread. Yeah, whenever he decided to get back on camera, then we'll talk about him. You know? Yeah, you gonna see him in the building? I'm hey, you, look, but yo, you know purpose, what, though? You, you know what, though? That goes to show how big the program is. Remember he got in that little minor fender bender? Because it oh was my black God. Ice. TMZ covered it, bro. Yeah, TMZ covered it. Just because some black ice, and you know, he's from Florida. He don't know how to drive in the snow. That's all it was. He just got his bro. license, you know. Bro, could you imagine? You can't slide on black ice without the whole country knowing. Oh my bro. God, he slid. He slid on black ice. Oh, but you oh see that? God. Tell the world. What is Prime doing up there? He got them driving in the snow. <laughs> Did you believe that trucks in the snow? Oh my Who would have thought of something like that? Sam, you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. I just okay, listening. go ahead. You got the floor. Okay. Sam, you is a goofy, bro. Well, you know, someone's got to be goofy. Not, Honestly, not you, Sam. Oh, not you, Sam. I'm not talking about you, Sam. I'm talking about right. somebody You're in talking the about somebody in the chat, Sam. It's all good. I, I will say this because let me, let me, because I know that the, the chat's going to explode. I am a huge Cormani fan. Okay? okay. So let me be very clear. And if you watch my video on Cormani, you know how much I, I'm like. No matter where Kermani goes, I'm a. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna okay. follow his career because I do think he is going to be in the NFL. So that's done. However, I'm gonna piggyback off of something that Max you said last year. I I, I wasn't listening to you like at the beginning of the last year. I, I started listening to you towards the end of last year and definitely in the beginning of this year. So I must have missed that. Mm -hmm. But I, I will say this: I don't know if Kermani is the right fit for Coach Prime. I mean, as much as I want him to stay, what? Yeah, no, I let, want him, let her finish. Let her finish. I, I, I want him to be the most successful because this is the deal. People have to remember, Cormani started late last year. You know, he wasn't at the spring practice. I think he started what a month and a half, two months before the season officially began. Yeah, he and came he up at the graduation. Yeah, mm -hmm. so he, so he, he was because he started late. He didn't have time to learn the the playbooks. He didn't have time to, to assimilate. He didn't have time to establish chemistry with the with the players and the uh, coaches and things just went, you know, imagine dropping in algebra class and you never even took pre-algebra and you don't even know barely any division. So, and I, and I say all of that to say, if you watch the Amazon documentary, there was a, a portion of the documentary where he was struggling to answer questions about the defense because he didn't know. He couldn't answer the questions. So when, when Coach Prime said, I would be a fool to put somebody out here who, you know, who doesn't go to the meetings, doesn't know the play, like all that other stuff. And you and you saw him when he went off. But if you watch the documentary, you're like, aha, that's what he means. Because Cormani didn't know. And he didn't know because, in my opinion, he just was late. He was trying to catch up with everybody. And I think that because he was so, he was a five-star player. And remember, Coach Prime flipped him from going from the Miami Hurricanes to Colorado, you know, you have to remember, I, I think he just got off this, I'm Kamani, I'm number one, and I will just, I don't need to know all this stuff. Just put me out there. And of course, that just doesn't work. And I think he was, I think he's had a really difficult time assimilating to the situation. And then I, as much as I agree, I agreed with Coach Prime when he said what he said about Kamani, I have since changed that. I wish he wouldn't have said what he said so publicly. I do think that people have a right. To, you know, Kormani's eighteen. Well, actually, he's now I mean, eighteen. It, it, it got y'all kept on y'all couldn't couldn't couldn't. He is eighteen. Y'all kept on asking. 
you know, I they just continue. You, well, yeah, but you, you can, but there's all was always thing you could always answer a question when not revealing everything. I don't need to reveal all my players' personal business as to why they're not on the field. You know, there's. I think. He, I, mean, I think. But he, he answered that question. But how but is he, that not? Answered, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think she. Uh, how is that not? A hey, give me a yeah. second. Get yeah, finish your point, Sam. What was your point? Yeah. yeah I don't think so, you quite finished it. Yeah. So basically, what I'm saying is this: He from we haven't seen him in practice, like dressed up. It was already announced. One of the uh, main guys on what DNVR, the 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 the. the the brother that actually works with Coach Prime, he came in on that podcast and said, "Oh, by the way, uh, Cromani's not playing in the spring. He's not playing for the spring game." So, all right, he's not in practice. He's not playing for the spring game. And then, of course, it, a couple of weeks ago, it was a firestorm because people alleged, allegedly, allegedly, we don't know for a fact, saw him at FSU campus. Again, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and and just because he said I'm not transferring, does people change their mind all the time? You know, remember he made a commitment to Miami Hurricanes, and his mother at the time said, "My son's not, you know, flipping. He's 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 stable. He's going to stay there." And guess what? He flipped. People change their minds all the time, and then you never know. Like I don't want him to transfer. I want him to stay. I want him to stay. But I also know that if this is not the right fit for him, I am more interested in him being successful. And another thing. I don't have a problem that we have academic standards, but you do realize that there are other Division I top programs that their academic standards aren't as stringent as ours. I mean, I won't even go on to discuss what's going on with the Georgia Bulldogs. I'm going to leave that bag to, to, yeah, to the Colorado side. Colorado academic standards ain't even that yeah. high. So, and, and they're so not. They think, ain't like a Stanford. So yeah, do you think Carmine would have been better off in Miami? Probably, yeah. Oh, I do. Okay. I do. Well, well, why I do you think? I do. Listen, listen, everybody. Point? Let me just say this: not every just because Coach Prime's way is, you know, in my opinion, old school. That's not. Look, I, this is how I feel. Coach Prime can never handle somebody like a football player who's like a Dennis Rodman. You know, you are gonna have you great players. Yeah, yeah. I, I think well, no, exactly. Kind of no, no, no. He, you no, uh, hold on. You are. You, no, no, no. You are going good. to have players that, quite frankly, don't. You know, you're gonna have to give them flexibility. You're gonna have to give them bandwidth because they don't fit in that particular mode. So, what do you do with those players? Kick them off the team? No, you, you budge a little bit. Hey, can I ask and you? This is my personal opinion. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. Do you know why he's not playing? I don't know. The, the word on the word on the curb is academics. But I the my only issue with that is th he was like student of the week a couple of a couple of months ago or a month yeah, or two so ago. We, we don't know what's going we don't on. Know. We really don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. what do you what, what, no, what, 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 wait? Wait, he was just like a student of the when he the student of the week, but you said wait, huh? How is yeah, don't, we don't know if it's academic. He just we made don't know of the week like a month ago. You know, we don't know why he's not. We don't know. I know he has they only in the spring. I mean, they're in the spring right now. He has the summer session one and two to get there. He has training camp to come back. So we really don't know why he's not there yet. We don't know. It yeah, could be a personal issue. But the reality of it is. It could be something he's dealing with with the family. We don't know. It's yeah, all conjecture. I, Look, I, his family, his family is really quiet. They don't even be on social media like that, and which is a good thing. He doesn't be on social media, which for him, that might be a good thing. We don't know. And really Sam, what, what really makes you feel like what? So what? What sparks can you? I, can I say something? Carmine what, might not feel just, that. Wait, hold on. What was Tom, Thomas? Good. Let like, Thomas. What you say, Thomas? Yeah, I was wanting to know, Sam. Where did she? Where did she? Where do you draw the conclusion of Carmine not really feeling like he's fitted in? Like, see, well, because Thomas. like and, and after That's after Christmas, he seemed like he was more relaxed on the team. You know, he was he's opening not up more. Y'all, he's like we we did see him for a brief second. When he said, "Oh, I'm not transferring," about two or three weeks ago, right? right? Now, granted, I don't know the I don't know the guy's health. Who knows? People people look fine all the time, and yet have autoimmune diseases and things. So I don't know if he's 100 percent healthy. But if he's 100 percent healthy, he should be playing alongside everyone else. So if he's 100 percent healthy and he's not playing, then it's either academics or something more nefarious. Now, I don't. I think that. Cormani is a good kid. So let me be very clear about that. I don't think it's anything nefarious. The only thing I can think of is maybe academics. 
Nah, we you know, speculate. We don't. It, we can't say but, that. But, but, yeah, but, 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 okay, he was just, but he was a you guys listen. That, he was a student, you all listen. Like, if you if you listen to how what you all say all night, a lot of you are speculating in terms of how the season's going to play out. In terms of well, yeah, I'm going to win ten games. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to win. But here's the thing: all speculating. But no, it's good to speculate on what's going to happen with the season. That's better. Like, okay, we think they might win eight games. That's better than saying we don't. You know, because right. I don't know. I'm not going because to because if you say now we get into his personal life. Yeah, yeah, it's on, guys, guys, get, wait a minute. Now we getting into his personal life. That's where I draw the line. And then we, it's the assumptions that football. he's failing. And <sighs> we can talk football and X's and O's and speculate all day, but when we get into somebody personal life, that's a little different. I know other people do. They they speculate and they're wrong. We don't know why he's not playing. I mean, right. we can speculate on football, but not the personal life. I mean, you can do it. Like, I'm not saying you can't do it, but I just don't want to. This is, this is the deal. I want him to play. So I'm a, I'm a Cormani fan, but I'm unlike you guys. I don't care where he plays. I'm going to follow him if he goes to Miami for a for our games. I'm going to watch the games because I like Cormani. I just believe, because I've been on this plan for more than a minute, that sometimes people aren't a fit. He may not be he's a fit not. for Coach Prime. And just hold on, let me finish. Just because he's not a fit for Coach Prime doesn't mean he won't be successful for somebody else. Yeah, that's true. You don't know. But I don't I don't think he's not a fit for Prime. I don't think him and Prime don't see eye to eye. I think they get along well from what I've been seeing. And like I don't. I don't. I, I, as a player, I see it. I mean, like, I, I don't see where they don't get along. Like, watch I don't the really Amazon see documentary. Watch hey, the I'm Amazon curious. documentary. I'm curious. Where, where did you hear that he was at? Yeah, that was – that was – well, I, I know you're not gonna like me saying this. No, go ahead. If you, ahead. If you <laughs> and I don't mean to shout him out. No, I'm just want to know why yeah, you said it. Yeah, why if you, you if you watch John the John the Liquidator's um, video on Carmani, uh -huh. he was basically bracing everybody to say, "Hey, listen, there's a possibility that you know Carmani may not be here." Well, stop, stop. He said yeah, it's a possibility. possibility. But again, right. hold on. He's speculating. We this y'all. There's. This is America. We have free speech. I can speculate. No, I'm not it's, saying. I'm, I, I just I'm want, not, no. I, I'm not I just talking want, about. I'm not talking about an arrest record. I'm not talking about an essay situation. No, I know that. I I'm, just, not, I'm not going there because that's not Cormani. Cormani's a good kid. Yeah, we, but the reality of it is, is, and I don't, I don't know if it's reality, academics. You can't be speculating. I mean, no, all I wanted to know is where you get the idea from. That's all I wanted to know. And I did. So John, John, the, liquidator. John the liquidator, and then uh, okay. there was a bunch of, and I actually took, I actually uh, created a video about it. There was a ton of tweets. Um, about Cormani being at FSU, and one of the one of the tweets was a tweet called at Polk Way. It's it's basically I guess it's where he's from, mm -hmm. and this was a tweet that broke uh, when Cormani had uh, transferred to um, switch from Miami to Colorado, and mm -hmm. when they came out with that tweet that he's he was at FSU, mm -hmm. it caught fire, and then they deleted the tweet. No, they deleted it. Yeah, right. they deleted what, the tweet. Wasn't in Miami? And then. Spring? Well, it, but it, at the end of the day, was Shador at FSU? Is Shador leaving too? It, well, but yeah. was Shador, well, hold on, was Shador at FSU? No, Shador was at Miami with well, like exactly. five quarterbacks. It's, it's, it's one thing for, for them to tweet, oh, he's in Miami. Okay, whatever. That's a big, no big deal. But they actually specifically tweeted that he was at the FSU campus. Now, Grant, again, it's speculation. It's no, rumor. no, Shador, Shador was in Shador was in Miami's practice facility practicing with Cam oh, you're Ward. Talking, oh, you're talking about Miami Hurricanes? Yeah, mm -hmm. man, he was oh, okay, in there, but, but, okay. but, but see, that's what I'm saying. People, yeah, but we already know Shador's not like, I mean, that's ridiculous. He, that, that's I seen even, that, I seen that, that, I seen that too. Carmine was, not even like, Sam, he is a coach Sam, son. Sam, he's Carmine, was, I seen it, Carmine was driving, he, during the last, was spring break, he was driving in Miami, or Florida, wherever he at, he probably was seeing some of his friends, like, look, and he a lot been. of these, they, they work out together during the spring. I didn't tweet that. I didn't. No, no, that. I ain't saying you tweeted. I said, I said, I seen, I seen, I seen that tweet. So like, I'm trying you to help know, you out. Like, Jesus, just look man. at it this way. Yeah, y'all are coming. Like, y'all are coming for me when I listen. I no, we're not. No, no, no I'm not coming all, for you. I'm, just, of, I'm just helping you I'm, see it brighter because yeah, of no, no, no. What's planet. happening is the reason why it looks like we come because we all talking over each other. That's why it looks like that. All, all, all I wanted to know was where did you get the idea that he was? Um, you said John liquidated, so you answered my question. That's all. But it's just that it looks like it's combative because we're all talking over each other. That's right. I'm trying, I'm, and I'm on my phone. I can't really. I'm on my earpiece. But what I'm saying is, I think it's the narrative being pushed that way because 
like in the spring when these guys go work out with their friends or whatever, and they had different. Like I did it too when I was at I'm, I was at over here. I was at one college. I go to another college workout, play seven on seven. That don't mean I'm going there. I'm just practicing. I'm training. So when he was in Florida, same thing with Seton. They was all going places practicing. So if he didn't show he's at Florida State practicing, that don't mean he's going. Shador was in Miami University. They filmed it. He was in the practice facility throwing the ball with Caleb, with Cam Ward, and they told him he could, they couldn't do it. They had to stop, and then they went to the beach and did it. Hey, Kermani, I don't know what it is about you, son, but every time you do something, people be talking. Yeah, that's, that's a that's narrative, a yo. That's a blessing, man. He's in demand, man. He really is. He really yeah, is. Yeah, like I said, something I'm a about fan. I'm, I'm a straight... I'm a straight up Cormani fan. I don't want him to go, but I want him to be successful wherever he goes. So if it's here at CU, great. If it's at FSU, see. great. If it's at, I don't know, Ohio, I'm okay with it. You know, at the end of the day, even Coach Prime said when he was with, what's that guy's name? Skip, Kip, the white guy and the. Kip Bayless. Kip Bayless, yeah, yeah. He did say, this was about, I don't know, two months ago. He said, he said, I have to prepare the fandom for surprises. We're going to have some, he goes, we're always, he goes, we always have to pair, prepare for attrition. Yeah. I said that too. I and said, then, and he's the, like, and because I, yeah, he's like, so we're going to lose some people. Yeah. I said he's that like, too. I said when the, transfer, when the transfer portal opened up, I said, there's going to be some eyebrows raised. I said that too. Yeah. If so, Shador wasn't prime son, they would have been saying the same thing about Shador. Trust me, it was just a spring but, workout. That's all it was. But Sam, he, if he do transfer to like let's say Florida State, I'm gonna remember you said it. I'm gonna hold me give it to you. Right. I'm gonna be like Sam <laughs> called it. And hey, if Sam, he I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say you called it. If he does, and if he doesn't, I'll be happy. I'll be like, Thank no, I mean, gosh, I'm not gonna because, say if he doesn't, I'm not yeah. gonna say anything. But if he yeah, does, but if transfer, he does, I'm I won't be surprised. Or Miami or wherever. Like or I said, Miami. it doesn't matter where he goes for me. I, I'm a Cormani fan. I stand Cormani. So. I think he's a generational talent. I just think he's just had a, you know, he's just, I mean, we saw it firsthand. He, this was, he had, he had some moments where he was great. And then he had some moments where he got smoked. And I think that's a learning curve for a freshman. I still think he's going to be amazing once he, you know, figures himself out. What do you think of his clothing brand? <laughs> uh, he has a clothing it, brand. Yeah, he does have a clothing brand. Um, Did he launch it already? It's been launched. Since everybody was saying he's going to leave, it's like as okay. soon as he launched his clothing brand, everybody starts saying he's about to leave. Oh, I, I know he was. I know somebody, I know another female vlogger who vlogs for Colorado. She had said he was going to have, I, I follow her. She said, I, but she said he, it, it was going to launch in a couple of weeks. So I didn't know if he had launched it or not. Yeah, no, it launched. Um, it launched. Right with it. Okay. Right, right. I was saying, I said, I said, it's funny. Right when he launched his clothing brand, everybody started saying he's about to leave. When the, when I, the, when the smoke first came up and then he had the address. I will say, Cormani has the perfect name for a clothing brand. Cormani, that name sounds like, like Armani, Cormani. Nah, it just sounds yeah, like not what it, a. Yeah. It, it, yeah, he just, but I will say this. I think I saw, because um, uh, when she did the vlog, he had, she showed some of his designs. I mean, if I was like 18 or 19 and I was a guy, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably like it or something like that. Um, Because it's cool. It's hip. It's trendy. It's new. It's, you know, but, but good for Carmani. You know, I mean, we all saw that, that video, that one video that he put up. I think it's got, what, no, 240,000 views. That's incredible, man. That's power. Yeah, he's the standard. Yeah, he's he's something. He's something. Yeah, he put he put a clothing line out like two weeks after that, and like that's when everybody started saying, "Oh, Carmine's leaving, or Marion Cooper's going to Nebraska, and all that." And I'm like, "Yo, how y'all talking about he leaving? He just are y'all not promoting his 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 brand that he just dropped?" I didn't even. I know. think it's like Double O Seven or something. Seven Double Double Seven something. What's the brand name again? I forgot. I thought, but yeah, it, like right, right when people was talking about he was leaving, he was just. I thought people was gonna. Talk, I was like, "That's crazy." They they killed this brand hype and talked about him leaving. That's what I was saying. Like, oh, when I, last time Sam. I seen you, Max. Sam, you know I'm about to mess with you. Sam, you there? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh oh, I'm just I'm about to break something. You what? see this picture? He's in Houston, Texas, Sam. Oh, you about to be a Longhorn? Uh oh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing. Is he going no, to A and M? He's so funny because I'm literally on. I'm literally oh, on his. So oh my crazy. gosh, I am on his Instagram right now. Okay, yeah. 
cookies up. All you right. Can draw yourself crazy. All you want over there. I got enough hair gone. Okay. No, uh -oh. I'm just, I didn't even notice it. I'm just looking at his he's back. He's, he's back in Colorado. He's in Denver. Uh oh. Yeah, Kamani, man, he got it. Whatever it is, man. Yeah, but you do you do realize the date is March 23rd. I know. I know. I know. But he's, not um, going the nowhere. last one he made was he was in Denver, Colorado. So okay, I not going nowhere. Yeah, I will say this. This clothing brand, <laughs> definitely if, you know, if I was a guy and I'm 18 years of age, yeah, I'd probably maybe. Sam, know. I'm not jumping out the window no more because I was the first person to jump oh, out the yeah. window last year and said he needed to transfer, remember? And everybody no, jumped I mean, on me. Listen, Sam, everybody jumped on my case. I'm not doing that no more. I don't I don't want him to transfer, but I want him to be successful wherever it he goes. Seemed like he's good where he's at. That's what it seemed like until he say until he say otherwise. Mm, I don't know. I he hope probably, so. I just want I you know what? I want to see Kormani on the field. I want to see him play. That's what I want to see. Now I don't know again. We're all speculating. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know why he's not playing. I don't know why they, and I think it was very odd that they chose that spokesperson guy to go on D and VR to tell everybody that he was not playing in the spring game. What is that about? What is that about? Letting everybody know he hurt. I don't know. No, because no, Probably because they asked, no, 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 nope, nope. Because they asked, one of the guys asked if he was on injury. He said no. So he wasn't he wasn't hurt. None oh, of that. Maybe he worked yeah. on his clothing brand. Damn, maybe he worked on his clothing brand. <laughs> to miss to miss practice. Working Look, I'm gonna speculate. Brand? He working on his clothing brand. How about that? Okay. Right, he about to come out with some new shoes. He, he'll be there in training camp. That's how good he he don't need all this. He'll be there in training camp. You heard it here first, Sam. He working on his clothing brand. I'm telling you. That's it. He about I'm to actually, come out with them Carmine. Another reason why I'm quiet is because I'm actually looking at his Instagram. I haven't been on his Instagram in like forever and a day. So I'm just looking at the clothing mm -hmm. brand and I'm like, okay. Wait, what did Uncle Neely say? Uh, Donnie, hold on. Let me see. Let me go back up. Let me see. Let me go to you. What did Uncle Neely say? Thank you. That's a guy's name. Uncle there, yeah, Uncle Neely. What did he say, Sam? Anyway. What did Uncle Neely say? He he said he wasn't gonna be at the spring game, and then one of the guys asked him, is he injured or whatever? He said, No, he's not, and he didn't want to elaborate. Okay. Oh, so well, I'm gonna elaborate. Man. I'm gonna elaborate. He work on that clothing brand right now. Well, let me just say this. Somebody, let me answer somebody in the chat. Someone says, "Well, his Instagram says to you, buffs. You do realize that the the few guys that jumped into the transfer portal last year, like Anthony uh, Hankerson and Mikey Harrison, they had all the CU stuff the day before. All of that was there, and then they jumped in." So if you're going to jump into the transfer portal, you're probably not going to do it until you do it. You know, unless, of course, everybody knows you're transferring ahead of time. Is but this again, his clothing guys, brand right here? Is this his yeah, clothing brand? I think so, yeah. And I guess my only issue is if it's his clothing brand, why don't he put a link to his clothing brand? Um, yeah, if is this Seven Appeal? And it only has I, I one. No um, yeah, he's got a... Okay, first mock up coming coming up soon. Okay, he put he posted that uh, four weeks ago. That's what's up. He got um he doing his thing then. Oh, uh, Neely said he a brown, but not preparing for spring. Okay, but in Boulder, I don't know. Shot they shot by Pat. They said he had a clothing brand. I don't know. I I. I'm just hearing this now. Let me see what, what they say. That's why. Yeah, I said it before. I said if you talk, you talking about well, come on, you go talking about his brain. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't hear what Uncle Neely said. So, uh, which video was it? A recent video? I don't know. Yeah, and I'm trying to find it. So. Like I'm literally on their thing right now. I don't golly. It was fairly recent. Oh man, hold on. There's another D in VR sports. That's not the one though. There's another one. Oh, oh okay. okay. All right. Because there's two of them. There's D and V sports that cover a bunch of different sports. And then there's one that's local. Okay. This is the one that I want. All right. Somebody just 
<laughs> just doing what we gotta do to get on the field. That's all Kermani doing. He's so I will say, I will say the spring game is right around the corner, so I. Mm. Oh, that might you might be on the grade. It might have been grades. It might have been a grades. Farm brain plant. But I know he was a student of the week like a month ago. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. You're right about that. He was student of the week because I saw it posted on the Instagram. I don't know. I don't oh, know. I might have to go up on this. <coughs> I don't yeah. know. Does, so, it person, does the person does the person in the chat, do you remember what DNVR video it was? Because there's a ton of these. And I'm yeah, they just said it. It was the last DN, DN Denver podcast. Okay. They just said it. Okay. It was the last DNVR podcast with CU. Um, mm. Hope he ain't did nothing wrong. He said it was Thursday show. Thursday show. Okay. Who okay. knows? I mean, I'm about to, it's it's too know. many hairs to count on a cat. One, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. That's four days. I don't know. I don't um keep up with like their daily tweets and stuff, so I wouldn't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah I found yeah. out on the live that um what's his name was transferring. Um, Who's that? Um, I what was uh, Kennedy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he out of here. It's about 15. Promise it's going to be about 15. He said about 15 about to hop in the portal. He already know he's hopping. I guess they told him. You know, so he got, I think he got 15 fresh bodies coming. We missing 17 players. So we got 15 to 17. That's 32. Ooh, 32 more players about to come for the summer. Let's get it moving. Do you who do you guys think will be a surprise that may jump in the portal? Not Cormani. Let's not talk about Cormani anymore. But who do you guys think might be a surprise? Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm assuming there's going to be somebody going to jump in the portal. I just don't know who. Do you think Carter Stoutmar might? I don't know. Stop now. Nah. Mm. He's there for sure. He been now. His daddy going to probably disown him. All his homies up there. Like, what you talking about? Like, like nah, you, you see, he know for sure he gonna get the real training. Like, it's like it makes no sense to leave. Look, it like to leave CU right now. You had to be drunk, blind, dumb, crazy, out of your mind, and everything else. Because for one, you ain't gonna get the coaching nowhere else. And I'm, I'm probably the soccer. I can say that with full confidence. There's well, nowhere else. Yeah, but you know, you know who shocked me last, last, last year, and I was. I kind of was in a funk about it. I can't believe I'm actually admitting this to God and everybody. Anthony Hankerson, I thought he was really good last year. I'm like, I was shocked that he got in the transfer portal. I'm like, what? No, I, I did not. He was I, I did not. I did not. How did you know? Because we got uh, Alton over there just sitting, waiting, hurt, waiting to come back and ball out. Yeah. And they well, wasn't about to, they weren't going to bench Sabian and they wasn't going to bench Dylan. So he like, I'm, I'm the only like, he was, you know, he was only like the last regime. All of them were last regime players, like the Mikey, ones that Prime well, saying, "Thank God I blew the whistle." That's not true. That's not true. Mikey Go Harrison. The portal. I was surprised Mikey Harrison got in the transfer portal. I was kind of surprised, but not really. I really wasn't surprised because I was like, "Yeah, he did all right. That was a good move for him." Because he was a walk Dennis. on, and he wasn't another. He wasn't another position originally, and then they transferred. They got they convinced him to be come a safety, and I thought he did pretty good. Now, is he the best safety on the planet? No, Tight but in. I. But I. Tight in. No. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Good. You're right. You're right. You're right. He, he was right undersized. Right. He couldn't he was block. Tight in. You're right. But you're right. Block, he, he was like undersized. I said, he wasn't he was the best. He, he wasn't. He wasn't the best tight end. But I thought he did pretty good. I'm like that for somebody who's a new position. He, you know, yeah, did he, he was walk on. So I was surprised that he jumped in. I'm like, what? No, nah, I wasn't. So, All right. You know, it, it is where did what he it go is. again? He went to San, he went to San Diego State. San Diego, San Diego. State. Okay. okay. Yeah, but like all of that, like you know. It's it's this. I, I I already knew those guys was leaving. All of those, I I think a lot of those guys, like when Prime say you think that you know I you was hope for me to blow that whistle. Them guys, they mm-hmm. I think they gonna hit the portal. Like those old regime guys that's left. I think maybe Zelinks Zelinksis might stay. Um, Fifty four might stay. I don't know. A lot of those other little stragglers. I think they out of there. Like they out of there. Out of there. No, nah, I don't. Ben think Ben. Ben, you said who? I don't think Ben Lee is leaving. 
talk, not billion talk, operators. Talking positions. Which? What do you mean? Because I don't know all the names. Talking positions. Which ones? Is that cornerback? Yeah. Which ones? Um, Who are you talking about? Bentley or Ben? Ben Finisaf? Yeah, Bentley. I know. Bentley's on. Um, oh, Finisaf is a safety. Yeah. It's the it's a lot of those old regime guys still there. He was old regime. I already I already figured they I was shocked they were still there, but like Prime couldn't get enough players in. So do you think anybody, not the new guys, do you think any of the old guy old linemen are gonna leave? Mm. Maybe that one guy. Which one? Uh 70, 74, 72. I think he might leave. I, I think he that. might leave. Uh a couple of the DBs that was there old regime. Ben gonna stay. He he gonna stay. Um, maybe a few kickers. He might cut a few people. I'm gonna read what the chat said. Cam Duncan said several wide receivers are likely leaving. We still have Baby To, Will Shepard, Draylon Miller, and Cam Michael. I do think that with some of our yeah. skill positions, I feel like with some of our skill positions, we have so many great players. Mm-hmm. But if I was, if I was, I don't, if I was the fourth man or whatever, up, I'd be like, you know what? I am nah. not gonna sit here and hit the. the I, I might as well jump in the transfer portal. I don't know nah. if I would stay. I don't know. No, Sam, that's not how. I, no, no, no. Fourth, no. Like this, fourth, fourth receiver plays like most of the time. Like you, like you play a lot of your receivers. You can play 10, 15 receivers a game. Like receivers, because remember, you can put four to five out there at once. So it's like. You can get play at receiver. We but a couple of those guys do are I do believe about the lead though. I know you're talking about a couple of receivers I don't see sticking around. They're gonna get beat out. Uh who like who? Name names. On the receivers. They got that I, I, I can't remember I don't remember his name or number, but we I, I don't wanna put names out there. I'm so, but I see some that's gonna get they know when Cordell and them show up, they're out of there. So they know they go they're gonna hop we're gonna have a lot of receivers hopping the portal. Receivers and a few DBs. I don't see too many linemen. Maybe two or three. Can I say something very controversial? Everybody's going to come from me. Let me just say this. I really like this player, but I kind of want Trevor to hop in the portal. Trevor Woods? Yeah. Trevor um, not going nowhere. I know he's not going to. Look, I like Trevor as a safety, even though he did blow coverages and stuff, but I'll never forget that interception at TC. TCU and I'll never forget that interception at CSU and I'm like yes honey get it Trevor mm. and I do think Trevor's kind of cute um I will say this he oh, wow. when he when he transferred to linebacker I mm. thought he was terrible I know what you're gonna say oh that's because he was new in the position and he was you know baptism by fire but I just he's too slow he doesn't have enough muscle I just and the fact that and I and I hate giving into the the, the mob People have been talking about Coach Hart and how bad he is. I never, ever said anything negative about Coach Hart. I just sat here listen, but that decision to say Trevor Woods may start has me questioning his entire existence. Like, what? How do you start him over what's that guy, Jalen Wester? Like, are we? Are you kidding me? Uh, wait, what are you talking about? Trevor huh? Woods. You talking about right now in the practice? That's what that's what uh, Coach Hart said. He said they didn't want to lose Trevor, so you know I guess they're promising him there he's going to start. And I'm like, oh no, bro, he, he might not have to start, but he know he's going to play. Ugh. They're going to rotate. They prime going to look. It's most like when you got a team, you can trust your players, and they t- turn into like a machine, a football machine. Everybody playing, he going to play. Like, but I don't know. He, but he I will start say or this. not. The only reason why I brought it up is like if he jumps into the portal, I won't be. I'm like good because I feel like we're still gonna have a hard time stopping the run next year. I don't mm. know. I don't think so. I, after what I, I see today, after what I see today. Yeah, but you know, let me let me tell you what Urban Meyer said. I remember never forget, and I didn't even know who Urban Myers was last year. I'll never forget what because Urban Myers had came to our practices. He goes, you know what? He goes, the first string is good. If they stay healthy, they can have a very successful season. He said, but as the season wears on, injuries are going to happen because I'm concerned about the second string. And I will never, because that's exactly what happened. At the end of the day, we, you know, yes, our first string is, I, f- I feel, you know, pretty confident. If I'm not, I'm like, okay, they're above average, mm-hmm. but it's our second string. We don't really mm-hmm. have strong backups. Well, we that's don't. what, no, no, we do have, so we do, no, we do have strong back. We got strong, no, look, we got, okay, mm-hmm. at nose, we got Tadozi. 
Carter, Barnes. That's just the noses. We got that's three noses that we can rotate, and that's three man depth. Not strong. The enough. tackles at the t- why, 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 why the tackles? We got three, four players we can rotate and play and trust in games that shown proven that they can play in games. Just give mm-hmm. them time, they'll be they'll be all right. Not mm-hmm. having depth mean you can't put somebody on the field because you don't trust they're gonna be able to play on the field. So right now, everybody on this team, we could almost just pretty much trust the play. Except maybe nope. I think maybe twenty players. No. What, what do you mean no? What, what, why are you? I saying just, no? I just, and this is uh, we're gonna agree to disagree because we're an Americans and we Americans we love freedom of speech. I just don't see it. I'm sorry. I just you seeing it. You see, but you seeing it right I now. I don't in see practice. it. Yeah, but this is. But listen, this is listen. This is practice. This is you practice. We are, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. We this isn't game time when you're up against ranked opponents. And I don't care what anybody says. When when we play other teams, they play harder against us. We have. To, I mean, we don't go up against just people playing. I mean, I'm saying that people don't play hard Sam? anyway, but they play really, really hard against us. And I, and I feel like, hold on, let me let me finish. I'm almost done. When I saw the Amazon documentary and I watched all of it, what for me, I was shocked at the amount of injuries we were we were having because you don't right. see that if you don't so i'm thinking if we have injuries anywhere near that we have last year i'm just concerned about the second and third string i mean remember, football, remember, remember when we played utah they're they were on their fourth quarterback right that's football sam that's injuries everybody you get hurt listen you get hurt 99 percent of the time in practice playing football you don't get hurt in the game what happens in the game is you re-injure something that you heard in practice. And you get hurt in practice by preparing to play football. So, like, all of that is – that's the whole thing. But what I'm saying is when you are practicing and you're rotating in practice, you are assimilating a game experience. So when you do that in practice, you want to do that in the game. And so when you are practicing and you're rotating, you're going to carry that into the game and, you know, pretty much put that same trust in that same flow of offense. Last year – we had so many mistakes trying to rotate because we didn't have this time to prepare during the spring where we're rotating in practice and executing our plays. So when you're not even used to rotating, how can you even be used to executing? So first you have to go through the spring and you rotate and practice how you like to rotate in the game. During the season of practice, you will start to formulate your first and second, third teams. When you finally get your final come of this right here, which will be the end of spring practice, they're going to give like a real final look of first and second, third teams. Who's really going to be the first team? Who's really going to be second team? Who's really going to be the third team? Then they're going to take that and they're going to keep rotating and they're going to I know, Correct I know they're going to be, I, I'm, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm every with, team does I'm, this. I'm saying with what I said, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing in terms of our backups. I don't think they're strong enough. Well, well our backups were starters last year. So it's like, not all I mean, of them. Not all of them. Pretty much like we could really set up a starter first spot. Like they're going to sort out and like we could have pretty much our second, second lineup would be our starters from last year in the, 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 the the additions that they needed to be better. So I like, prime got enough. So you feel field. like some of the starters on defense that are now you're saying are going to be backups. Okay. Strong? Like, okay. Shane, Shane Cox, McNeil and Wallace. They all came back. That's three linemen. That's a three D linemen. They're not going to be all starting. And out of those three, how do you, how would you grade them? Do you know their PFF grade? But they, I wouldn't know. I ain't seen their PAF grade, but I grade them pretty high just on the fact okay. that they didn't have this last year. You got to understand. Okay. That all of those guys, look, Sam, can you go run a mile? Have you, do you run? Like, that's like you being able to run a mile when you don't run a mile and then me fully judging you not being able to run a mile. But they but ran a when, mile. They were starters last year. We saw that worked out. But they didn't practice the spring. They did. They weren't here. If you go back last year and watch all the last year's spring practice, I think maybe Shane Coach was there. No, I don't think Coach was there. A lot of those guys weren't there. I don't even think Bishop Thomas was there. None of them guys was there early on. And you was, and that right there is what I'm saying. When these guys get to practice and had a spring right here, 
And from what they showed me last year, without having this, uh, gave me that to where I can say, okay, I'm going to draw this conclusion because they were, were missing so much and they still played, even though they was getting up to So let me ask you a question. So you're saying Shane Coates is not going to be a starter this year? If he is or he isn't. If he's a starter, who's so going to be a starter or going to be a backup? I'm just trying to ask you: is he a starter or a backup? Which, he, which one is? If, it? Yeah, most. If he starts, yeah, it's great. If he does, but if he doesn't start, he'll be a great backup. So that's the that's what I'm saying. And so, like the secondary, the second string is there. Mm -hmm. Third string is there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There, we we went through this early on when we already knew who we had. We already knew we was three deep. Let me let me just say this because I, I don't want this to be like World War Three. I believe this. I do believe that we have improved. So it's not like I, I don't see that the folks that we got out of the transfer portals, transfer portal haven't been an improvement from what we had last year. But I said this on another podcast and I'll say it again. And I don't care what anybody thinks, you know, guys, we can't transfer portal all the way to a championship. You know, people have to have chemistry, cohesion, coaches have to have chemistry, Coaches have to have cohesion. And when you have a lot of turnover like this, when you are starting over on some levels, not on every level, you know. But he didn't have every, look, every, Sam, 60 play, 60 some 67 players returned last year. And I think that was after who all left. But how so many like, came in though? How many how many new players 24, came in? 20, 24 plus. And you don't eight. think that's that's not a lot? No, that's about and how that's many about and, right. and hold on, and how many new coaches do we have? That's that's so, fine. Hold on. You got you got high turnover for coaches. And you That's got high about it. Hold on. You got high turnover for players. Mm -mm. And my whole thing There's is There's no high turnover for players. It's only additional. Okay, 13 32 plus how many bring in uh, right now? How many? Okay, so if we go everything is 24 at the transfer portal, 24. Then we so, have eight, okay, eight, so eight freshmen. That's thirty two. But our but our new our new our new O line is new, right? That's pretty much new. It's revamped. When we, we got, all knew that we was got coming. Six. So that's 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 six. Then we, we got we, six, then, and we had then, five. Then we brought in a pretty much new wide receivers. I, again, again, I'm not saying that Jimmy Horn is not going to play and everything, but we've got some new wide receivers. That's a whole bunch of skilled players and positions that are new, correct? But that we only probably, lost. So right, so that, we got listen, but we only lost Xavier Weaver. And Javon Antonio and Mikey Harrison. Everybody else stayed. We're talking about turnover. Even on the offensive line, we only lost Wells. No, and we only about, lost Tank. We're talking talk, about turnover. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the new guys that are coming in. You just said turnover. Now we're talking. Okay, of course. There we talk. That's fine. We're talking about turnover too. The turnover was 60 something players. That's good. And a lot of those players were on the starting team. That's even better. So from here, this, he's at a great point because when you talk about turnover, you're talking about players who play that's coming back, well, right? I hope so. Oh. I don't, I don't okay. know. I, I, I mean, listen, I, this, is what I, this is what I see. I see that we've upgraded in almost every single position. That's that's hands down, right? Right, right. So I, I think we can both agree on that. My, my thought is, and I, we won't know until, well, I, I can care, well, I just can't care, can't care less because I'm looking forward to the spring game and I can't wait to see everybody play together. What I know is this, right? Even after the spring game, there's going to be some kind of movement. We're going to have some kind of attrition. I don't. I don't think a lot of players are going to leave. I don't think a lot of players are going to jump into the transfer portal like they did last year. So I want to be real clear on that. But there's right. probably going to be, you know, a few surprises where well, we're going to have to make some adjustments. I mean, it is what it is, and I. I think that's healthy. I don't. I don't think that's a bad thing. Right. Did um, you see Sam? Did you see I, that one video where he put but out? But I will say this one thing. I one thing I won't do. I won't assume that because we have all these new players that you know everything is going to work out i'm still worried about chemistry cohesion because like i said even with the coaches that are coming because he had a lot of turnover with coaches coaches okay. have so to sam, tell sam, sam okay let me say let me say some chemistry in football is when you fight and make up so they fight every day and make up every day a lot of these guys knew each other before they even played at cu from houston to a lot of these guys and from a lot of these guys had like prior so prime kind of the chemistry was there with a lot of these guys before they got together. So they've been saying the chemistry, you can look at it and tell they, they getting chemistry is there. And you can look, if you look at them playing on the line, chemistry is there. So the chemistry is being established, but the whole thing is I won't know team, for sure. I won't know for sure until the season starts. I think it's great I can, to say uh, that. You can, you I mean, and I, and I will say this. I don't, 
I look because I, I feel like we saw fights last year. People were fighting mm-hmm. and all that other stuff. I did. I don't know what you. I saw. Remember he? Remember yeah, I he seen him one that. time, and he got I mad. Don't... They didn't get in. That was and that was like in the fall. There was. There were, what the they world? Had, they had other skirmishes. It wasn't. I know what you're talking about. That one. That every that kind of went viral. That one particular fight. But there right. were other little skirmishes and stuff like that. And I, I, you know, look. It is what it is. People got to get into it. Coach Mo said it. Uh, Sam, we, you hear we Coach Mo? We won't know for sure until the season starts. Coach Mo said it. He said last year we barely had a fight. Last year we got a break of five fights a day. I love that. You see it all the time. That's chemistry. That's the football chemistry is is people at a point of to where they almost hate each other Someone to where they want to kill them, but they says, cool with each other. What happened to Slusher? What do you? Yeah, where where is he? And you want to ride for you? You want to ride for your man? He's not. He's not on the spring roster. Really? Mm-mm. Oh That's my scary. God! Why? He, he wasn't on the rock. I don't know. He's not on the roster. <gasps> I love yeah. him. Oh man! That's what? Oh, Fifteen. My gosh. Sam. You... Jesus. Sam Pond said fifteen players. Sam, I thought you knew that. No. Yeah. He... You, you could tell by my reaction. Like I'm kind of upset about this. His number was number seven, right? What? Mm. No, he was uh. I want to say 18 or something. Miles, oh my Hold on, gosh. Let me check again. Like Why? You say he was number 18? I think oh was my it? god. Yeah, I don't see him. Pond said 15. He said he's 15 players going to hit the portal. He already said it. He said he got 10 pros. He said Pond said on the team, he got 10 guys that's already ready to be pros. Already ready. Then he said he got 25 guys who oh think they got what it takes, but they got to show it. Then he said he got 15 guys that's about to hit the portal. Then he said he got 10 guys that's thinking about quitting. And then he said he got five guys that's in between playing the 50. So he knows what's going on. And wow. so he said that like well, three weeks ago. I will say this with Miles Slusher. I'm on his Twitter. He hasn't tweeted since January. Wow. Oh, he was number 17. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah 17, uh, 17. I know I didn't I didn't see him. Yeah, he hasn't tweeted since January. Oh my god. Yeah, Jace Philly has number 17. I don't see any other 17s. Yeah, so wow, he's man. not on the roster. So I that just, was a quiet move because I didn't hear anything in the news about it. That's that was a quiet move. Yeah, that is I like it. And I I'm pretty like I'm in all the I, I don't know everything, of course, because clearly I didn't know that. Wow, I'm just disappointed. I liked him. Shoot. Yeah. Slush got up out of there. It's gonna be a couple of them ones get up out of there. You know, I see a lot of them the receivers. You said them receivers, I see a bunch of yeah. Will Shepard, Cordell Russell, Cam McHale, Draylon Miller, uh, Will Sh- I said Will Shepard, yeah, right. yeah, they about to yeah, somebody's spot's about to go bye bye. Yeah, he could be rehabbing or something. I know he did get, get injured. <clears throat> a couple DBs, maybe. I'm sorry. I'm just now. I'm on his Instagram. Sorry. Seventy-two. <laughs> you on his Instagram? Oh my gosh. Say? He didn't he has, say, you know. So he maybe, hasn't posted he, anything he about reporter. Colorado since October. Um, yeah, October seventeenth was the last time he posted something about um Colorado. And he only has he only has six posts. And out of the six posts, only two of them are Colorado. The rest are, I guess he used to play at Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he played at Arkansas. Yeah, so he's only he's got he's only got six posts on his Instagram right now. Only two posts are Colorado. The rest, the other four are Arkansas. And the last time he posted about Colorado was October the 17th, 2023. Wow. I think you're That's right well. on this one. Yeah, he's a goner. He's out of here. And then he said, now he's in the most, his Instagram stories. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 15. Probably, probably bring in like 10 more, senior, or 10 more sophomores or maybe a couple, 10 juniors. Okay. And both. Drake, what's going, what's going on? We have a laid back right now. What do you mean I got to take control? What's it, something happening in the chat? What's happening? I don't see anything. He might he might not have caught up. <laughs> Some people, you know, when they come on the live, they probably oh, yeah. back a little bit. 
Somebody go bucks says slusher working on a rap career. <laughs> oh, he do rap. Oh, does he? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, he said he rap. Slush with the bars, slush bars. Jeremiah, <laughs> asked, Jeremiah, Maggie asked, "Who is the best player at every position?" All right, let's see. Who you think, Sam? Uh, let's start with running back. Dylan Edwards last year. Huh? Dylan, <laughs> Dylan Edwards last year, and Anthony Hankerson. Oh, How about, about, about right now. Uh, right now, well, you know what? Right now, I'm loving. I just put up a video about him. Uh, he's a freshman, Michael Welch. Okay. <laughs> Mike doing his yeah. thing. Mike, baby yeah. Mike Tyson. Call him a little baby knockout. All right. Yeah. Who's your Who's your best? Uh, mm, wide receiver. Then let's go. We can't go in any other position. I don't think. Sam, how about wide receiver? Oh, wide receiver. Sorry, um, I know y'all are gonna hate me when I say this. I don't oh. really care. I'm Ooh. staying on business. You know, I love me some Jimmy Ford Jr. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> okay, I'm going with Jimmy. I, don't care. Okay. I love him. I don't care. I'm not knocking Jimmy either. I say that's a good pick for you. Okay, Jimmy like Horn. Yeah. How about Travis? Jimmy Horn Jr. for me. Okay, she going with Jamie. All right. I like so, Travis as a cornerback. All right, how about okay? How about the size? So I was about to say, how about the cornerback position? Travis, there, Travis. Travis, yeah. Okay. How about you don't like Wester? Oh God, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sam. How about um, out of the offensive lineman? Who do you like the best? You know what? Okay, this is why I like. I'm it's gonna not say about this. who's good enough, but who do you like? Yeah, that? but I'm following him on Instagram, and I'm addicted. And he's from my area, the DMV. So you know, I gotta go with Jordan Seaton. I know, okay. I know. I don't care. I said what I said. That's your guy. Okay. Yes, he's, he's from my Jordan area, Seaton. so I gotta rep Jordan. Okay, we repping <laughs> Jordan. Okay. Let me see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope he does. I hope he does really well. I mean, I like the kid. Um. All right, cool. She got who you like at linebacker, Sam. Um, well, Jeff, Bass, I already know who yeah, you're going all like. of them. We already know who you don't. Like. You know who I like? DJ Lundy, who transferred to FSU, who originally oh. transferred to us, then he went back to FSU. That's who I like. Okay. You like Lundy, okay? Yeah, Lundy, DJ Lundy. You don't like Jalen Wester, our linebacker? What about our linebackers? Who you like for our linebackers? Yeah, who you like for? Uh, Mm. I'm just not, I'm just not happy with our linebackers. I want I want them to I, I want us to just I want to go and get new ones. I don't like any of them. You don't like Bentley? Mm, not not that much. He was okay last year. I honestly think when I just I, for, go ahead. What are you saying, Sam? I just wasn't impressed. Like I'm sorry, we couldn't stop the run. We just people were blowing assignments last year. I mean, our linebacker it did, did we were bad. Well, we I know we had it. some injuries, um, but we got a lot of people coming back, so we're gonna see what happened. What about you guys? What do you What do you like? Because I, I mean, what's come on? You know, my number one team is Florida State. So, like growing up, I was a Florida State guy. So you know, I'm going with all the Florida State transfers. <laughs> I, I mean, that's just what it is, man. Travis J. and um, what's his name? I'm I'm hope they do well. Yep. I'm going with Travis J. I know he's gonna see that field this year. He got that bounce in his step, like Thomas said. So was that bounce, was, Travis, Travis, Travis got the bounce. Was Travis, Travis was Travis was Travis J enter, uh, injured last year? Yeah, he was rehabbing. That's what I thought. That's what because I was like, why do I not have a okay, yeah, I knew I wasn't crazy. And Gant was hurt too. And Gant, he's from Florida State. Gant was hurt too. For a little bit, he was rehabbing, so they're back. Look like they both ready to go. So that's some experience, and then you got you know Travis Hunt. You're right about you this. Got... I'm sorry. I would say Wester. I apologize. I'm, Wester. I'm, yeah, and the reason why, I, when I talk to you all, I literally have three screens I'm looking at: so I'm on Twitter, I'm <laughs> on, on Instagram, 
Yeah, yeah. I'm all, you know, I'm all over the place. So, yeah. Well, I, I can give you, like, some defense for sure. I'm going to go from the right side in or the left side linebacker. My man, Swain, okay. for sure. D Swain, right side in, outside linebacker. Next to him, inside, you know, I got my man, uh, uh, McNeil right there. Got McNeil okay. right there. Then playing those. I know everybody to those but nah, man, I, I, I dig, I dig Carter right there. Carter for sure. Carter this year. Outside of Carter, I like to see Wiggins, man. I like, I like Wiggins right there. I like Wiggins right there. Outside of Wiggins at the corner, hmm, if Carmani right, Carmani bit McKinley. I'm like uh, McKinney, McKinney be all right. I call him McKinney. McKinney be all right, right? There. I think probably gonna get that youngster right, right, shutting down. Other side of the course, Travis, safety. I'm like, if, if Craig could play over the free, play the one, play the single high, I like, or Travis J. I like Craig, though. Travis J. Craig, bro. I like, Tra I like Travis J. He's got mad technique. I seen him get his hip around, locked down uh, on that little 10 or uh, yeah, 10 yard square. I love it. Him and Craig, man, them two are like at the safety, man. Shell sure, Herman, I, I like him. It's either not for me, it's either. Craig or Travis J. Core strong safety. Get my man Shallow down there. Offense, uh, Shador, running back. Uh, I, 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 it's tough to get. You know, Dylan and, 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 and Alton, you know, Wilkerson. But something pulling me towards a little me, a little, little Welsh, man. Tully, baby Tyson. I'm liking right there. I'm gonna still get with the Dilly ball. You know that's that's that's, that's Dilly ball. I like Dill right there, man. Dill got the bounce. He got the experience. I'm gonna keep Dill right there. Outside receiver. Right now we got Trav uh, uh, Travis Hunter for show. Second to him outside. I'm gonna put I don't know Jimmy Horn. Now nah, I'm put Jimmy Horn outside. I'll put. I know I'm gonna put a Mario Miller on the other side. Then I'm gonna put John Wester in the inside. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I'm sorry. I love you, boy. But you're gonna be out there though. You know what I'm saying? Tight end. Of course, the guy from Cincinnati. Inside of him on the right side tackle. I like to see Sabian, but you know it's gonna be a battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna still go with Sabian right there. To Tyler Brown. I like you a lot too, right there. Uh, yeah, I do put you right there a little bit, but I don't know. I'm, but see, if I put Tyler right there, I really want to see Benson, but I do want to see. Well, I really want to see really if we can uh, have Washington and Benson right there. That'd be like power alley, like. I could, but then Tyler gonna hold down a guard spot. That's where it get tricky for me. I'm gonna leave that open right there. I can't really solidify none of that right side line. Center though. I'm liking Zelinskis, y'all. He's starting to peak out. I'm really liking what I'm seeing out of Zelinskis. On that right left side guard, I'm still kind of, uh, I don't know. Seaton, that's that. Hey, watch today's film. You see Seaton plant a man's. I'm like, oh, God. This young man, just, he just eats the sandwiches out here. Got to give it to him, man. Seaton right there on the left tackle. And, of course, I got Travis on the outside player. You know, See, the, the chat, side, the chat you know, was hitting on me when I said Satan. See, the chat was hitting on me when I said Satan. I'm like, Satan I got to remember Satan. Yeah. That's what, that's what the chat, they were hating on me. I'm like, first and foremost, I'm from the DMV. I'm in D.C. So, yes, I got to rep Satan. And plus, Satan is also giving really good food recommendations for D.C. So, um, it, it, just Satan all day. And he's just a really good player. I know he's 18. I know he's a freshman. But I, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So, yeah, seating all day. See, I got a question yo, for you. I got yeah, a question for real, you guys. I, on the, I got a question for you guys on the panel in terms of coaches. Who? What new coaches have started that you are the most impressed by? Warren Sapp. Yep, same yeah. here. Yeah, he was a he was a different. Well, well, he I came give in low and, hope. See, well, no, I can't. Well, yeah, it's like low, low like. I can't really say. Oh, I like it's like the both of it is. It's, it's I don't know. I can't. I gotta say fifty fifty. I can't really just get. I love the snap, but the way the like, offensive line moving, I, I'm liking the line. I'm liking. The line. I'm really amazed with the offensive line. Yeah, he's working that and offensive line. I'm amazed. All right. I'm sure I All right. Next line. question. Next question. What coach do you think needs to go? I don't want to say that. 
Well, let's just, so, just or what coach do you think needs improvement? I don't. I mean, Coach Hart. Yeah, I think I can't even really Hart. answer that. Coach Hart, really yeah. Too far yeah, speculation. Coach Hart. That's what you think, Sam? Coach Hart. Yeah, Coach Hart. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't at first. I didn't say anything. This is the first time I've ever come out and said, mm, "I'm not a fan of Coach Hart." So yeah, but I would just say Coach Hart right now. But who knows? Maybe I'll change. I can say yeah, this I don't today. Know, man. And I mean, then two I, or three see, months, you know why I say no, I don't know? I you, you know why? You know why I say I don't know the answer to that because I'm not at the full practice. I don't know. Like, I don't know what's going on in that linebacker position. I don't know either. Don't know I, I, knew, I, I, knew, I was on the Rawhead podcast. You know, Rawhead Raw is pretty. <laughs> it's pretty crazy on that podcast. And there were some guys on that podcast, and man, they were going off on Coach Hart woo, about his technique, about how the linebacker, and I can't get into all of the details because I don't understand the language, what they were saying too much, but they were talking about how the link, the linebackers weren't doing this, and they should be doing this by th this time around. Just a bunch of stuff that they were saying about him. And I will say this, they were complaining about Coach Hart last season. And I, but I didn't understand it. I was he like, had oh. injuries. He I had mean, injuries in his I mean, reign, I don't, though. I don't he know. had a lot of linebackers that were injured. Well, remember, so, well, you don't show remember, like drills, so I can't really but it's, even. It's, like, just, it's not, but it's not just it's not just the injuries part of it. It's also about personal okay. placement because they were also going on about last year. They were talking about the types of people that he, I guess, was placing on the field versus the ones that he was not, and then. Like the like when they came out recently and said that Trevor was gonna start. Oh my gosh, people were going yeah, very off candid. in the chat. Okay, people were acting like they like he, I'm like, well, it can't be that bad. And again, I will say he, this: Trevor can always get better. He can always get better. He's been what you said. You said Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. Yeah. Yeah, they so were like, going off. I can't. I like, can't really like. I, 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 like, I we, talked we, about we, hard too. Like I, you know, because me like. I, I catch like the 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 technique and like what the, what like what the linebacker drills look like, like how he kind of how he get them playing the run and, and and the run alley in the run lane and like how they like how they shuffle. I look at like how they do do they, do they step in on, on on certain reads or do they what like on their key reads do they line up depth when they see deep backs. Like I look at all kinds of stuff, so I'm like. I really couldn't tell. Like, I really was saying that a lot in here. Like, I, I don't really – because I couldn't really say he's not a good coach because, like, a lot of the schemes in college, like, for one, like, some coaches, they don't teach a lot of linebackers to, like, scooch read on the first step or, like, they don't teach them to make a first step. They want them to, like, like pound. So, it's like I don't know what his, his philosophy was. I'm going to remember So, that was my whole thing. You know what I mean? And I – when you're, I, I just, Ron, see, when you're on Rod Hodge's podcast and they're going in on Coach Hart, I get it. I get it. I get like, it. I, I, I get it. I get it. Same thing. Because you, if you get been it. on Rod, I mean, they go off on Coach Hart and they've been doing that since last I, year. I, I get it. I, I don't I, say anything. I, I, I've never I, I said just sort of understand. Negative. I just sort of, yeah. I mean, like, but see, when you look at it, like, like, okay, if he gets some really good players and like he, if his, if his drill works and like his coaching, for, like, scheme on how he wants his linebackers to play. That they could do it, okay. And if you got people that's holding the gap and like they could really open up run lanes to really make a tackle, I get it. But like that wasn't happening last year. We wasn't seeing run lanes open. We was just getting beat with the with the with the zone block and like it was beating us up in the backer a lot. And again, that can become from practice because you know to get off blocks and all of that, you got to get into a rhythm of that. And like that's during the off season, so they didn't have it. So a lot of that, I, I looked at a lot of. I just didn't. I didn't. I feel. I mean, they not. I, I get. They they got the right to be mad about whatever last year was, but to take into consideration to really look at a solutional way of it, you gotta look at like, okay, let's have my linebacker, and I didn't go through none of my linebacker drills all year. Like, and then I gotta fill gaps. Like right now, it's like, yo, you know. So it's kind of rough when you not. So I took all that consideration. I got a question. Do you think? How do you? How both of you? How do you feel about Robert Livingston so far? I like it. Do you um, think he's? Do you think he's gelling with the other coaches? Do you? I don't do you know. Feel like, okay. Yeah. All those guys. Look, those no, are all good. Right. All these guys are pro guys, yo. So it's like, to them, it's like it's like it's like the old days. You know, when yeah, people get drafted and traded. Guy. Like to them, it's like, hey, what's up, man? Let's get to this. Let's get to this film work. Like they're gonna, like, well, I don't think it's gonna be a lot of beefing because it's not like you're gonna. 
make an extra salary if you go score a touchdown. So it's not like they're fighting for the ball. They just want people to play well. That's their one goal. And like to have a bunch, a bunch of ex-professionals who are used to coming in and meeting new guys and sitting down and going over football and preparing for football and doing this. Yeah. Then as a coach doing that, it's like that's that's a no. That's a piece of cake. I think yeah. he's having no problem with the coaches. Yeah, I think we just grade him on how the season go. Like we'll wait till like almost the end of the season to see what his grade is. I got a question of interest because I really don't know. This is a dumb question, but I, I love asking dumb questions. But um, when Coach Hart makes a decision about personnel placement, like, oh, I want Trevor Woods to start. Doesn't Robert Livingston have the ability to say, no, he's not starting? Um, I think oh, he yeah. might have some say so to say I need him in this particular position. So he does have the he does have the veto power to say, thanks for your suggestion, but he's not starting. I'm gonna start, you know, Jalen Wester. Well, it depends on what if he see like somebody has a better ability to run some type of package or scheme. Yeah, he could say, I want this person in place of him. Because what yeah. I remember last but, but year, but also at the same time, that's why you got a linebackers coach. So he need he has input as well. Like, look. This is my best guy in the room here, or this is this is my second guy. So he'll look at whoever's on that deck. I don't know. I don't know how they do it. I think he's gonna match okay. it up, man. I think he's gonna certain weeks, certain players might start, certain weeks players might not start. They might just rotate. I think he's gonna flip up. They, they, yeah. they want to keep teams on their toes too. Like you, you see, you want to do that because I mean that's why you see some players they start all games, them unstoppable players. They yeah, can start all games. Some players yeah, he, you he, might not want to start every game because they're gonna get scouted. But yeah, he'll Man. see somebody's like, No, I need this person in the game here. This is this person is gonna run this best yeah. run this for me. Yeah, he's the right. defensive coordinator. I'm sure he he can. Right. But they they're mixed. Like like people who play on teams, like a lot of players don't play like start every even if they start like if you ain't like an all star like Travis or something or Shador, like sometimes they'll they'll not not like quarterback, of course not, but like defensive players, offensive players, you you have a whole season. You know, you hear all the time started seven games, played twelve games, started five games. Everybody put like that because you know for one, it's it's to keep the other teams coordinators on their heels because let's say next week they plan for type for Trevor to play linebacker, so they scheme to play him. But guess what? They got this guy playing. They got this guy starting now. And then how we gonna play against him? So it's like all the, all those little things like keep people on their heels. So as long as he out there, and like I get it, people get caught up into starting and starting. But when you get higher in it, it do it do matter if you start, especially in the pros because you know it's the pros. But like you know, right now it it could work, and I don't think it's gonna be too much drama if he don't start, and or if he do start. You know what I mean? I think. Wester deal with it, and he's still gonna get rotated because they already said it. They're gonna play um, positional personnel, so they're gonna try to match up and beat you on the mismatch. Yeah, I just think it's like I said. I I, I still feel optimistic, though. I may not sound like it. <laughs> I know we're like, oh my god, you're so negative. It's like I just like to think about things, like, and if I have concerns, I like to to, to um, express it. But I still feel optimistic. Like I said, I feel like we have upgraded in every single position. I'm not happy with the linebacker room, but it's better than what we had last year. Well, this off of having the season, look, this off of all season, they're better. Those guys, they're look, those guys aren't bad. That's like you being told to run a mile and then somebody is saying you can't run a mile because you didn't run a mile. But you don't practice. You haven't practiced. You haven't trained. You haven't done it. It's like they let you go and practice and train and get right and then do it. Yeah, okay, now we can go. The same thing with Xavier Weaver. That's why he didn't go to the combine. They were more graceful about it. Don't worry. get Come see us when you're ready. Last year, we didn't have that grace. We had straight fire. Get in it. It's happening now. No time for none of that. So, and they play well. They gave up 250 yards rushing and was still losing by a touchdown. And they only were rushing for 60 yards a game. <laughs> Yo, if this team practice and actually gets ready for a season, imagine how good they'll be. That should be – well, that's my mindset. But that should have been the vocal point rather than, oh, they're this, this and this and that and that and this and that and this and that. And this. No, like, look at what's really happening. Like, okay, yeah, they brought in players. Yeah, all this, but, okay, yeah, they gave up a lot of yards. And they were still in it. Like, so, how many, yo. so how many games do you think they'll win next year? A lot. 
Like if more not than all of them. More than think, more than they got on their card. So you think they can go you think they can go you go to you think they can go twelve and zero? I think they're gonna win it all. Okay. Yeah, he I think truly they're believe that. He, he thinking they're gonna win a national title. If if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's what I how it looked to me. Like if I'm they win at the national the title, we got well, a lot yeah. of money in our pocket. If they don't, hey, it's Are okay. You we will win the next one. If you place that bet now, you're gonna have a lot of little, a lot of spending change in your pocket. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, just, look, I'm looking at other I'm looking at intensity of the teams. I'm looking at the sizes. I'm, I'm not saying they're right. weak or nothing. I'm just liking what right. I'm seeing at CU. Max, what do you think? I hope he's right because I'm a bet on him. You know how on those sports bets you can do early bets, hmm. like to predict the season. Yeah. That's a how nice many, little. That's a nice some money in my pocket. How many games do you think they'll win? Lowest eight, the ceiling ten. Okay. But like, I'm just like. I want you know what I, I'm gonna I'm gonna I make mean, my prediction after the spring game and after the transfer portal closes because okay. I want to make yeah because right, I, we'll I want back to it okay. yeah I want I want to see what they look like in the spring it's game and I wanna see, yeah and I want to see who jumps in the transfer portal if there's like like Coach Prime says he's like you know get ready. And then I want to see what kind of people that we pick up. Right. And then I'm going to make my prediction. I'm, I'm with you on that. It's still early. So I, I'll say you that, know? okay, after the uh, portal close. Because if there's any major surprises, that could not, that could really change my. We, we always going to have I'm more than surprise. excited, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. so excited. It's, listen, so we got Pam McHale, Draymond Miller. Um, yeah, they're still coming, right? Green. Um, we, who else we ain't got here? Um, Will Shepard, all of these guys, Cal Cordell Stewart, I'm gonna call still Cordell Russell. Right. We are that Goldberg. is that that baby Goldberg. We still got these like that is I'm so excited. It's I really I wish I mean I hope I don't want time. It's like I don't want time to move so fast, but I want it to move really fast. Like that's where I'm at. I want to see see you go out there and just beat down everybody and prime be like did you I got did comfortable. You, did you guys get um Prime's book? Not yet. I ain't get it no, yet. Not okay. okay. Did you? Yeah, I did. I have to. <laughs> yes, I got it. I I read the first chapter. I'm it, well. Let me just say this. I got it on audibles. So. Oh, you got the audio version. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Is he reading chapter. it? Yeah, he is. He's okay. Reading. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna try to finish it this week, but yeah, it's it's so How far do you so like good. It so far. So good. So far, so good. You know. It's it's an extension of what we what you already hear so far. Okay. Yeah, and like he says, it's like a navigational system, you know, in your life to use. You know, you know how he is. He's very motivational, and he, you know, that's Coach Prime, which I actually like. Yeah, it's Prime. You know, Prime is gonna he's always gonna give you um, really good advice, whether it's life advice. You know, just I think he, you know, I may I may sound crazy, but I. Um, I admire him as messy as he can be sometimes. I absolutely admire, you know, his career, what he's done. I mean, at the end of the day, you guys, you do realize this guy's a multimillionaire. He doesn't have to coach his kids. He can go off in some island, sit with a, one of those, those drinks with the umbrellas and just chill. So, you know, more fun. you know, so I, I, I love the, and then I, you know, and he had Prime Academy at one point, and he was teaching little kids in the inner cities. I mean, he he is such an inspiration in terms of like his life and right. what he believes in, and and I, you know, and I may not agree. I'm not somewhat. Listen, I could admire you and, and criticize you in the same sentence. That's just me, but I have the ability to compartmentalize people because not not everybody's perfect. I don't care who you want to talk about. Um, but overall, I have so much admiration for him. I really do. Like I read his tweets. I, you know, I almost I go on his Instagram every day. He's always sending out good energy into the universe. And again, I don't like everything that he does. I will criticize it. You do hear me criticize it. But I, I don't know. I just really, and I even got the uh, book that he had when he was at JSU, which is really good, <laughs> really, really good. Um, that had a lot of great information about his philosophy and coaching, how he believes coaches should handle themselves. And even just recently when he was talking about, 
the education situation when a professor had emailed him about his some of his players not going to class, not studying. Right. I mean, that I, how many coaches do that? Yeah, that's the point. So when he well, it was they they put it in the movies. Look at the program, like they've been doing for, since the nineties. Like that, you know, it took the prime to come along. But you're right though, Sam. Prime has always been that little beacon of light in a time of darkness. And right now, are people in a time of darkness? Like the social look is getting like I feel you. Remember, it's how it was in the nineties, and that Prime and Jordan they had to kind of like you know hold up a, a a respect level for us. Like, hey, we still out here. But you're right. You're totally right. And, uh, you know, we all respect Prime in that nature, you know, because, you know, you got to respect the what it is. And he kept kept his nose clean, you know, especially now. Yeah, the time you're, you see the exposures. Thing. And I love the fact he doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. I I mean, golly. You know, that's – and we'll never hear that type of controversy from him. And that's right. another thing. Right. And then I, and and this is, I know this sounds crazy, but this is why I so, I'm so invested because I really want him to be successful because I know if he's successful, it's going to open the door even wider for other, you know, black coaches to walk through who don't have that traditional, you know, uh, resume that you, right. they, that you need. And that's Legend why, I, yeah, that's, it's, it's why I think it's so important for him to succeed. So I want right. people to understand. Don't get it twisted. I really want him to succeed. And just because and I don't follow do. everything that he does doesn't mean I don't, you know, pray over this man, want him to be successful, cheering him on. You know, I have a YouTube channel. I've now put up one video criticizing Coach Prime, and I will never do that. Yeah, that's what's up. You see the brighter things you know, in it. And you got to understand that you, you got channels who that's all they do is criticize Coach Brown. Like the hell, man. I ain't about that kind of mess. Right. You know what? It's like if you, if you don't like him so badly, then vlog about, put up videos about something else. Pay attention to another team. That's insane. Right. Probably. See, probably, look, the man been, he, like, I, I, like, the man been, the man been him since the 80s. Longer than most of the haters been born. How, you know how sad it is. You 24, 25, even 35, 30. You over here hating no Deion Sanders? Like the celebrity celebrity? Like the celebrity celebrity that really got a baby like the cleanest nose of celebrities? Like, well, not a lot, a lot of those guys are cool out of the way. Like, you know, Deion out of the way, out of the way. Like, wait, Deion was out of the way. He did this all on his own. Like, he didn't have to. And that's what you got to kind of like honor too. I honor that about him as well. Like a lot of these guys, you know, they did, you know, Prime, Prime got it out of the dirt, you know what I'm saying, on the, on high level. So it's like, yeah, man, you, know, you got to honor that, you know, and it, it is said, what it is. Go Buck says, drinking and smoking was fun. <laughs> well, not like that, that too, but I mean like his relationships, <sighs> like uh, controversy, like, Prime is like like none of that scandals. Like Prime ain't known for that. Like he ain't into that. Like even the ones that's you know Yeah. Like, and that's what done. and that's and that's another reason why I'm like, gosh, this is what I love How from a female perspective. Like from a female perspective, this is what I love about Coach Prime. Because he doesn't drink, because he doesn't smoke, because he doesn't do drugs, he's not gonna do any like that. What's that guy, that male guy from Michigan was like trying to have sex with the rape crisis victim, whatever, whatever. He's not going to do stuff like that. And that's what I love about Coach Prime. We will never be engulfed in those type of scandals with him. Th that's why, right. that's why, that's another reason why I want him to be successful because every time, I, I hate to be racial, but every time sometimes a man of color falls into scandals like that at a prominent position, I do believe it hurts others it's just my opinion and that's what i love right. about coach prime he's never going to make bad decisions like that oh my god i love that I right love that. something <laughs> you feel too. proud about right like yes. proud, proud finally how we used to feel back in the day you gotta finally one of them gonna, up there right never gonna let us down like that and then he and i love the fact that he, he imparts that 
onto the kids, like, you know, don't do the DUI, don't do this. So that when they, when they go off and they have fun, they all come back. Cause when you think about it, none of our, none of our kids have really had bad scandals. Like none of them. Right. Do you know, how, like, I mean, I saw that documentary of a Swamp King on Netflix with the Florida Gators, all of what Urban Myers was having to deal with back then with the guys and the, and the, and the, right. all the, all the scandals that he had to sweep under the, it was crazy. And I was like, man, I hope we don't have that. And we really haven't. Yeah. He had a lot. Uh, when he, he had started, a lot. He had a lot. He had to he had deal to with do Aaron it. Hernandez. Yeah, man. He had know a lot what of stuff. With him. Yeah. He had a lot of stuff he had to deal with. And I'm like, oh, please don't let anything. And I just, I don't, and I really believe it's because, Coach, what? How Coach Prime lives his life. Right. You know, you can't come around clean with trash. You can't come around here with all that. You better yeah. straighten up. I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Max? What? I mean. Yeah, he hasn't really had anything. He's been quiet over the years. Yeah. You don't really hear too much about him. Prime is about you know he's about his um, brand. He don't he don't mess around. You're right. You're right. About about he don't mess around when he come to his image. <laughs> Yeah, you're right about, yeah, you're right about that because you know brands will drop you if you're too crazy. And he, you could tell he trained his kids the same way. Yeah, and that's and that's another and that's another wonderful thing I love about it because Shador and Shiloh, they just seem like good kids. Oh, Sam, you remember when Bucky had said this? If you remember, he said, "Yeah, you know, it was that time when Shador had flew out to L.A. Him and um, Xavier and Bucky. He was like, yeah, Shador can put out music, but." It wouldn't look good because you know he the quarterback, so we can't put it out. Really? So that's just training. That's media training that their father told taught him. Oh. Remember how he always has to make sure he edits stuff out the videos and stuff. It's just because of uh, the brand. Right, 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 right. Because I thought he was. I thought Shador had a song out called "Perfect Timing." Did he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought perfect he did. Timing, that's yeah, that's perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, I remember that song. I think at the time, because you know, he, he can't, keeps on talking he about can't just be out there wilding out, you know, because he he potentially is going to be the face of an NFL team, you know, as a quarterback. So he can't he can't get into any um, crazy activity. And I want to read something. Thank you. I want to read something that somebody said in the chat about why I love me some Coach Prime, even though I may not sound like I do. He said, Urban Meyer used to get Tebow, Tim Tebow, to go to the bars and get players out of trouble. At OSU, he covered for coaches who weren't good people. And see, that's what I love about Coach. When I say I feel so confident that he is not, Coach Prime is not going to have crazy scandals, nor will he tolerate that out of his coaches. So thus, they will act like they got some common sense and some home training. That's a great thing. We won't have, now I will say this, you know, let me knock on one. Maybe one would just in case somebody does and, you know, you don't pull this feed up and be like, you said everybody's going to be perfect and he messed up. <laughs> so, um, but I just, I don't know. I, Cause like, you know, nothing happened last season, you guys. Nope. No scandals from coaches or players. No, like, like I'm talking yeah. like DUIs and essays and like scandals like that and arrest records. I mean, what people, and I, let me tell you something last season, even with under Nick Saban, one of his players was arrested and it was in, it hit the news media for giving, I guess, a couple of young ladies venereal diseases. He was arrested and charged. And what makes me mad about that is that didn't hit TMZ. However, when Kormani had a fender bender, which is nothing, nothing, that made TMZ. Make it make sense. Right, you know, so, you know, they, they want to keep the narrative how they want to keep the narrative. That's what makes me mad. We can never be, we can never have clean anything. We always got to be dirty somewhere. And you know, and Carmani wasn't even arrested, so why are you reporting it? Yeah, yeah you I know, was, I, was, I was, you know, like I said, you know, it's MV is real. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just, and I'm really proud of these players because for the most part. Many of them can really come undone. I mean, really come undone. I mean, you see what happens with Georgia Bulldog players. I mean, they have pretty much an entire law firm working to deal with their issues. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, they do. You know, but we don't have that. 
And I'm so super thankful. I just want right. us to win a lot of games this year, though. That's really, I, I want us to win a lot of games, and I want I want our haters to shut up. And then I really want a rematch with Oregon because I don't like Dan Lanning, and I can't stand Jay Norvell of CSU. When I say I can't stand him and his wife, ooh, it's not healthy. And I want a rematch oh, yeah. with them, and I want to win. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get our rematch. I, That's going to be an away game, too. Yeah. The Bra- I can't wait for that one. Can't wait you, for that game. Okay. Do you guys watch? All right. Do you, what do you, do you think we're going to win against Nebraska this year? Remember, we're, we're going to be playing in their neck of the woods. Yeah, we definitely you are. think so? Mm-hmm. I don't they know. Did, what? I don't know. It's I know. Why not? I, okay. Well, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be real quick. Back. They don't, is, they, they, exactly. Okay. 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 Let me. Let me. I'll be really quick. Okay. Last year, what I remember about Nebraska in that game, their quarterback was so terrible. He was horrible, and, and I thought to game. myself, "Oh my God, man, your your quarterback. This quarterback was so bad. I couldn't even see anything else." But I remember thinking to myself, "If they fix that quarterback issue, they may win." And I think they have done that because I've been they need watching. To fix their, they need to fix their O line. Well. Their O line was alright. It was like, put it this way. Their O line was better fresh. than their O line was better than our O line. That's for sure. Um, mm, not so okay. I, nah. um, really, and we, was, we had I think we, we had like I think we had like thirteen or fourteen TFLs that game. That game we had to we had the most yeah, TFLs. They, yeah, we you know we they like I said I just remember the, the the quarterback was so bad because he kept turning over the ball. I was like, man, your quarterback is like helping us. I couldn't believe how bad their quarterback was. But I remember thinking to myself, if they – because remember, they didn't start to win that – or they didn't start to really lose that game until the second half. That's when it just like – because their quarterback was so bad, the defense had to work 50 times as hard. And by the time, you know, the second half came, they just they, they just broke down. And they were like, okay. And then, and then obviously we won. But I remember thinking to myself, if they fix that quarterback issue, Nebraska may be a problem. And I think they might have fixed it because I've been watching. The O line was the problem. They couldn't block us last year. Well, they we'll literally see. couldn't block. I hope I'm wrong. They go I don't know. The, go back now and I'm watch at, the Nebraska game. And now, see how now, I'm at, now I'm at 50 50. I think them. we may still win, but if we do win, we may just eke it out. I don't know. Like I said, we are going to be going in their neck of the woods. So it's going to be a sea of red and hostility. So they said the same thing in Utah. They said the same thing in Oregon. They said the same thing. Where else we go to other places? They said the same thing. Utah, like our uh, TCU, uh, who else? like I don't think. Look, they gonna go and silence that hundred thousand packed crowd. And the one they play against Kansas, it's probably gonna be more CU fans in there and Texas. Like people expect the stadiums to win. I don't think that's gonna affect this team at all. It's just. I don't see that happening. Especially after, like, TCU, like, nah, I don't think. Shador ain't getting rattled. Like, nah, it's just not happening. Like, I you just want this. Shador to be upright. That's all I want. I just want to see Shador upright the entire season. I really want him to be – I want I want the Shador I saw at TSU. That's what I want. That's right. what I well, really, really want. He has the right protection. You're going to see it. That's, right. Crowd is for – You ahead, say, I was gonna say the when people were talking about the crowd, that's just mainly for the for the offense and the quarterback like not being able to get the call to each other. But like defense get a signal, like you know what I'm saying, always. But like but then it's gonna be call in the helmet. So hello? What are we talking about? <laughs> the crowd, you can have two hundred thousand people, he probably still hear the call. <laughs> like, okay, what's the call? <laughs> Let's go. Like, I get it. People get all into that. But. What do you guys think about ESPN not playing the the game? How do you feel about that? It's going to be on the Pac-12 network. I know, but it's not ESPN, though. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you because feel it's snow? Because of the draft. Oh, okay. They they pri- prioritize in the draft. Mm. I think, see, you're going to beat Nebraska so bad next year, people are really going to start saying they're going to win the Natty. That's what I think. I think the I think the Nebraska game people are going to be convinced. I think they're going to beat down 
uh, uh, North Dakota State so bad, they're going to make them look like a JV team. And then they're going to beat down Nebraska, and then people going to be like, okay, Prime got something going on. I see Shador throwing back-to-back like 500 yards or something, five Dang. fifties. Wow. I see back that's a hell of, Yeah, that's a hell of a – I see him doing something like that, man. I, I went Prime, when Prime said, hey, man, turn it up, make it faster. He's like, hey, man, we you – no, know, I mean everything. He's like, okay, yeah, it's time to – Two seconds, one one hundred, two one hundreds. Let's get it off quick. I think they're gonna be blowing teams. I'm telling you, I'm last year alone let me know they could they could do it when they was the first three games and then they lost Travis and then they had a game they had to play without Travis and Shiloh and then they had to come back and try to win the game and won, then got spanked. I, I think next year they won't have them little hiccups. So if they lose a player, they don't totally break down and they're gonna be ten thousand times better. And they're gonna gonna go against defenses that are nowhere near as good as what we went up against last year because every team we played in the conference was in the top-ranked defense, top 50 defense in the nation last year. And, again, I just don't see it. Them guys, in the, they're about to be amazing. Just watch. Believe what I said. Do you think, how do you think that well, now that Pat Schremer is the helm of the offense, and he clearly, he and I, I will say this about chemistry, he and Shador have great chemistry. I, they have – they have great, 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 great chemistry, which I think is extraordinarily important. How do you think the offense is going to change this year from what we saw last year? Tremendously. Everybody's going to know their routes. They're not going to be running options with Shador scrambling for his life. There's going to be way more protection. It's going to be calls through the helmet. And Shador is finally with a coordinator he's been with for over a year for the first time he's been in college. Like, he yeah. doesn't have to really study yeah, too much. And they're that. gonna like formulate some of the old philosophy of last year, and he's gonna give it his pro look at it, and he's gonna be you no know, do what he see how everybody and see Pat Shermer had a chance to really not do nothing but just scout the team last year. So now he knows everything, and then he's gonna get to know these new guys better. He's gonna see how Pat is gonna have a tremendous year. Like I just see this is gonna be one of Pat's greatest years. Like as do a coach. You, okay. Dude, I'm just thinking. Can, it's can the door. Yeah, him is the door. Last year hear, they didn't have it, so. Huh? You, you do you hear me? that sound? Yeah, do you hear that sound? That did 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 it sound? Mm -mm. Okay, it must be. Maybe it's my. Um, Wait, let me mute. Let me see if you hear it. Okay, now I don't hear it. You hear it now? No, you know what? I do hear it now. Maybe something on my end. Wait, do you hear it now? Yeah. Wait, hold on. I'm a mute. No, I don't hear it. No, I hear I it. I don't hear it. Wait, let me turn. I'm not in my headset though, so I don't know. Wait, hold yeah. on. I got my phone in my mic. How about now? No, I don't hear it. Yeah, my phone was near my mic. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I will say that's one thing I will say about chemistry that I do see, even though I said I didn't see it. But now that I think about it. It's definitely Shador and Pat Shermer. They have, from what I see, a really good relationship. And that gives me some really good positive vibes about that. I just, I just hope that, the, I just, I just, I don't know. I'm just, oh, I just want this O-line to just O-line and do their job and like make sure they protect him. I, I just- they will. I really, you know, when I what I saw last season, and I even put this in one of my lives, I just saw a really sick layer of sinister behavior from the other teams towards Shador. It was like they were trying to KI, and you know what I'm about to say, and I don't want to spell it because I don't want you to get blocked or anything. They were trying to they were trying to do that to him on the field. It was such an extra layer of evil. Yeah, um, it was it was like, how dare you? Yeah, it was just it was and then he didn't have any protection. And then that UCL game, oh, my gosh, that yeah, UCL they teeing, game. They were really teeing off on him. Oh, my gosh. I just – I get – my blood pressure, oh, my gosh. I can't I'm believe that. he lasted the whole season. Yeah. Um, He's tough, though. He's a tough kid. Yeah, you know. He's way really mad tough. I don't think he's going to get half near – nowhere near half his touch this year. I, no, I, I don't say, think so. I say I should probably get touched less than 20 times this season. Yeah, I could see that. Like way you, less, maybe fifteen uh, times. Question for you guys: So you know how Coach Prime had a—he was on the uh, Million Dollar Podcast. I actually have a video up on it, 
And I actually posted Cam Newton's reaction about how he's once he believes that Shador and Travis will go one to four in the, the draft. Do you mm-hmm. believe that or what do you think? Yeah. If if the season oh, yeah. works out and no injuries, yeah, I could see them both going in the top eight. Okay. I, I mean the top ten. One yeah, ten. say same here. I'm more like I'm a little bit more conservative. I can see them going one through ten. I don't know. I don't know about one through four because of course the season hasn't started. We have to, I'm concerned about injuries. You know, Travis plays like a trillion snaps. So yeah, now, I, I would if say one and ten. Hurt. Even if Shador get hurt, God forbid, stop a little law, he's still going to be the first pick. It doesn't matter. That's contingent upon what the other quarterbacks do. Because we could have a quarterback out there that might have a breakout season. So I think he's probably he's more if everything works out. See, it depends on because I know Jerry Jones want him. So it depends on who drafts him and if he trades up for him. I think that's what's gonna it's gonna be a trade up for him unless unless Dallas try to tank their season to try to get in that top five. Because it's all about the lottery, is like whoever get in lottery position. If Dallas is in lottery position to where they can um draft a quarterback, he'll be the first quarterback taken. But if it's another team, it depends on their wants, but they probably will take them. It just depends. I, I gotta be messy. Travis, I think Travis would be number one overall. Yeah. As long as you stay healthy. Yeah, I, I gotta be messy. Or where not healthy. Where do you guys think? What do you where do you think Shiloh will enter the draft? Be honest. He'll be he'll probably <laughs> if he have a really good breakout, a really good season, he'll be gone by day two. You think so? Yeah. Be second round. Second okay. round. Okay. Mm-hmm. Look around at the earliest. Right now, he's looking like a, about day three, but yeah, end, I was about or to end say. of day two. But I think he'll be if he if he if he just have a really monster season. I would say, I would say um, day two. Okay. Hey, I, I say second round. He day one. He ain't gonna they're gonna pick Most up Charlo, man. Yeah, he could be day one. I don't know, but what well, second round is day one, right? No, I think yeah. second round is day you two. You do how many rounds but, you do on, on day, day one? one. Round three, day two. You know what? I can find out since I got about 20 screens. Yeah, we'll see. (laughs) They do the third round, day two. I think he's pretty solid, though. If he do better than what he did last year, his body at work will be looking great for the class coming up next year. Yeah, if he does better than what he did last year, if he wraps up tackles, if he, I would like for should I would like for trap for Shiloh to gain some more a little bit more. Oh, hold on one second. All right, you said he's not going. All right, tell me which safety right now by heart is is the first. Who who's going to be the first safety um, pick in in next year's draft, Peter? Name them right now. It's not Caleb Downs because he's going to be. Uh, wait a minute, he's going to be a sophomore this year. He's not even eligible to be drafted. Wait, he's going to be a sophomore this year, so he'll be eligible for the draft. Ne- after um, next year, his junior year, after his junior year. So yeah, he'd be like one of the top. He's already like the top. He was in the top safety ranking. This like he was tied second top in tackles in the Pac-12. He was tied for the most fumbles. Tied in college football. Like, are you uh, talking anybody? about? Are you talking Shallow. about KJ? Are you talking about KJ Bolden? I'm talking about Shallow. Shallow. Oh, okay, sorry. Last mean. year he was out of. The most fumble somebody caused last year was four. Shallow tied with somebody. It was Shallow and one other person who caused four fumbles last year. What? You Caleb say Downs. garbage? I will okay. say this. I'm on the PFF website, um, and these are the top 10 for 2024. Okay, Caleb, yeah. Yeah, name them off. All right. Yeah. Number one is Caleb Downs. Number two is McCallie Starks, Georgia. Yeah, I know who he is. Mm-hmm. Number three is Dylan Thieneman, Purdue. Yep, Purdue. Number four is Xavier Watts, Notre Dame. Number yep. five is Kevin Winston, Penn State. Yep. Number eight is Xavier Noah Punkapa, Iowa. I totally messed up his last name. Number seven is Rod Moore, Michigan. Number eight is Hunter Wooler, Wisconsin. Number nine is Keon Saab, Alabama. And number 10 is Aubrey Burks, West Virginia. All right. Who is number 11? They just gave me the top 10. 
Okay, with but that list, I, with that list right there, is that for the 2025 draft or this upcoming draft? Um, I mean the 2025 draft, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Um, that Taylor is, Downs is not about to be drafted next. This year. is yeah, it's for 2025 because it says college football top 10 returning safeties for for the 2024 season. No, Caleb Downs right. is after, Caleb after Downs after is the is, next year. Okay. After that, he's 26. Those okay. guys might have two, three years left playing. The class, the, the seniors that's going to be in the draft next year, like not the sophomores. Oh, let me look. And the the. This or the or the, or the freshmen, uh, like the people who, the people who about to be looking at being drafted. I'm about to look at the and, you know. It and breaks down like a little them. bit better, but then when you when Shallow get more stats, whatever his stats will pick up, he'll have more stats in the uh, Power Five, and he'll be ranked higher. Remember, he only had like technically he only had one season in this conference. Mm -hmm. Well, two seasons now with CU. His third season, he'll be probably ranked pretty big. Or... But Ty, for first in the nation in fumbles and and, and, se and second in the nation in, or in the conference and tackles ain't bad for a safety, at safety, with all the safeties. he do all it right. again. He'd be t number one in the pack in the Big 12. He'd be, yeah, he going. All right, so here's some of the um, projected people to get drafted in the, in, well, Here's the uh, safeties for the 2025 uh, draft prospects. Now, this is subject to change. Remember, we don't know the, what season they're going to have. Things, unforeseen circumstances can happen. But as of right now, of course, they got Malachi Starks from uh, Georgia as number one. Um, they got Sonny Styles from Ohio State, Kendall Daniels from Oklahoma, Lathan Ransom of Ohio State, Malachi, Malachi Moore. Moore of Alabama. They got mm -hmm. Taki Wheatley from Penn State. I agree with that. Devonta Smith, I agree with that one. Uh, Jade Barron, I'm not sure yeah. who that is. Andrew Makuba from Texas. Mukabu. And Macari as um Macari Page. Yeah. So that's 10, right? Yep. So how many P how many players are drafted in the first round? 32, right? How many? 32? Uh, I need a, I need a for sure number. 32 players each round. Seven rounds. All right. So if there's 32 players in each round, Shiloh is looking to go by day three. Or day two. Day three. Day, day two or day three. And he already knows that. Unless he has a, unless he has a really monster season – where he's leading all these people in stats. If he's leading all the stat categories in his position, he could go on day one. That's why I'm saying we don't know what type of season he's going to have. If right. he has a season where he's the most dominant safety in college football, he'll be drafted on day one. But it doesn't right. really matter to me where you get drafted as long as you get the opportunity. Yeah, like, that's – I he totally agree. Because at the end of the day, I, you know, we could sit here and talk about this. I personally don't care as long as you get right. drafted. Because yeah. remember, Tom Brady was drafted number six. Right. Right. Well, number what? Number what six. Getting drafted? Dra Tom Brady was drafted number what? Six. Six round. Six round. Yeah, six, I thought you said number six. No, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, drafted six round. Late. That's what I meant. Six round. But Sorry. um, we don't know what these players are going to do on the next level. He could be a player that surprises on the next level. We don't know. We have to wait and see. You nope. know. Second round, third round. He up in there. Because next year he's gonna be <laughs> he gonna be he's gonna be entering. It's gonna be he's gonna be top if he if he the top safety in the big twelve, it's a wrap. He probably for sure third round, second round. No, Peter. Do. Um Peter said Shador second round. Nah, now is now, first now you trolling. <laughs> no, um, yeah, he, he <laughs> took you he trolling now. In the bad water. <laughs> God. Nah, he's first round, man. Come on, Let's Peter, man. Water, Shiloh, Peter. Shiloh is much better than you, UDF, man. Give me a break. That's the bathtub sink. Lord Jesus. No, he's for sure. For I mean, it's just um, I'm sure they've already talked to whoever they need to talk to in the NFL. It's already. I will agree as with long Peter. As you don't get hurt. I will agree with Peter when he says Shallow as as does not hurt. have Shallow does not have elite speed. You're right. He doesn't. But I don't think you need to have elite speed as a safety to get, you know, to get drafted. So. Yeah, Shiloh can run a 4-4. He can build 4-4 range. 
I don't think he can run a four four. Uh-uh. He can run a four. They never, they never told us how fast he is. I can I look see, at him. He can. Run I, a no, I can look at him too. He's not a four four. What no, the four four um, look like? With, with, yeah, put it this way. Tell you right oh, okay. Now, we, we remember, can, remember, remember when he got that pick six in uh, the CSU game, and right. the guy that was running behind him, he almost mm-hmm. caught. He almost caught Shiloh. Well, we can guesstimate on it. Um, <laughs> Xavier yeah, Weaver, what did he run? Game. Anybody know? Huh? I what thought he that? ran a. I thought he ran a four two, but he didn't. What did Xavier run in his um pro day? He, he four, ran a four four, four four seven. Okay, Shiloh is four, not four, faster two. than him. No, Ward Ward won the four, four, seven. Shiloh is not faster than him, so that means he has to run like a four or five or something. Yeah, Shiloh's not. I mean, Shiloh, pretty way, Shiloh's fast. Four, four, two but, is fast, bro. Yeah, Shiloh's fast, but Shiloh's oh, yeah, not, it is, it is I would, I, I would say he. Ha, I don't think he has elite speed. I would never. I don't think he has elite speed. So and when What's elite so speed? when so when Shiloh, Peter says Shiloh does not have elite speed, I agree. To me, elite speed is like four two, like his daddy. No, I mean no, that's, 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 that's 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 not, not human speed. That, that's that's be it. That's unnatural. Yeah, that's that's like just or like the guy three. that just ran um in the draft. That's above I mean, average. That, in the combines, he ran a four two something. That's like unheard of. <clears throat> Elite speed is anywhere between four five and four four eight. Okay, Maybe a four five two. That's elite speed. Anything between there. Four twos is like phenomenal. But That's regardless like, of what what everybody think, he's gonna get his opportunity in the NFL. He got connections. That's just reality. He's gonna get his opportunity. Now, what he do with his opportunity? That's up to him. But he's gonna get the opportunity. Yeah. And I don't know how long he's gonna stay in the NFL. That's up to him. But he is gonna get his opportunity. Remember, this is about politics too. Everybody doesn't make it to the NFL. Like everybody doesn't. I don't you could be an elite athlete and still not make it in the NFL. That's how hard it is. Only less than listen, only less than less than whatever percentage get drafted. And out of that percentage, less than that stay in the NFL. Then out of that, minus out more people that'll stay longer than three years. So someone said four you got to be the someone best. Said of four four point five is not elite speed, sir. Everyone in the NFL are elite athletes. In order for you to be an elite athlete in the NFL, but you not have everybody to at least run a four four eight or a four. And like to be like within your weight range. If you a fat boy, you low high like a low fives is cool. Mm-hmm. Elite means you're in the NFL. Every person in the NFL is elite. The NFL recruits the top elite players. Yes, but not every. I disagree. Not every NFL player runs has elite speed. Well, at least so you know. So you ha- so ha- no, no, that's not. No, so no, Sam, that's not what it's so. No, Sam, you have to have elite. You have to have elite speed to play in the NFL. That's. That's the saying. It's not well. I guess and it's I, and speed I'm, according to your position. Yeah, exactly. That's there you go. That, that's, I, I would say that beyond say elite that. speed is we can go prime. But I would I, stuff I'm, like that. I'm pretty sure, and Grandma, I don't feel like googling it now. I'm pretty sure there are some football players in their position they don't have elite speed. But no, yes. no, as yes. as toss Austin. Listen, as talk. Look, I try to listen. I know what you got to do to get to the. Pro- you got to have a fast 40 for one. You got to show you got enough speed. You got to show Max, you have you the that, elite you, speed to play believe, in the NFL. Do you believe you gotta, that every do you believe that every single O lineman that was drafted in the NFL has elite speed for their position? Elite speed for, yeah. for their position. So yeah, like they probably run gonna four nines and to, you're not going to expect the offensive lineman to run a four three. Right. No, true. of course not. But to play in the NFL, if you were on the line, you a big, big three hundred. You got if you run a four seven, that's elite for your size. That's that's like running a four two. If you run a four eight, that's good. That's elite speed for a big guy. Four nine, that's pretty good. That's elite speed for a big guy. Like five, that's pretty good. You could play. Uh, middle of the field guys, they got at least run four four eight four fives. You someone might said, get in with a four someone, six. Someone said. Someone you said, look better Jack, at four five. Every, I know I'm right. Every cornerback does not have elite speed. Every safety does not have elite speed. 
That I agree. Uh, listen, elite. Your the NFL is elite. Period. Everybody in the NFL. But is not elite. every. You but go not, from elite. Listen, you go from elite to all. You, first, you go to elite. Then you then you become a pro. Then you are all pro. I, I understand what you're saying. I heard so you. So to get I, in the I, NFL, I you, you, you have to have elite speed. We're going to have, you have to agree. To, you can't I disagree. Turn anything I into do, an argument. I do not you believe listen, that you I don't have know. to have Look, elite speed. In everyone every single, in the NFL single is single an NFL elite player. player. I'm pretty sure everyone. That there are some that do not have elite speed, but they make it up in other areas. And I said what I said. Well, you might, you might, right, right. You might have, see, look, that's what I'm saying. You have elite speed, but you have above elite speed. You have people who are once in a million. You're just moving the goalposts because you just want to argue. So, so if, 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 if the NFL ain't elite speed, what is it? Is mediocre speed? I'm done. Because yeah, media, it ain't mediocre I, speed. I, I, listen, but what this, he's saying is, like this guy said, this guy is bugging. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, if you, if and you like 250 said, pounds, yeah, you're, I know not running running. Four, four. you're not running a 4-4. You're not running at least between a 4-4-8 four, four, and a 4-5. They're not calling it elite. If you are 250, you run a 4-6, you, you still running an elite. But you getting more into above elite average when you get into 4-2. That's why I hear people say above elite average because you have an elite average, so if, which if is some, around 4-4-8. If, four, four, if, if, somebody, if somebody's a cornerback, what what should they be running if they're in the NFL? About a 4-5. Right, at least a four or five. At least four, you, four, you got at least run a four five, a, 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 like a four five two. Maybe if you run a four four eight, that's pretty fast. You run a four four seven, you're getting there. You run a four three, you're lightning fast. You run a four four two, you're blazing. Can't nobody see you. So well, I'm just going off within of the least I'm just speed. Going off of the combines, you know. The right, and they're going to say people have. If you listen, they say he has above elite average speed. Because they have an elite average and an above elite average. But look, I think we all can agree with this. If you get drafted to the NFL, you got to be good. You, you're you you're better be than fast. average. Well, let me just say this. If you get drafted to the NFL and stay longer than two years, you're better than the average human. We can all say right. that. Everybody in the as, NFL is. As, as far as comparing to their peers, then there's levels to it. There's levels to the to players, you know. Right, it's level to the elite status. Like elite, just don't they don't start. It's you elite, then you above elite, then you a pro, then you are all pro, then you a hall of famer. Like it's just don't like. In order for you to get into the league, you need elite speed. You need if you for your size, for your speed, for, you need it because you can't be average running four nines or four or five or five flat. Like oh boy, running five, he can't get in. Like if you run a four four eight, you might can get in. You run a four seven, you might can get in. You run a four five, you can get you in. You run a four four, you for sure in. A lot of offensive linemen ran that. Right. Yeah, and then I'm looking you, it up, and that's not true. Oh my goodness, you can't get in the NFL unless you run a certain speed, like, and that is the elite speed they take off of. Like, it's just not like, oh, he's elite, and everybody else is what below elite. What was Tom Brady's um time when he got drafted? If if four two low. if four two is elite, what's under elite? Like he ran a four some five point one seven. Something. Five four point seven. one Jerry Rice ran a four seven. That's not elite. He is elite though. He was elite. Yeah, but that ain't that ain't that ain't elite well, speed. Thank you. But thank Jerry you for Rice was an elite point. player though. Right, because if you. he ran a if he ran a four four, he would be elite. Oh, That's the whole point. Okay, hold on. Tom Brady, five point one seven. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. He doesn't have a league. Hey, look, he would have well, been but, but, but he made it though. He I made don't it, even right? run a five point one seven. Um, right, but Aaron, he's Aaron a quarterback. Rogers, Aaron Rodgers, four point seven one. What what Peyton, was Aaron Rodgers? That's 4. pretty good speed. Peyton Manning, four point eight. Yeah, he yeah that's, that's about good for a quarterback because you know you can run that. Oh, okay, so you're so you're mo you're moving the goalposts. Okay, whatever. I think Michael Vick was to the play. Fourth. Look, NFL in the NFL elite speed is four four eight to around four four five four four five two maybe four four two five six maybe like round up in there four sevens ain't elite speed in NFL. I don't know what, what point you're trying to make. Like anything between there is considered elite. 
four twos, four ones, Tom Brady four ran threes, a those are above elite Tom, averages. Tom Brady won a 5.17. How is that elite, even for a quarterback? Tom Brady ran a, five, a four five? That's pretty no, elite speed. No, I said 5.17. No, five. He doesn't five. run. You're not, you're not, are you, oh, well, he don't got elite speed. That don't mean he can't make it to the NFL, but NFL speed to play around like, the, you know, mainly in the NFL. But basically yeah. your whole thing is if a person makes it to the NFL, they they have elite speed. And I just proved a point. Tom Brady doesn't have elite speed, to, and yet he's in the NFL. And one of no, because you got linemen that run slow too. And oh, it's like, God. You're just, you're just, you know what you do? You're just, you're moving the goalpost. No, it's, you, you're trying to make it seem like the NFL speed, you can run a 5-2 and make it. No, you yeah, can't. You can. You like LSU a quarterback throwing the ball backing up, not right. Running, but and Tom Brady running did not make it in your, football. It depends on your position. Tom was not known as a running the running quarterback. I was you said hold that hold on, hold right. on. Let me let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. In order for you to play in and order to play, Tom Brady couldn't run in the league because he ran a five two. But you just said Aaron Rodgers ran a four seven. Which put him in the speed of the league, which is in getting towards close to the elite but speed if, of if, the league. I guess the question is: so Aaron Rodgers can scramble a little bit, a little bit, because he's a little bit faster. Of course, yeah, but the speed in the lot, NFL. Usually. But how? But but okay. My thing is: all right, but Tom Brady made it into the league running a five point one seven. That's not elite speed, right? And he couldn't run in the listen. He didn't make it for speed, but in, if you want to run around the NFL, if you want to play. Listen, if if if, if you want to be a player that runs around the NFL, in in the game during the NFL, you have to at least if you want without getting tackled, you have to at least run a four or five, maybe but Jerry four. Rice four didn't run a four or five. Well, four or six, but four. He ran a four or six flat, but he stayed conditioned. But if you want, I can say you want to run around and stay like not get tackled, like to be elite, like you have to at least run a four or five or a four or four. Jerry eight, Rice. Got, no, Jerry. Jerry it, Rice. It, it depends on it Jerry depends Rice friends a four point seven well. one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He he wasn't running around <laughs> getting away. Oh my Jerry, god, man! Jerry you know, knew you know, he had you know what you're talking about. You just like Jerry never claimed to have elite speed. You, That's the whole thing. Jerry you're, never you're said he had elite that, speed. You just proved my whole point again. In order for you to be able to break away elite speed. In order for Listen, to make it in, in the order NFL, for you to be elite speed, you said position, elite speed in the elite NFL. Speed. And what I'm trying to tell you is that's you, not you true. trying to paint, you that know, you, can you don't hang yourself up. They don't have to have elite speed. Like, that's just it other depends stuff. on other attributes you have. Like, you thank just, you. Thank you. you. No, no, no. No, you see, this made my point. She just made my point. No, I didn't make your point. You just don't know you how to do it. You just did. You just did. Thank you, Max. Like Thank okay, you. hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's all I have. That's all I'm trying to this say. His knowledge of the game made him elite. Thank you. If, if, if Jerry Rice ran a 4-5 or a 4, four eight, would he got caught? Mostly. He would have never got caught because he would have had elite speed. But he didn't have elite speed because he ran a 4 what? A 4-6 what? A four six something, so we had to use other things, right? He ran a four seven one. Four Very seven. So that's not elite speed. You said what's elite speed? I said between four four what? I said four four eight and four four five. Now okay. right there again. Jerry you ran you said it for a particular position. Jerry ran no, that's no, I said that's no, what you said you, elite. You said, that's just you elite. Said, no, I said no, in the elite. You said that, it I said on the for position. I that, said, but look for alignment. If a big 300 pounder for him to be elite, he had to run like a four seven or a four eight. That's what I was saying. And I said the speed that because because the elite speed of the NFL to where you could run around freely. So where you uh, can break a quarterback up listen, can right? run a four point a, what is no a five point one seven and that's elite. No, it's not because he's going to get tackled every time he runs the ball. But I thought you said but that in order for someone to make four, it into the NFL, they have to have elite speed in their respective category. So you're saying, no, I, I didn't say you're respective saying, category because yes, you did. Your 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 perspective just position. To, I'm sorry. Just to elite. So you're saying at five point one seven as a quarterback is elite? No, it's not. Is that what you're saying? No, you're saying that. Because he made it in the NFL, saying, and he's I one of the greatest quarterbacks. I said elite speed <laughs> in the NFL is 4-4-8 four, four, oh, and then 4-5. You, you said 4-2. 
No, I'm proving. No, you I'm proving all my point because no, Jerry Rice, Jerry point. Rice. You're okay, Jerry Rice point. ran a four seven, no, you're not and he had to run. Point. Girl, you're oh my goodness! So you mean the person that if Jerry Rice, if Jerry Rice ran a four four eight, would that not be elite speed in the NFL? Yes, but he didn't run it. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying four four eight is elite speed in the NFL. If Jerry Rice would have ran a four five, would he been elite speed in the NFL? After that's not what you said, though. Not okay, that's, that's, that's what you said exactly. You can see, no, you just, that's exactly you changed, what I you said. The that's what you're. That's no, not you just what asked, you said. You, in the you said though. four two is elite. That's I said no. That's not really elite. That's that's really you're above elite. Proving my point. I said that's above elite. I said that's above a no. No, you're trying to. I said that's above elite. Right. You're I said a four point. two is above. Just because elite. you talk louder than me doesn't mean you're more correct. <laughs> no, because you're proving my point literally. No, you're not. I'm not proving. Right, you know when you go instead back and saying, listen, you're going to instead like, of saying the least speed. Good. Why don't we say just average or above average? That it's sounds a, it's, better. It's elite and a or oh, 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 the average. Uh, well, at, well, we can go with the average speed. No averages per position. We can go with averages per position, and then just above average overall. Like um, like the guy that just ran in the combine, that's above average overall. But it, um, like, they have averages per position. You know, they have above average, the average, speed. below average. Tom okay. Brady was below average in his he, position. Listen, but if he you want other things that make him, you know, thank you, right? Max. He can I'm throw the say. ball. He yeah, we talking about we talking about speed or throwing the ball, and making plays. I'm you're talking, talking about you talking about intangible. speed. You're talking about speed. Win. We're talking about speed. So that's moving around on the field. If you want to be one of those players who can run with the ball and run around the field, you have and to be elite, you have to at least run a four five or a four eight. You know what's four, crazy? Four, though? Eight. You know what's crazy? In his retirement, he's faster than he was at the combine. He just timed his 40 speed a few months ago. He's actually right. faster now than he was when he was younger. Isn't that something? Right, that's what I'm saying. We all know Jerry didn't have elite speed because he ran a four seven. No, I'm talking about Tom. Yeah, well, Tom too. Tom pipe. It's the same. I seen a little forty yard dash. Uh, yeah, comparison. he actually is faster now in his retirement. Yeah, yeah. Well, he was super slow. Legs wasn't there. He wasn't developed. No, I but think a four, if, a you five. Are, if you are running back, of course you got to be fast. You got to be fast to be a running back. But there's other intangibles you need as well. And then, um, you know, I guess uh, safeties, you know, they have to have some type of speed, of course. Right. You so gotta there's at least a, be a I would say yeah. average above average, you know. You got to at least be a 4-5 safety. You got to at least run a 4-5-40 at safety. At least at the slowest. What about up. what about cornerback? About the same, 4-5. If you 4-6, then you might be out of there. Okay. Well, Unless Kaylin you got King. really good technique. Hmm? Kalen King runs a four point six one. And he's a cornerback. Yeah, four six, <laughs> four six is like four six one is a like almost a four five nine. So yeah, you got good. Well, technique. no, you 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 said it, and you didn't say four six. You said it beneath that. No, four four five. You want to be if you want to get a really good cornerback, and you want about getting burnt. You want to be at least run a four five. Well, like four Kaylin six. If you want to force King doesn't. One, he, he just Kalen barely, King doesn't. That, well, that's how, how he's many a quarterback. Others don't, though. And he runs a 4.61. How many, how many other ones? So, okay, so that's one. Give me five of them. Show me five right. players. He's good like with that. his technique. I, he's good. He That means he has at five. The end of the day, that's what you're talking about. At the end one. of the day, I've been saying it. I'm saying I, could, it. I could give you 10 more. You would still be, well, give me but 10 more. Four, four, give me 20 six, more. Give me 30 more. I know I know what you got to run. I play football. Like, I know the 40 times you got to run to play the spot. He's above average 4.47 he yeah. did really well in his combine 4.47 yeah that's, that's a bus like that's a lead that's four that's a league speed man we just, we just four 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 eight in between anything between there four five four five fours four five sixes could be fast too four five nines it's looking like he's talking four six ones but you want to be in there. You want to be in between. If you can get a four four seven, oh yeah, you super fast. Four four six, you can be a four three. Four three, you you above that way above elite. Like you're a super elite. You can be four two. two. That means you just I don't know right. what you, what you're on. You, yeah, you're you're alien. Yeah, like those are alien jump. Like for real, okay. we, like 
that's not that's yeah that's something else super that's unnatural. what about what about wide receivers what you mean well this some people is different because some wide receivers like wide Randy receiver. Moss like a Randy Moss, he was he had good on the field speed. He was right. faster in games for some reason. Depending on certain situations, he was really fast. Like if he Randy runs a run slant, a slant, not a slant. If he run a, a go out, you're not going to catch him. And then he also had yeah, those right. ability with his eye hand coordination. So that made him very dangerous. His eye hand coordination was actually what made him elite. His eye hand. I think it was like a coordination. I think he ran a four four three or a four four eight or something like that. He was faster in the game. He had good game speed. That's fast. You couldn't bro. really, you couldn't really, you don't really know how fast he was. In the game, he's faster. He was big man. Yeah, he speed. was he was unbelievable. I seen him play live. Right. So yeah, what about oh, like, what about offensive linemen? What did you say for them again? Like I I like the O linemen for, for, for like. Like yeah, Orlando Pace, for- that's an elite. He was fast as an offensive lineman. He was fast, and he had a good vertical. He had close to a forty-inch vertical. That's right. unheard of. So, what would you say a forty a forty-yard dash be, would be for no lineman? I don't know. About four eight, four four eight for sure. Four seven. That's super fast. Four eights. But what that's if it's fast? Over- four nines it- is like average fast for like linemen. I would say an old lineman. I would say uh, six something. Six, yeah, no, that's super. So they run in the five, mid fives, low fives. What is it, Sam? She's researching fours, four nine. Well, you know, maybe. I am right. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Yeah, Orlando, four. Orlando Brown, not elite speed, not even good speed for a 5.85. That's good. 5.85. 5. 5.85. That's not, no, that's that's not fast. That's, that's not that's not fast. They run like low fives, like maybe high fours. A really good one to run like a four seven or something. Be over three hundred pounds. Nines. That's good. No. Yeah, they three hundred four nine. That's pretty good. Four eights. That's you ain't gonna catch him running four sixes. Maybe you might catch. He you just catch Orlando four, Brown. Maybe. He just had. A, he just had other attributes because, like I said, his his forty yard dash. Because I'm reading the article, his forty yard dash was a mess. Yeah, yeah. He just, he's probably a student <laughs> of the game and probably his film and his breakdown. His preparation. Yeah, like I think, like game. if I if I'm a, if I'm an NFL team and let's say some because there's always people who don't have really great pro days. They don't have a really good combine uh, day. And but you know I'm gonna look at their total collegiate film and what their uh, combine grade is when they get there when I evaluate whether or not I'm gonna draft somebody because I can tell you even and let me give you an example our our most recent pro day um, and I'm pretty sure you guys paid attention unfortunately for whatever reason Jordan Dominic did not have a really strong pro day like his his. His record, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't standout. It wasn't that great. And I was like, oh, man. And then Taj Alston, he had a really bad pro day. I'm like, daggone. It, it, so he, I don't think he's gotten in any invites. We just found out recently that Jordan um, Dominic got an invite to the uh, Denver Broncos. But, but, but on pro day, you know who had a standout? Two guys who had standout pro days? Uh, Roderick Ward. Oh, my gosh. Who, he snapped. He became somebody he he must have channeled his ancestors because he had a fantastic pro day. He like his pro day was so good. He was breaking like he if he would have gone to the combine, he would have been the number six safety when it came to that's how good he was. And then also another person, a great pro day was Derek McClendon. And because they had really strong pro days, like by the end of that day, Derek McClendon got an invite to go to the Atlanta Falcons, and then he's got, and then he got three other interests from other 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 teams, and then uh, what's his face, Roderick Ward got an invite to go to the LA Chargers. Like they, I mean, it's crazy. So again, it's and I will say this, and the one thing I realized, and because I've been living in these podcasts, people were dogging out Derek McClendon, so I didn't think he would be that good, and no one really mentioned anything about Roderick Ward. You know, all these months I've been listening to you guys, not just you, Max, but just guys talk about the players. They were dogging out Derek McClendon. So I'm like, anyway, so when I saw him do his pro day or whatever, I was like, okay, whatever. But then he just, I don't know, he just came alive. He did great. And he did, because he did of it, really good on his pro he, day. Yeah. He did really, and because of it, 
he, and because of it, it just raised his profile. And it's so, what's so sad about Taj is Taj did a Taj. Okay, Taj oh, and Jordan close. actually went to the Tropical Bowl. Did we only had three players invited to bowls? We had Xavier Weaver. He got invited to the Reese's Bowl, but he couldn't go because of his shoulder surgery. And mm-hmm. then we got we had Taj and Jordan. They went to the Tropical Bowl. Taj did amazing at the Tropical Bowl. So much so that he he was. They had write-ups on him. That he, you know, had like an NFL scout situation, and then in his pro day, it's like, oh my god, dude, what is going on with you? We didn't, and I haven't, you haven't heard anything from him. If anything, he popped up on one of the YouTubers' um, videos, interviewing, and he's just go, oh, I really want somebody to give me a chance, and yada yada yada. But I don't know. And then of course, another thing, another person that surprised me was um, Juju. Because remember, Juju didn't, Juju didn't even play half of the season, and he got an invite to go some to, to go try out someplace. So I don't know. Charles Austin said he had he pulled his hammy. He shouldn't have ran his forty. He 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 too little to run a five two forty. They say that's they say what I say. You can't play in the league. Hello, oh, time out, Thomas. Time out. Hey, Venom. Sometimes I gotta assist people in their lives, so I assisted you since you said that. You can't get your time back. So I blocked you so that I can help you move on to another place. Sometimes you, you got to help people, man. You got to help people get out of here. Uh, so I hope that helps you because you ain't coming back. You blocked. <laughs> the poots. All right. So hopefully you can go to bed now or go to another chat. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, can't get the time uh, back. Who the fuck is he? I'm talking about he can't get the time back. Oh, my God. Then, you know, so what time me lose? Let me help you so you won't come back. Yeah, that's crazy, man. We're just talking yeah. football, people. We're just talking yeah, we football. Just sitting here, we just sit. Yeah, we, so, we we're just talking sit, the good part. Wait, give me a second, Sam. We just sitting here kicking it right now yeah. on a Sunday, and you sitting up here hating. You know on the saying? Sunday, go to sleep. Yeah. Go to sleep or go to another chat, man. Okay, since you needed my time, I gave it to you. So go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Go to sleep or go somewhere else or go watch porn. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Go wink the chicken or something. Go choke your Go chicken. enjoy yourself. Yeah, go do that. Do something. <laughs> no, every now and then, Sam, I will come alive. Well, put yourself every now, in some and then, every now and then, I will bump these gums because I'm the original yeah. gum bumper. I will sit mm-hmm. here and give you this, um, give you this attention, what you need now. So it's that simple. Go somewhere else. Go watch yeah. some porn and have mm-hmm. a good night. They yeah. trying to make the papers, huh? That's yeah, they crazy. got he, he he just wanted to be on my summer jam screen. Well, he got it. Yep. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. And it's like we're just we're just kicking it. This yeah, is the good part. Else, somebody else no one's being saying, negative. Somebody, hold on one second. Somebody else kept saying he's stupid, this and that. I'm like, who are you calling stupid? What? Somebody go somewhere else. Thank you, Slap Happy. Mm-mm. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, every now and then, some people just want to try to get my attention. Okay. But I, my, my, I, I promise you, my tongue is sharp as a sword. I will get you. So right. I ain't have to unleash the sword. I ain't do it too much. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, I don't know it's what sad, that is. Man, people just want to just hate uh, as late as it is. It's like two o'clock in the morning. You sitting up yeah. here hating. Yeah, this is. Going. And, and I don't really. Oh, uh, slap but. happy. Five dollars. Hey. Thank you, that's, slap. Yeah, th- thank you. That's good. Good for you. I don't know why, because we're talking about the good stuff. Like, and I was, and what I was gonna say was, nine people showed up at the pro day, and so far, five got invites. Five. That's good. They got invites because of the connections. Yes. Yeah. You know, because remember, remember what Coach Prime said: ninety to ninety-five percent of if you ain't gonna make it to the pros, which he was just keeping it all the way a hundred. No, so the, that's true. Like true. everybody it's can't true. make it. It's true. Right. So the but, fact that we had nine folks show up and five got invites, yeah. y'all, everybody, that that is an excellent, an excellent percentage. We should be doing series. And like I said, I, you know, of course, I would love for Taj to get in it to invite and stuff like that. But you know, it is what it is. I you knew know, somebody just, that had got an invite um long time ago. He said, bruh, I ain't know it's gonna be like that. What happened? He said everybody was just like it, he said everybody was just like on another level. He said it was crazy. Pulling the camp. 
Yeah, he said it was like full speed, like mm-hmm. times ten. Mm-hmm. He Blinking. said people just swifting by you, flash not even breathing hard. He said it was crazy. It's a flash bite in the pros, mm-hmm. man. It's a flash. Don't turn your head. You better keep your eyes front. True, we. I know that they have one. Of, I know that they two of the players had their tryouts this past weekend. For um, and I actually wished one of them, you know, good luck, and I prayed for both of them. I forget which one it was, of course, but it was this past Saturday. We won't know whether they make it or not until draft day, correct? No, um, we'll, we'll know after the draft if they don't get drafted, then some come get advice as undrafted free agents, stuff okay. like that. Yeah, we'll okay. know in the uh, uh it's, so. it's hard <laughs> to make it at that level. You know, what's his name is still trying to get on the NFL team. Remember the guy that played at Jackson State, the linebacker? I forget his name. Mm. Remember, he was with the Dolphins for a little bit. Yeah. Shoot, he's he trying to get back in the league. It's hard, man. Once he yeah. get there, you realize that like it's grown men in that league. This is so fast. If you were if you run up in that, like I said, if you run up in that four four range, four fives, low four five range, you can keep up. You can make it. If you running like 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 JD, he run a four seven, I think. Man, you got guys out here running four four. Yeah, That's a Jay, big difference. Yeah, Jordan Dominic, he didn't have, like I said, he did not have a great, pr- it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the worst. But I remember when I got his results, I was like, oh, man, this is not. Mm, um, okay. Kara, there's only going to be a few players that really, like, transition and, like, play right away. Some people, it's going to take them a couple years to develop. But Prime wants to win right now. He's looking for elite players to come in. Like, we talking about elite. He's looking for pro-ready what he's looking for is pro ready talent, like an Alabama. That's what he's looking for. He's looking for people to come in that that don't make too many mistakes. They ready to go now. And ready then go. obviously there's some players that it takes them a couple years to get to that level or close to it. But for the players he want he want to start, he want players that's ready now. He don't want to wait. Bro, I think he's gonna recruit his freshman like they're gonna get the freshman he's gonna get in, they're gonna be play play, they're gonna be on the field, man. And the guys he's gonna bring into the portal are gonna be ready to go to the pros. Gonna yeah, there's that gonna up. be some freshman like uh that Michael Welch, he's ready now. Oh he's my gosh, I am like so super excited ducking. about this. This guy really impresses me. Mm, and, and you yeah. know what? And Sam, you know what? <laughs> I'm not Sam, I'm sorry, Max. He has a man's <laughs> body. <laughs> he has yeah, a man's body. Mm-hmm. He even though he's 18, remember I used to say that I'm like, when are they gonna get their man's body? When are they gonna he already has a man's body? <laughs> yeah, some people develop right like yeah, like Jordan P. He's ready now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, he got I'm like, I'm really excited. I don't I, I you know what though? I will say this. I wanted to ask you guys this is like, who do you think is going to be disappointed? Like, who is going to be our Willie Gaines this year? Who's going to be our Colossus? Willie Beeman. We gonna have to wait and see. Oh, if you don't know yet, I we think don't so. Know until the, I, I don't think don't yeah, know. but I do. I do. We think don't know gonna, until the season starts. I do think it's gonna be somebody in that running back room, man. It's gonna be like tweeting out subliminals I by game seven. Rotate. You said tweeting out subliminals. Yeah. I really think we gonna rotate. I think we are gonna rotate heavy, man. Everybody gonna get touches. I think everybody gonna get to play this year. Like he wanted to do that last year, is that they wasn't ready. He didn't have a team that he was training all year. <laughs> he said tweeting out subliminals. I think they're gonna they're gonna rotate everybody, man. I, I like my. Oh no, I, you we, gotta, we really gotta, gotta really apologize for um, Kara. We were just answering your question. Yeah, to the best I, we know. We really got a running back with uh Michael Welsh. I, I gotta he's, say, he's, he reminds me a little bit of Anthony Hankerson, like toughness, mm-hmm. grit in his body, body shape. Um, I see why you yeah. say that. Mm-hmm. He built like a running back. That's about it. But he got way more. He don't. He don't remind me of. Hankerson seemed like he was impatient or like antsy. Michael Prime Welsh said he's Prime said he a dog though. No, yeah, he is. Michael Welsh seems poised and is patient and running with power. Like he don't. Hankerson, did you know? Do you see that like the two? Like he like Hankerson ran like he was anxious, like he was. Overexcited a little bit, like a lot of you, his. You, you know how I know he was pretty good because when he transferred, Coach Prime said, "Y'all getting a dog there." Yeah, but he yeah, got to be good. good. 
I ain't, I ain't saying he like, I'm, I'm not saying, but I mean, like, the way, like, he looked like a running back pretty much with Sam is saying because that's like the typical running back look. But, like, I'm looking at him, like, I looked at Hankerson, like, he'll, he'll get, he, he looked excited in, in, as a running back. And, like, Welsh looks way more relaxed. He's pacey and look like he helps his line. He, I could see him helping his linemen, like, get through their blocks. Like, he's, I, I can say right now, I think he's completely on a different level than, uh, Hankerson was. You're going to see this young guy right here bust 30 all the time. He's going to be something else. Straight up. I see it in his face. I said, man, he got that look. I mean, I've played a lot of the kind of players from hoop and stuff like that, football, basketball, baseball, soccer. And I'm like, I just, he, I, he struck out to me. I'm like, man, he got that look. He got that look that he, he plays. He do got the look. You know, you know, you got you know people who too. made it. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people you grant like I a lot of people I know in life made it, didn't make it. He got that look, man. He got he that look. He came in to take somebody's position. Yeah. You know how I know? You know how I know? <laughs> you know somewhere. how I know he got something that you can't teach. Watch this. Oh you remember God. it's just little stuff that I noticed. You remember yeah. when she said somebody break it down and he went and he took it upon himself to yep. break down the huddle. And everybody he did it more than once. Right, he don't smile that much. Yeah, he he there to take people position. Yeah, he he's not there to play. He's right. not there to play. He, you know what? At exactly. All. He's not just there like to what's his name? Yeah. Just like what's his name? Swain. He's not there to play with nobody. Right, and he's all not business. afraid either. He's not a freshman that you can buffalo around. He's ready to go now. Right, right. Yeah, he's that's got God his, given. That's something that him. that's something that's something that you are born with. Uh, the leadership qualities. A coach can't teach you that. That's something you got to be born with, and they got it. Yeah, they know what they're looking for. They grabbing it. That's it. They grab. They just, it's like uh, Eric Brennan got the look too. They all all the little freshmen got that little. They got that wise about them. I'd be like, but that one right there, well, uh, Welsh, yeah, he don't see nothing. And you don't hear nothing about him. You don't hear him on social media. Nothing. He's, he's got a serious disposition. Like, he he's does. a man. He's, he's like there he's to a take man. your position. He's there to he's start. A man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. he's a true freshman. He's there to start. It's like he like you could be standing in front of him and he's looking right through you. I'm telling you. Like that's why just, the, the running backs that are there, you know, they gotta stay on their game. Telling you over here. Dylan is Dylan is actually getting better. So he is not gonna lose no playing time. He's actually getting better. Right. Uh, Dylan the got that bounce now. The, the breakout that I'm waiting to see is McCaskill. Because if he's anything like his freshman year. Um, we're going to have a really, really, really good running game this year. It's going to be really good. You can right. spread them out. You see Dylan catching passes. They, it's it's going to be a high – it's supposed to be a high-octane offense. That's what I'm expecting. Right. It's, I see it. It's going to be punt. But the, with the running backs like that, man, that line, let's open up them A-gaps. Oh, man. Like I said, hey. Because Dylan, i seen that. you seen that. Please show me the play. You got that bounce. Picasso, he he always had the little bounce in him, like that little this man feet work, mad feet work, mad feet work. Yeah, we they gonna got be a really, They got a really good problem, man. I don't. I, they got a lot of good backs, right? Yeah, yeah. I would definitely say that. Right? I think for you know, like I said, I would hate to be a running back because my gosh, you got so many great. We got so many good running backs, and then we got so many good wide receivers. Ooh, we got de- we just we that. <laughs> Those that I'm excited about, like, and I would say I'm excited about the O line. I'm just mm, secondary. I don't know. We'll see. The secondary, I'm not worried about. Um, I'm not worried about them at all. I just, you know what? I guess my, like I said, I have just, I just, and I know this is football, but I hate the fact that these guys, no matter what, are going to have injuries. I know it's a fact of life, yeah, like breathing, yeah. like breathing. It's a fact of life. Yeah. But my gosh, when our when our when our first round goes down, the secondary yeah. I, they're just never as good. I hope I that know. don't happen. Like it's a long season; injuries happen, but <sighs> we got enough injuries, injuries, injuries. Yeah, we injuries. need them. We get like three more. We we'll be all right. Like I said, we only, we only lost two old linemen: Hankers, uh, Wilk, 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 uh, Wells, and Tank. And uh, who else? That's it. Everybody else came back. So we got three. We only need two to add five there. I and the linebacker in. left, too. No, we, we got three. We lost three O linemen. We lost the linebacker. Three? Who too. else started yeah, we, that? We lost. 
Um, I know we lost because I know we there was two that jumped in the portal, and there was one guy that I just did a video on when he left. God, I don't three. even know his name. Yeah, so it's three. I can find out. Give me like less than five minutes, and I'll tell you who he is. So I'm gonna yeah. go to my um from the who was starting. Yeah. Um. Let me just. You talking about Van Wells? Van no, Wells. Van, no, Van Wells went into the transfer portal last time. Let's see, this Van is, Wells tank, is, and then um, what's his name left too? Um. Oh, uh, Bailey. Jack Bailey. Yeah, Jack Bailey left. He was starting. Yeah, there was another feel. guy that left. There's another one. Um, I can't think. I just thought it was three. Uh, it was another one that left. Bailey too. and um. No, you're oh, yeah, you're thinking wasn't. about you're thinking about uh, Cash Cleveland who had who committed but then decommitted. No, Cash no, Cleveland Cash is there. No, not Cash Cleveland. I'm sorry. This is another. Sorry, sorry. I'm not meaning to be racial. It was another white guy that had committed that O'Boyle got, but he decommitted. And he went to, I think, Ohio or, or something like that. That guy I remember because I used to follow him on um, social oh, media. Uh, and, when he, and when he decommitted, I'm like, well, I'm no longer. And then I get a little petty. I'm like, well, I'm, not, I'm no longer following you anymore. And he was, it, anyway, I was petty, whatever. Wasn't that Bailey? You talking about before Bailey? the season started? Yeah, I thought Bailey went to Northwestern. No, he had already committed to us, mm. and we were excited to have him. And I forget his name; it was some white guy. Um, but he had decommitted. I think people had just gotten to his ear. But like, we got how many? We brought in how many new tackle? I mean, how many linemen? Offensive linemen we brought in ten, eleven, or something like that. Eight. So that's, that's three, and then that's five. That's two deep. I'm just trying to find this guy's name. Sorry. Where is that thing that I said about him? The leaks on my, is on my Twitter. But oh I God, think he's gonna bring in. I think he's gonna bring in like he's gonna bring in some people right now in the portal. Gonna be linemen. So I think he's gonna bring in some linemen in the portal. Bring some size in. Fifteen leaving. All right. That's my guess. Damn, what's his name? Got some good offers here. Um, Jeremiah McCrennan. Oh, thank you, Peter. It was Chandler. Right, yeah, he, Chandler, you're right. It was Chandler. Peter, you're you're right. He got an offer from um, Appalachian State, and he got an offer from Georgia State. Chandler went to Mizzou. He got the defense. offer last minute, and it was his dream school. Yeah. Well, it wasn't his dream school before somebody, uh, because like I said, I was following him on uh, Twitter, and he was tweeting like crazy and trying to get people to come to um uh to the school to Colorado. He was working for us, y'all. He was on board. And then I just yeah. think that I just think it was the Jason Whitlocks and that whole crowd. You know, it was a kind of like a crescendo last season. And I think it just got into some of these people's ears and stuff like that. It was a blessing. Blessing in the skies. Cause now we could get what we really needed. Instead of the people who was half stepping, now it's, it's like way more. Why not? Because the staff is amazing. I'm just like, good God! If I was in high school, this off man, I'm 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 going. I'm like what? I'm what? Come on! I, I I have a really good feeling about him getting this recruits, but I think I think he's telling him not to. I don't think he want like somebody. Said, I think Webb said it earlier. Like he don't want people to. Uh, who said it was Webb? Or, I forget, but they said. Uh, Prime might not be wanting them to sign so early. Just the fact that you know the whole drama behind the whole year of waiting to really sign a letter of intent, you know. Yeah, I think it's kind of. I totally agree with Prime with that. Like how he said, these these kids can't even be faithful to their old girlfriends. <laughs> right, right. He's so right. He's so yeah, but it, right. it works both ways because he got Travis to flip so. It works it, both ways. It, it's yeah. gonna happen to him. He's gonna have players that's gonna flip. Yeah, right. and, and hopefully he flip more than the people that flip on him. That's the game. The game is different now. Right. You're gonna have players that flip. Right. And the, and the longer you have them, the more chance you got at them flipping. Yeah. He just hope that he get more than the ones that do flip. Right. Or just like just be cool with the ones and don't even really press the commit. Like man, you can come. We could be that right there alone is going to have people want to come play. They more they get around, they get around that team. They gonna be man. Come on, look at that team. Like man, look fun, excited, energetic. 
you got great people there. You got good relationships you can bend. Come on. Like, I don't even know what other college could even, like, I mean, yeah, see you, but see you, that pass is done. That's like, you really being toxic right now because we in a whole different land. Nah, oh, man. It's something different now. The environment is definitely different. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I got a crazy question. So now that Nick Saban is no longer, you know, Nick Saban or whatever, do you think Alabama is going to be as successful this year? It's going to be interesting, Sam. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, it's going to be the first year without Saban. It's going to be like, who do you think could really do that? Who could like? Well, of course, Bama could still be Bama, but like that look, that 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 saving category, that class. I don't know, man. I just it's gonna be a wild ride to see if they're able to hold it all together. Mm -mm -mm. Who's that, Bama or CU? you? Uh, Bama, Alabama. Kayla, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be. I mean, yeah, don't, don't get, don't, they're not going to go to the bottom or anything. They're not going to like all of a sudden lose every single game, but it's oh, going to be really Sam, interesting. I, I forgot. I, I, got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. Because I know um, what, what what's the record this year? Because I know when you said before the other defensive coordinator, you said it was going to be like four games. What do you think now? Um, Five. Five? No. You <laughs> still okay, coming up here with that five. That's an improvement. I did say four. So now I'm saying, but but I will say this. I really want to see what the spring game looks like. <laughs> and then I want to see. Oh, I want Sam to, might be the op. Yeah, but, I, but, I, but I'm, I'm conservative, man. I'm conservative. Like, I want to see who's going to jump in the transfer portal, who we're going to get. And but Sam, then I'm going to really Sam, see. Sam, five yeah. games. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, yes, but Vegas, Vegas has them at 5.5. I'm not talking Vegas about drunk. They I'm get talking about your, your your you. So you saying five? Okay. Yeah, I'm saying five right now. But that, Vegas but done me, at five but and me, a half. But let me just say this: just because I say five right now, I have the I have the option to change. You know, of course. like I say, when it, it you never know. When it comes to August, I'll be like, okay, I said five in April. Be now that I see what I'm saying. Damn, even Peter I'm said like, six. He he got Peter, he got I two think six. Okay, well, Sam, you got you got the week four. Wow, man, Peter saying days. six. Whoa! No, Peter saying six. I can't believe. Yeah, I see it. He's saying six. Wow, Peter. I'm saying five, but I will say this: it can move up, you guys. Just because I say five oh. doesn't mean it won't. But oh. I, I, I like to be conservative. So if, if we only win five games, I'm not like everybody else, you know. Well, I'm not wanting you to be like everybody else. You know, you, I respect your opinion. So yeah, you said no five. Okay. Yeah, but I will say it could change. Like I said, I want to see. What they look like in the spring all right, game. All right, here's my next there. question for you. Okay. In order for that record to change, what, what needs to happen? Uh, I want to see the spring game. I want to see who jumps in the portal. And I mm -hmm. want to see who we're able to get in the portal. And then I want to, like, I won't make a more definitive, like, etched in stone until, like, August, mid-August, right before okay. the season starts. And then okay. I'll be like, all right, you know what? I've watched the practices. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. And I know I said five in April, but now I'm at eight. I will say this. This is my personal opinion. We have, just like I believe last year and still did, we had enough talent to get to a ball game. Mm -hmm. The reason why we didn't get to a ball game was because the coaching was so bad, in my opinion. I would say right now, we have enough talent to win eight games, maybe even nine. Okay? Mm -hmm. But... I also think that the coaching I'm very concerned about. I'm very okay. concerned about the coaching. I know everybody knows. I mean, I've, I've put a video up on it. I'm not a fan of Robert Livingston. So okay. what I'm, I've put a video up on it. I'm not a fan of him. If you've been listening to me, you know I'm not a fan of him. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Okay. I think yeah. it's going to be, they're going to outcoach everybody. But again, I think that, you know, we do, the, just forget the coaches. Talent wise, we've got enough on the team to get to eight games, hands down. Forget the coaches. Now, when I add, when I factor in the coaches, I'm sorry, that's when everything goes to five. Okay. 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 We'll see. We, we'll we we'll come back to this. You say August? We'll yeah, come August. Back. By August. training camp then. Okay, because their first game is August 31st. Yeah, I said mid-August. Okay. So, and like I said, I... Or you know, do you want to wait to after their first, their second game? Maybe the first or second game, but I might be able to make a decision in mid-August. You got, you got the game, too. Yeah. 
You know, All right, I, let me I, read the game too. Because again, like I always, like, unlike a lot of people, I always believed, not all a lot of people, unlike some people, I always <laughs> believed in the players. Even last year, I always believed in the players. Every time I criticized, it was always on the coaching. I feel this, Max, I feel as strongly about that this time around. I'd, the players, I feel like we got enough talent to get to eight games. My concern is the coaching. Mm. How? How could, like, how? I see. It, the, me, I was like, I'm like, I'm like, well, Robert playing Liv- the play Robert, football. Robert, like, Liv- football, Robert like, Livingston has never been in DC. 40 years. He's called a play. And I got to tell he you, he called plays giving, all the time. Like, he's ne- like, never, never called a play like this. He's never, I mean, he's doing the game. He hasn't been in college, co- college coaching in like over 10 years. The game has changed. You know, I just, I'm not, and even when I see him interact, I'm like, he's just not giving me alpha male energy. Mm. And I, I hate to say that, but he's- You want alpha male of an alpha male. Yeah, and I, and like, I remember, like, okay, 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 a couple, about an hour or so ago, remember when I asked you guys, I go, does he, and I said, this is a dumb question. You want somebody this, like a Dom Capers. I, I I'm want a, a, yeah, a, as an ex player, to speak as an ex player, energy. he's cool as a coach. Well, we'll see. From come from coming from an expert, you want somebody like a, a, sports. a coach Shula up in there. I don't know who that is. Right, like uh Bill Sh- uh Bill Belichick wasn't like he was laid back. Like he just like tell you how it is. Belichick. Like sometimes, you know, I had my defense like my in college, my defensive coach, he was laid back like that. Like, mm-hmm. hey, you do this, you do this, hey, do there this. There you hey. go. Someone said it best in the chat room. Kara McClure stop bringing alpha male energy. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Sap, yeah, he's, we got enough. Sap coaches. is a man. He's well, you a, know, he's a different he's kind of person. A he's a defensive he's like a, lineman. They, he's they an different alpha people. male. He takes charge. He's going to tell you how it is. I mean, right now, I almost felt like he's running practices on the defense. He's like he's a man. Like I can't even describe. You want your but, coach? Look, see, that's not that's not the the DC. Why would the DC probably most like I don't know be in the booth, but like. It's like, yo, the defensive coordinator ain't gonna be the one pumping you up like your uh position coach. Like he out there working with no, him, getting it's not involved even that. with him. It's not that. It's not that. It's just how Sap is carrying himself. Like he's not just. I'm not talking him being like hey, a bro. motivator and cheerleader. It's how his energy yeah. is. It's like he. I, I. It's like I'm a woman. Like he. He's a man. Like he hey, is a straight hey, up. Kara, yeah, he did get me psyched up. Warren Sap, seeing how. He's in them players' face, like, yeah, come on, big dog, let's get it. Put yes. your technique up, big dog. I got you. Yeah, he's gonna wheel them to the draft. He's he's like ushering them into the NFL. Some of them, he's gonna talk. He's going to. I don't know which players gonna be. It's gonna be at least two of them. He's gonna usher them into the next level. He's giving them the keys. Yes, he is. You can see it. His presence is being felt. You can see it. I yeah, see about four of them linemen going to the pros. And Man, versus, versus, gonna get and him versus there. Robert Livingston to me just seems weak. He just hey, um, Sam, like, I'm I'm like I'm like uh, tickled that you are paying attention to Livingston. You really zeroed in on him, huh? Yeah, he just seems like he's weak. Like a I don't want to say a punk or anything because he's not a punk, but he doesn't seem I don't know. He doesn't seem take charge. He doesn't seem like uh, he seems really like he's very punctual. He just seems ugh, I don't know. Just like, like a cool DC. Uh, and again, I mean, who knows? Like, this is so early, you guys. I mean, he could come alive or maybe ch- or do something that I'm like, you know what? I said what I said, but I was a fool and I changed my mind on that. He is what I, th- I mean, everybody has different styles just because someone is not uh, charismatic and like Coach Prime and Coach Sap. And, you know, not everybody has to have that type of energy or whatever, but. I just don't, he just seems meek to me. Is he going to be able to overcome bad decisions some of these position line coaches are going to be able to, that are going to make sometimes? Is he going to be able to take charge when things go wrong in the game? Is he going to be able to say, hey, I'm in charge. We're making this call or whatever. You're already saying that. I don't know. He said, if anything goes wrong, it's my fault. He said, when they do good, it's because of them. I'm going to have to rock with Livingston because that's what we have. Like Nate said, let's be patient because. He's the guy. He's the guy in charge. He's the play caller on the defense. Man, he them them look them be them dangerous coaches like that. The one that's be like that, talking to you straight like that. Hey, I want you to do this. Hey, I want you guys to go out and fly around. Hey, I want you to do this. 
hey, them be the the coach be, hey man, why you here? We we they don't even be probably just mad because what they did was wrong and they screaming at you because <laughs> like he, right. Peter says he's meek like Mill. <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't call him. No, no, no. See now y'all capping now. This man is a professional. See, because in the pros, he he trying to get him. See, you would think that people see that's a, that's the thing. People would think that yeah, coaches do holler at you, but you know it's not all the time. Though they be screaming at you cross field, but like when they talking to you in your face, they just you know especially in the pros, it's more respect. It's a more mutual respect thing going on. It gets more mutual when you get into the pros. So he just giving them that because. If you go back, look, think about this. You ever remember when Fisher cut that one player from from Tennessee Titans? Remember how he brought him and said, "Hey, man, talk to you for a minute." He said, "Hey, what's up, coach?" He's like, "Hey, man, you know you uh, you broke the rules, right?" He said, "Yeah, coach, I know I did, man. You know I, I didn't mean to have her over. You know I, you know." He said, "But you know the rules were you can't have your girlfriend at camp." And he's like, "Yeah, man, I know." And th- that's how it is. Like at a certain point. What am I hollering for? Because you know what to do. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a mindset thing that's taking place, and people want to see the rah rah rah. I get it. It's good to have that. We got saps. We got those. We got those. But from certain points on the field, you want to catch that from those players to hold that so. uh that rank. You see what I'm saying? If you rank, you the top rank, second rank. You shouldn't be hollering at players too much. Hey man, if I'm hollering, hey you better listen. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, if, if you hollering all the time, who's going to take you serious when you hollering? Yeah, but you don't have to holler to be an alpha male, though. You just have to have a presence and energy. I just don't, I don't know. I th- But I also, I also will, I will also confess that it's way too early for me to, to, to really put that placement on him. Like, I, you know, I need to continue to watch the practices, see how he, you know, interacts with the players and the coaches. And of course, none of this means anything until game time. Because again, we started off great last season, and then, you know, things things happen the way they happen. So yeah, I blame that from the lack of off season practice. Because you, you just you just like TCU. I see that's why I said TCU shocked everybody so well because they had a whole month to get ready to prepare to plan just for TCU, and to like really just plan for that game and not really learn their offense. And so when they came out. And they blew out, well, not blew out, but they banged on TCU. It looked really good because they knew what they were doing. So that let me know if they know what they're doing, they could play really good. And then as the season went on, as they were learning, they put Mary Max, I was saying, man, they, not, they don't know they play. They learn they play as they go along and they're making adjustments and they're messing up. It's hard to do on the fly because you miss all your season, all your, your, your spring, because that's when you learn your playbook. Now they learning all their playbooks. So now by the fall get here, they're gonna be able to really run really fast because they're gonna know most of their playbook. And then they're gonna start to adjust to their playbook and learn it more during the season. So is this gonna be way faster, way better? And next year you're gonna see more games that look like TCU because you won't have the lack of experience running plays and being together. You have more of that and be able to add on to what you need to beat teams, and it would be a whole less learning throughout the week. Instead of you learning the playbook, learning the play scheme, and then learning the adjustments to the other team and how to make those, it's way harder than, you know, you just knowing your playbook and then coming to the season and then making adjustments. Like, this is way harder. This yeah, year, I, I will say one thing that Robert Livingston did say that I was impressed with. He said that the playbook is going to be less complicated this year. So I right. was like, okay, yeah, that's that's good. Because right. obviously it was pretty complicated last year. And I think I think it was Cameron Sobern, Craig, one of them basically said that, not at the same time as that guy, but said it in another thing that I watched. He goes, yeah, it's a lot easier this year. So I'm thinking that's going to help. As it translates. And again, I don't expect the DC to be a hype man and be all up in people's faces and stuff like that. It's just, uh, I mean, who knows? I don't know what I'm seeing exactly. And and I want to say this, people, I have a right to change my mind. As new information, you know, if I as I as as I input new information, I'm not someone who just is very rigid. You know, I don't do that. Just because I say something today doesn't mean 
three months from now, I may may change my mind. I just think it's people, I think sometimes people have a very difficult time, you know, hearing sometimes women express things that, that they don't agree with. They freaking freak out sometimes. It's like, oh, we just don't agree. The world ain't going to end. It's okay. Just like tonight, like we disagreed on some stuff, but we also agreed on a lot of things. But I think that right. people caught up in, oh my God, a woman is arguing. Why is she arguing? She needs to be quiet. It's like, you know, I, I sit back on these podcasts and I see guys cuss each other out, <laughs> especially when I'm on Raw. <laughs> I wouldn't consider that an argument. They, we were just trying to prove yeah, our we're, points. We're exactly, but you, the chat is like coming undone. I'm like, it's okay. We just we're disagreeing. We're adults. It's okay to disagree. Right. This is America. We we can. I don't hate this man, you know, and he doesn't hate me. And the world is not going to end. World. You know what I mean? <laughs> some well, some people like to you know go at it. It's not wrong with that if that's the way it's set up. Yeah, you know. it's like it's a different style. Like some people like to really go at it on the panel, you know. It's just yeah. a different style. I mean, you know, I mean, we all know how TV goes at it, right? <laughs> I like T. I like TV's. Um, <clears throat> no, wait a minute. I like TV's. Um, oh God, yeah. He's TV, putting that work in. I like what he's yeah, doing. T- yeah, TV. TV goes at it, man. He, you, you don't play. The big gonna um, tell you what it is. Yeah, you know, it's. Just, and, I, and I, I've always never had a problem with people having really strong opinions, even if I, even if I disagree with you adamantly, because we're not the same. We're not the same person. We look at life. We right. go to the same movie, sit next to each other in the movie, leave the movie. I love it, and you hate it. Right. I mean, I don't mind if you think like me. Wow, that's amazing. But if you don't, no problem. Exactly. That's how hey, I feel. Sam. I don't know if you ever remember uh, Dick LeBeau. But he didn't really have that fiery style either. I mean, he was always in the um, – he wasn't on the sidelines during the games. He was in the um, booth. So you never really saw him, but his presence was felt, though. He's right. one of the best to do it. Dick LeBeau, uh, Dom Capers, um, Bill Belichick, Andy Reid. These are like the the, t- the top dogs. Um, the coach from the no-name defense from uh, my, uh, Miami. What was it, Walsh? These guys are legends. They they really didn't make too much noise. They were quiet. A lot of them were like, but Dom Capers was quiet, but he'd be in the booth. You never really see him. Well, let me so ask we're going to wait and see how this guy um, turns out. Right. Well, let me ask you all both. And, I'm, and I'm, it's a serious question. What has he done so far that has impressed you? Max, you go first. I don't, I don't, what, with the coordinator? Yeah, DC. I don't know. I'm not at practice. I don't know. Okay. What see, about you? see, the, like the, the, the videos oh. that we see is not telling the full story. So maybe I don't know what he's telling them in the film room. I don't know. But we're getting ready to find out. We're getting ready to find out during the um the season. All the right. questions will be answered during the season. Well, what would you what let me ask the both of you, what would you consider a success? Last year, out of 133 defenses, <laughs> we were ranked 127. I would mm. so what would what's your expectation? Do you think we should improve by 20%, 10%, 30%? Like what would you consider a success? I would say a 40 a 30 to 40 percent um um increase is good. Okay. We need about 50, 50 to 60 due to the with the improvements. We yeah, should be looking well, maybe a hundred percent, really. Like tell you the truth, a hundred percent. In what Let's, aspect? You mean the run game a, or stopping a, the run and what, like what aspect? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Tackling, covering, sacks, getting more sacks. Assignments. Yeah. Of course, the sacks, stunt schemes. Like, I've seen so much, so, and so little already. Like, it's like, wow. Like, I'm already, I'm telling you, like, the, the way he got the line stunting and how he's concepting, how he's moving the DBs. And like, I'm liking how they playing a single high, he's showing the coverage. They want to play right. And uh, I think they're going to be a whole lot better just on the simple fact that they get you, to practice the whole offseason. You know who it's going to come down to, though? It's not going to come down to the coach. You know who it's going to It's going to come down to the players. Are they willing right. to put that film study in? It's going to come up to them where they're going, how successful. It's up to the players they have. They're going to learn the playbook well, now, that, bro. That the, That's the question I have for you. So let's say they only improve by 20%. It's still an improvement. Do you, how much of that is the coach's fault versus the players? What percentage? 
I will have to wait to see how the season. It'll be on the players because twenty percent wouldn't. Yeah. Because what they did last year, like the players wouldn't be playing right. Like for them to be get fifty, the players are playing up to par. For them to be playing at a high level defense, top fifty defense, they had to be a hundred percent better. Like it would be top fifty. That'd be a hundred. That'd be a hundred. Yeah, you success. need personnel. You got to so have personnel. You, so, but you, so you're saying that if I mean, we had a Dom Capers, but we also had a Reggie White on the team. So you need the you need the personnel there too, right? So do yeah. you the think players got to come through. Do you think that that we have the the right play personnel to get us to a fifty percent improvement? Oh yeah, the, the the players zip the players alone. I'll say is fifty percent. Yeah, the, the receiver the receiver core we have is enough. The receivers, the running backs, of course. Well, the, 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 the I'm, core. I'm, talking, I'm talking about defense. I'm talking about defense. oh defense. Do you, do you think we have enough personnel to get us to fifty percent improvement? Max? Um, oh, I thought it was like, what happened? You said 50% improvement? Yeah, 50%. Do you think we have enough? I, I can't answer that question I until do. the game start. You I do? I don't know. Okay, okay. Man, look, See, here's got... the thing. I don't know what the players are going to do until game. But can starts. I say this? All right, this is this is my concern. Because I'm not at practice. I can't answer that press because oh, so I'm we not got at like, Well, I can. I, I am. Know. I'm, I'm asking. I'm going to answer it. This is my personal opinion. I'm realistic. If we can get to a thirty percent improvement, I'll be pleased. So nope. that means if we if we go from being one twenty seven, which we were last year, to go to maybe like ninety or eighty five of defense, I'll be okay with that. I'm a conservative. I I can't do a big jump because I don't want to think that you know what we you know I don't I don't 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 try to sell me something and, and you know you ain't got the money or whatever. I don't like to be oversold. I like to be undersold. And then you know, over delivered. That's Surprise. just me. That's how I roll. So, I and I will say this: in the event that we improve thirty percent, for mm -hmm. me, that will be enough. If we don't improve thirty percent, then I am going to look at the coaching. I will be looking at the game scheming. Did you know? I know every because I can, I can be where I'm supposed to be. But if if the game scheme and the game plan ain't going right, that ain't my fault. I need to know that. Because he's working with Coach Hart, I need to know that you won't be getting personal foul, foul, uh, fouls because of substitution issues. That's not my issue. That's a that's a coaching issue. I need to know that you know how to um, <clears throat> take timeouts when we need to. Because in Stanford, second half, which was a SHIT show, there was no timeouts called. There were other games that they didn't use timeouts appropriately. And they also didn't have clock management very good. That's not a player issue. That's a coaching issue, which impacts, guess what, the issues of the game. I also need to know that in critical periods of the game, you don't always try to put the game on Shador's back, especially as the season wears down where he's not as fresh and he's not as, you know, he's not going to be able to make these great, unbelievable plays. So, again, I, like I said, Sam. you know me, I'm more players than I am coached. Sam, you might have to throw all of that out the window. I think they're going to improve on all of that just on the simple fact of that's kind of like how you look at getting better. You want to see where you made your mistakes. And I'm pretty sure Prime's seen a lot of mistakes that was made coaching. And I think he put that out there too. And I, I have supreme confidence and trust that you're going to have a way better play call and rhythm next year just on the simple fact that the offense is going to be mainly controlling the ball I, I see next year. And the defense will be, I think, will be just about as good because of the way they're they're flowing now within practice. And, like, when you learn how to really control the game on the offensive side, it makes it easier for the defense to take, dictate how long the offense out there in practice when you're playing. So, like, a lot of that stuff, all of the bad coaching, the plays, whatever, that's gone. This is a whole different regime, you know, and I'm pretty sure – the play call is going to be a whole lot smoother, and I got that hunch when when Pat took over, and he really paced the game. Arizona, Arizona game, he paced it. Utah, he paced it. Even to where they didn't even put up their average amount of plays. You know, he just paced the game into keeping them close. I like that. I looked at those certain things. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Um, but what I do say is them being able to learn their playbook before the fall is automatically giving them, I'll give them 30% just off of that. 
just knowing your defense before before you get in there in the summer. That's that put them ten links. Well, that put them maybe a hundred leagues in front of what they were last year, learning their defense maybe throughout the season, which was like, who does that? Then them being able to train and practice their tackling, which they had trouble with last year. Then being able to tackle, I said they're going to at least get their tackling up to to the sub level, you know, to where they are able to tackle the people who are out there instead of, you know, they're missing a lot of tackles for them not being, you know, just routine tackling. Um, I see a whole lot better there. Then if I look at the people they brought in, I can look at the class of people who we had last year compared to what's going on now. I can easily tell you that the competition has risen and the players we had last year, the players we brought in have gave us a lot of addition to what we had last year. And I get a player, you know, I say ability levels on defense are getting probably like another sixty percent because we got wow yeah because you know we got we, we we remember look you see how DJ McKinney looked right and he played in the Big Ten right I mean Big Twelve right he's a uh, freshman this and all of that you know so when we got players like that and we can see the skill handicap within the team now. You know, and then you got Benson over here. He did this in the Big Ten, and he's kind of still doing it here. Okay, so and then you know over here, do those 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 doing okay? Uh, Oakland Noah doing his thing, same still blowing stuff up. Now we have these guys doing what they you know like they we got our guys picking it up. So you can see the talent picking up. You can see the talent added adjusting to the handicap and picking that up. So I could say for sure, talent-wise, we didn't double because what we lost on the defense has just only got better, and we added way more talent. So on a percentile one to zero from today, I'll give them 80 for sure because it's 80 times better than what it was last year just on the simple fact that they're practicing and knowing what to do. and They have way more better people and depth, way more depth. And, uh, yeah, I, I give them a whole lot of success off of already. They're They're – from last year to now, yeah, they're 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 really doing what you like. You can't really get like you know within well you can, but you know I'll give them that because what happened last year was yo nowhere near success. This year, a lot of success, a lot of you can see a lot of the upgrades really being like even uh Preston Hodge, man, Preston Hodge and or Marion Miller and them, they're going they're getting their little rival thing. And I think Prime is pushing that because you know him and. Him and Coach Phillips got to have that little, you know, in practice, man, who your rival, man, who going to get you better. So, then you got, he's a really good player, too. So, it's like, we got a lot. That's improvement. And then we bringing in some more guys. And this is like, the more time we have, this is going to get sharper and better and better. And when they get to a point to where those guys go out there and do what they got to do, it's going to be tremendous. I see it happening. Because they're not trying to mess up. Did and you, I'll give did, them 100%. Did you say the... Um Transfer portal opens up at April the fifteenth. Yeah, the fifteenth. Oh, like oh, in a week. Yes. Okay. Wow. In a week. Wow. Yeah, we probably lose about fifteen. But like you got, like last year, it was like we're we're looking at it like they had a whole year to get ready and they didn't. Like, you got to keep that in mind. Like, that's just like you coming off the couch playing a basketball game and beating people that's been playing basketball all year, like. That's not about to happen. Like you got to at least go practice and then come out here and play against us. Like these guys, and they did that, and they did pretty darn good. They did really good. Like not too much on the stop and the run part because they couldn't tackle really well. But you know, in passing, I mean, it was pretty good. But the blocking, not so well. You know what I'm saying? So those things you could work on, and working on that, and establishing that, like really, really. And knowing your offense, like they know they're they're learning the offense. They they understanding what is what. Like yo, this was missed, and I get it. People really not taking a look at that. And when you just add that little factor there, that's a tremendous yo. And the April, talent is April, April sixteenth through the thirtieth. Okay, April sixteenth. Right. So you are you are, you are only a day off. April sixteenth. They coming through the thirtieth. How many you think gonna come, Max, in the portal? Oh said, man, oh. we're gonna see. I think it's gonna be some players uh, definitely coming. We're gonna see. You already know. Yep. 
I think so. I just don't know which schools. I I, I really do. I really do believe some more are coming. Well, I hope there's some good linebackers up in there. Linebackers, you said? Yeah. What else you think? Linebackers? Um, more D linemen or what? Offensive edges. Line. Need more depth. defensive edge, yeah. Um, sorry, I'm writing an email. I apologize. That's crazy. You got Daly is Thomas there now, bro. Mm. That Raven, like this, those was like the defensive scientists, bro. Like those guys, bro. Big ups. Yo, they about to get I, I don't I think it's about to be like a couple flips happening. I don't know. I'm just seeing some flips happening. And I don't know. It's just like, bro. We get any more talent. We're like, what are we looking at? Like, what are we looking at now? For sure. How could you not say at least floor 10 and 2? Ceiling natty. Like natty bound. <laughs> what you talking about, man? I don't see him having nowhere near the kind of season they had last year. Like, not one bit. Uh-uh. Do, you th- do you think Jace Feely is going to enter the transfer portal? I don't know. The I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, the punter. I don't think so. You, you think so? Oh no, because you know he lost his job last year to Mata. He's a kickoff um, person. Oh, he he's going to the league as a punter. Kicker. You think he's going to go to the league with all those missed punts and whatever he did didn't do last year? Please. No, he did. did it. What do you mean? He was punting like crazy. He was like conference running. No, no, you talk, he, you know, she talking about Jace Philly. Jace Philly. Not, Which not one was doing the, Oh, Vassar was. Oh, Vassar. Yeah, Vassar was dropping him yeah, in the Yeah, Vassar was punch. good. Vassar was good. No, Vassar was good. She talking about Philly. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping. Philly, yeah. He got, he got his letter snatched, right? He got his L snatched. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. I think he's going to be better this year, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I but they brought in that uh, high schooler. Oh, wait, we got more. We got 16. I forgot about the kicker. <laughs> so probably did sneak in 16 freshmen. He's got them. They are walking on. You talking about okay. that that freshman phenom kicker, that guy? Right. Who can kick like from 50,000 yards away? Right. So that's like six. That's like, yeah, 16 freshmen prime brought in. Mm-hmm. Well, high schoolers. So yeah, let's go. Prime, everybody doubting you're gonna bring in young player. He somehow brought in young players still. Like with no scouting. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, prime, you know, right. <laughs> prime is changing the game, man. He's changing how he's changing the game on so many levels, you know, with being heavy with the transfer portal. I do think a lot of college um coaches are following behind them, even though they don't want to give him any credit. Um, they're upset that he can, he doesn't have to do home visits and they're mad about it, but I don't know why it's like, he doesn't have to do home visits. So get over it. Um, right. Do just. Mm-hmm. Prime is on every TV, like Daniel, like at least once a week. But then like, yeah. but like for real, what was, we found out, what was it? The Michael Jackson law? Like, man, I don't want him to like, be messing around, be a riot, too many people root. Man, come on, man. This dude cause a riot, man. But like, why though? Like, who don't know? People do know Prime. People don't know Prime. But again, like, for yeah, one, of- when you recruit your position coach, okay, first you get a letter. The letter ain't really nothing. Like, everybody get letters. Like, once you like, you know, get your name, get on, like, whatever, football, whatever they look at, to send people letters. Then you get a letter. Then, if you really cranking, you know, we get a letter maybe ninth grade. Then, 10th grade, you killing, you might get a scout come look at you from the school, right? Then the scout, whoever that is, maybe, like, Corey Phillips or whoever might come check you out or something like that. Then, the position coach come to your house. And talk to your parents. Most of the time, your position coach come if anybody come. And then you go on your, your for your OV. You go to the OV. You meet your position coach. Meet the head coach. Then you go back home. That's normally how it go. Like most of the time, the head coach don't go to your house. Like 
you meet the head coach when you go in your OV, and then you go back home. And then you might get one more visit from the scout if you, like, really like balling and the scout want to watch you ball out and talk about it, right? Or you might have another a visit to where you can go and talk with the coach. That's how most of the players in all sports get treated. Everybody want to scream about this home visit. Like, every player in college that gets recruited is getting a visit by the head coach, which is crazy. Most of the time, that never happens. Like that's like a extravagant, like an extravagant thing. Like to have a head head coach come to your house and like people know that. And I don't know why. Uh, what's that show? They was going off about it. I'm like, why they? Y'all know that's not how it go. Like you get all the high school kids or your children. Pardon me for calling them kids because kids make the goat. You know, goat goats would be ate and sacrificed, but their children. Uh, but most of the children that's playing sports, they'll never see the head coach unless they make it to the school. So to push that, I don't know. I guess people just want to push it because it's something to talk about. But, like, in reality, most of the players are just only going to get an email, you know, after they meet the scout. And, you know, I don't, I don't get it why people push that. They just want to hate. That's all they want to do. They just want to – They what they want to do is they want to knock him – for anything and everything, that's all they want to do. It's it's so annoying and irritating. Um, I just now I, don't get me wrong. There are times, and I've said this, there are times where I wish Coach Prime would just kind of zip it. It's like you don't gotta you don't gotta tell the truth. You don't have to be so candid. You know because they take his truth and they just twist it and they lie and they create their own narrative and they push it out and then it just it becomes an eco chamber for mess. So I wish right. I hope that I hope that this year somebody gets into his ear and say, you know what? You don't when someone asks you a question, you don't have to be so honest. You don't have to be so open. You don't have to give details about players and just it's you don't need to do all of that because they literally use that information against him. Because I will say this, anytime he's ever said something that is perceived to be controversial, when he says it, I never have a problem in that moment. I'm like, he's absolutely right. But it's how the press is using, they're weaponizing his words against him. Mm. Right. I think he lined them up for it, though, just to not have to worry about it later on, though. Yeah. And I've been doing it for so long. It's just like, I kind of, kind of, you know, I'm used to the prime program. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. he just he just focused on football. I'm sure he 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 reads all of it, but I think at this point right. he don't let it get to him, right? Because he, he knows they just so long, so right. But he know this they just they just shooting for headlines. Everybody are on that on that head coach, and you know all this and that, and then they feel like. Five or, five or four players got Saban coming to the house and old Saban. That's just to push that narrative but then he's going to mess around and send you an email. You said <laughs> uh, players had what coming to the house? Like, you know, like sometimes like Saban, he'll show up to somebody's house every now and then. I mean, I get it. For like one or maybe, maybe, maybe I'll say maybe in his whole career. I don't know. I, I ain't going to say that. No, I can't say that. But, you know, they'll just put that out there that he goes to someone's house. But I'm mm -hmm. guaranteeing you he's not going to everybody's house. You know, he's sitting – if it's a linebacker coming, the linebacker coach going – Oh, going to visit, it. yeah. Right. If if it's a D-line, if it's a, the D-line coach going to the house, you know what I'm saying, or maybe the D-line coach and the scout, you know, or maybe just the coach or maybe the scout and, and then the scout and the position coach. And then you go in your OV, then you meet the head coach, like, to have a head coach come all the way to your house, like, uh, I get it, you know what I mean? But that's not everybody, everybody not getting that. Like, no, that's yeah, not. Now you have social media, you know, you can FaceTime them and um and have them come up there, have the recruit come to campus. Right. You know, I would you got social media to come up there to get a feel for the campus and everything. So, right. Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly about that. Yeah. But, you know, like, some coaches still, like Caleb Downs was a situation where those coaches at Ohio, Ohio State, they did go to his house. They wanted to finalize that deal to get him up there because he's not no regular player. Like you, him, 
if, if it was a situation where Coach Prime was second and running, like it's a possibility that he could get Caleb Downs, he probably would have went to his house. If if that if it called for that, he probably would have. I, I, like Coach, I think, I think you, you got to go to his house, Coach. He probably would have did it. Yeah, I think that's for them coaches. I prime, remember Trevor? He didn't go to. Did he go to Travis Hunter house? No, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. They. He didn't go to Travis house. He didn't go to Carmani house. Yeah, he, he went to Carmani's house. He went to Carmani house. Yep, he did. He I thought he Carmani's didn't go house. on the no home visits. No, he went. Yeah, that's why I understand because I was like, he went to Carmani's house because mom, his mom snapped a photo of it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I thought he didn't go to no home visits. Well, Carmani got lucky then. So okay, I guess yeah. if it calls for it, he will go to a home. Yeah, visit. like I, you know, I, and that's what I think. I think people have to understand it. Don't take Coach Coach Prime so literal. There are always going to be exceptions where if he really wants someone, and he knows it's 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 essential, I think he will hop on a plane and go see that person. I think for most people, it, that but that person is going to have to be an exception. It's going to have to be an exception right. kind of a situation. But I don't think he's going to be a thousand percent rigid about it. You know, I, I believe, you know, right. it's like that vowel Y, A E I O U, and sometimes mm -hmm. Y, that's exactly what it's going to be. Sometimes Y with him. It's going to be yeah, rare. It's a situational thing. Like, a situation yeah. calls for him to go, then, yeah, I guess he'll do it. Yeah. And what if he happens to be down in that area anyway? What if he happens yeah, to be at home yeah. in Texas? Right. Then, and the guy is in Texas, and he, you, you mean to tell me he's not going to say, hey, you know, this guy is like, you know, 15 or 30 minutes away from me. I might as well just swing by. You know, I think, you know what? Coach Prime is a smart guy and he is strategic. And, you know, I do trust him um, when it comes to, like, like it's, it's, this is how I feel. Every time he explains something, I totally agree. Like when he, and yet when he said he didn't want to do home visits, to me, it made total sense. Mm -hmm. But if you read the articles, oh my God, he, oh, Coach Prime doesn't care about the kids. He only cares about himself. <laughs> it is just so fun. It's like, did you listen to what he said? And then they only take a snippet of what he says. He can't even it makes walk me so angry. Way. It's so annoying and irritating. It's like, did you sit and listen to what he said? And then, and then he didn't even mention this, but I thought about this even before he said it. You do realize that our coach has health issues. He has blood clots. He really shouldn't be in a plane a lot, number one. Number two, he's still in pain. He still takes medication every day. He can't, he's not like every other coach because they're not dealing with amputation. They're not dealing with blood clots. They don't care about that. Just, How many celebrity know. coaches are there? It's just, How know. many celebrity coaches? Right. Like Young. NFL and college? No, well, this is like one. Coach. There's only one. I mean, it's, how like it's Coach Rob. Yeah, I mean, you mean he is a he is technically a celebrity. So I would say celebrity. Prime is the only one. And I agree uh, with that. How them. many Hall of Fame? How many how many coaches with a Hall of Fame record? Right, that's current right now. That's only him in college. Two, you know, three. Two? No, well, three. The head coach? No, head not coach. head coach. Yeah, I was about to say. No, head coach too. Who's the other don't, one? Don't Eddie George got a gold jacket? Does he? Yep. Okay. Does he? Right. I don't know. Is I mean, right. I think so. I think I yeah, Eddie George. Yeah, he got he got. I remember when he had one in there with that weird statue? They did yeah, it wrong. Yeah, him and Eddie George, man. Okay, then that's two. Okay, and only one in Power Four, big time. Uh, mm, mm, um, and and, and it, well, Jason Taylor's oh. at Miami. He's a defensive ends coach. So you got Jason. No, Eddie doesn't have a gold jacket. Yeah, I he may Eddie not have one. For what? You sure? He's in the College Football Hall of Fame. Never mind. So, head coach is only one head coach with a gold jacket. There's only one. Okay. Actually, wait only a minute. One. Yeah, there's only one. Yeah. So you got one celebrity coach, celebrity. Then he's a celebrity, celebrity. And he's he like celebrity a legend, living legend. Yeah, right. Pretty much. Yeah, living legend, living myth. Like and he's a former legend. broadcaster. As well, former broadcaster for like 14 years, yeah. right? All this and that. <clears throat> this man, yep. yo, what do you like? I don't know, like, why would, like, truthfully, why would he need to come to my house? I mean, for I'm me, not like, my parents my time, meet him, he wouldn't need to come to my house. My son, he going wouldn't even, we're gonna go take a trip, even, like, bro. 
I'll be feeling like I'm asking too much and I'm about to not get no playing time making this man come all the way out here to see me when I know he got mad business to do. Like, that's a, when I was young, I'm telling you, I, I didn't want, I didn't want the coaches coming to my house, bro. Like, I sent, I sent, I sent, it was funny, the head coach to commit junior college, I wasn't going to go to junior college, right, when I was playing not to go to junior college. And they kept calling me and calling me and calling me. So I was just like, I wasn't trying to have no coach come to my house. I sent them to my auntie house, right? The tour she didn't live. I said, man, forget it. It's me, me over here. I'm there. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's how I felt as a player. You know what I'm saying? So I can and a lot of players felt like that. Like, man, I don't want the coach come to my house, man. I really go on the visit. I mean, that's like, old school. That was a I lot of the talk. Nowadays with technology, you don't it don't really you don't really need to do it unless there's really like a circumstance like a Caleb Downs or somebody like that. Like if it calls to go to his right. house, then yeah. Cause that's what Ohio State did. They went to that kid's house. They had to they had to finalize that deal with him. Like, look, we need you here. You know, I so think I think if we I didn't have Travis, he would have went and did that. Yeah, Travis, another one I would go to his house. Like, like if like that had Travis been Travis Hunter, he would have for sure went. If we if we wouldn't have had Travis and stuff like mm-hmm. that. He would for sure been when he he would have went for Caleb Bounce. Yeah, if he had if he had the if he had the resource, yeah, he would have he would have probably went to try to go after Caleb Downs as well. We're not he's aware of us. He's aware of Colorado. He follows some of them. Right, because like I did at the at the Travis League now. I but like a definitely. Nolan, a Walter Nolan, you go to his house too. Yeah, to Walter to Nolan. Him. Mm-hmm. But see, look, he's gonna be able to go do that now. But look, he can he really can do that either too. Still. Well, he probably could have, but like it really wouldn't have went as well because you know, you know, he you know they wanna you wanna you gotta come in there with something hefty, hefty, hefty. But I think this year, after they do their season, because look, Prime balanced the books last year. They was down a hundred. It was down a whole yard, like a hundred mm. mil. Prime brought him, he balanced them down to like nine mil. It was over mm-hmm. like 120 some million, bro. Like, so I think if he bring in another 100 some million this year and bring their budget all the way, you know, to the plus, yo, they're going to have bag, yo, to get whoever they want next year. Man, I can tell you right now, if he can get us to an eight or nine win season next year, it is going, the, the Colorado Buffaloes are going to be bigger than the Beatles. Yeah, nine, <laughs> oh, yeah, nine wins, ten. Yeah, oh, wins. you're too young. You don't know who the Beatles are. Never mind. But watch this: if, if 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 they go undefeated and win the title, he almost can't coach no more. Oh yeah, I will right. have to try to retire. <laughs> that's, that's on, I mean that that's like a magical situation there. I mean, go out on top. That's a magical situation. That's like no. that's like he's now up there with like. Freaking Tom Landry and all. He's up there with the with the uh what do you call it? The Mount Rushmore of coaches. Man. Now he's on Mount be... Rushmore now of coaches. <laughs> Lord Chow. And, uh, and then all those kids would probably get drafted in the NFL. <laughs> Let me stop drafting. And look, this is what right. I hear when you say at the, at the at the on the stage in the podium. I keep receipts. Um oh gosh. I keep receipts. Y'all know I keep receipts. <laughs> okay, Max, let me ask you this. If Prime and Shador do win go the number two, him would be Travis, it'll be Travis Shador one and two. Okay. And All if right. they do go undefeated, that means they're gonna have quite a number of other players in the first round as well. Oh, well, they go undefeated, they're gonna have about 20 people getting invites. Multiple here. players in the first round. But I will Multiple. say this. I will say this, you guys. Let's talk about the present. I have to emphasize this yet again. It is incredible. Nine guys went to pro day. Five guys got pro invites. If one or two of them get drafted and the others go you uh, undrafted free agent, that's huge, man. That's Michigan? huge. No, well, they five. only had 12 seniors. So how know? many seniors they had in total? Nine. They had not nine, nine. So that's nine that went to pro day. Five got invites. And if if all, let's say four, one gets drafted, which is definitely going to be Xavier Weaver, and the other go undrafted free agent, that's, you know, that's great. That's great press for us. Right. That's what that's I'm saying. Great like Swain press and for class, us, like, man. Yeah, it is. It's like, like Swain and Jordan, them, all them getting, all they, they're like, 
their whole they're all yes, eight of them yes. gonna get drafted. Yes, yes. He keeps saying y'all seen Shane. Yeah, we seen Shane. He's doing well in practice, Jesse. I think Shane week. I'm telling y'all, Shane gonna be right this year. He definitely gonna be on that field this year. Definitely. Prime might have 30, 30 players get an invite next year. Watch. Watch. Damn, 30. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Thomas. 30. <laughs> 35. As a matter of fact, I'm going to 35. I'm on a 35. Damn. Watch. They said, they said Michigan had the most NFL combine. I think Prime going gonna, gonna to match it. Then he's going to have about 25 pro pro invites for sure. 25, 35 at least. How many Thomas seniors you got? 30. 27 seniors? I think all of our seniors are going to get invited somewhere. <laughs> Thomas, I like you, your inspirational numbers. You said thirty. Man, all hey, Thomas, all them the, up, um, man. What was the what what was the other number you had said before? The thirty five. Uh, thirty five gonna be oh, look. The, I the, say the scoring total. Which should oh they're gonna be averaging forty five for sure. No, how many no yards he gonna be averaging per game? Shador throwing. Yeah. So they're gonna be like in the high, high, like mid forty, like four, four fifty a game. Yeah, it's so they're gonna be yeah, throwing like four hundred a game. Man. He don't mess around. He said, "Yeah, he said Shador ain't gonna be no two hundred. Yeah, he like Shador ain't no two hundred sixty yard passing quarterback. He 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 three eighty, four hundred twenty yard passing quarterback." I got a question though for you. If he's throwing that much, where's the running game? That's that's coming in the time of possession, <laughs> like he did that last year. Like he and that was with the weak pocket. So, and that was with only averaging sixteen minutes a game of ball possession. So, if let's say we pick up eight minutes, nigga, let's say we just do average and keep the ball twenty four minutes a game. That's eight minutes, eight more minutes with the ball. That's great. We're for sure running it. And there's more plays running the ball. Or let's say we're really dominant and we average, let's say, 28 minutes with the ball. And that's for sure more running game on top so of how we played last Peter year. Was inspiring. <laughs> Peter is that's, Peter. That was last year. That was last year's performance. Like this last year. Last year, if they run the ball, let's say, 10 more times, would you say that's about eight more minutes? Or maybe six more minutes? Okay, how many more times do you think they can run the ball with six more minutes? Um, at least uh, per per series per um. Oh no, this game, this game, like last year, like the game, yeah, like they'll like, double it. For, they'll more than double it from what they their totals were last year. You guys, I got okay. a question for you. Vacation says, and I don't, I, I don't know this, and I'm not trying to be so smart ass. They said, Sam, the answer to that question is look at Michael Penix and Washington's offense. So what does that mean? What is it? What are they trying to say? Ten up, say to me. They, they had two thousand yard receivers attack. and a thousand yard, <clears throat> thousand yard back. He had a balanced attack and um he was protected and he had a running game. Okay, right. So that, he had a running back with a thousand yards and two thousand yard mm -hmm. receivers. So there's there more okay, they were more running the game than they were yeah. throwing throwing the yeah, rock. Okay, really balanced attack. Yeah, that's what we need. I hope receivers with I hope so, yards. but I have a feeling we may not get it because it's Shador's last season and dad wants to make sure you know Shador's stats are statting. So We'll see. Right. They don't got to look. You know, Thomas look, is serious. Thing, I'm serious. Thomas, because Thomas, Thomas, real quick. How what was the what, how much you said they were going to um uh, score? Like 70 a game, remember? Well, not 70. I said I said I see them if if they really do what they if they average 45 a game, like they start averaging 45 like in the games like with the offense cuz they, they, they uh, without running last year they averaged 28, right? So let's Give him one more passing touchdown and just a rushing touchdown a game. That would be 45, right? That's just giving yeah. him uh, extra, right? Now let's say a few games, let's say three games, they get they play really good. They, they get a special teams return. They still do their average 45, but they get an interception to the house. They get a kickoff return. Uh, they might get a fumble and get an extra possession. Those few games that they're going to have playing really good, they're going to crank up 60, 70 points in those games. If yeah, they average he, that 45. The line vacationing was, stout, was stellar. He had a um, above stellar offensive line for that running back. The run, running back was good, too. But, yeah, that was really good. And, um, Mikael, Peter has been on the panel before. He's been up here before. Yeah, and he came up, too. Line. 
But yeah, man, they they can do it this year. They got running backs that can run, and I think the offensive line is going to be straight. Let me just say this, Mikel, Mikel Jones, Peter is saying that they're going to win six games, and Coach Prime is saying he wants to go bowling. Obviously, he wants to do better than that, but he wants to go bowling. So Vegas is at 5.5. Prime wants to go playoffs. They well, talking about Natty in the building. Yeah, he wants yeah. to go playoffs. Yeah, but he also but, well a bowl game is what five games? Six games. Hard said you finish with a ring. But is now it six he games? Yeah, he I, he did say he he will obviously he, okay, there's a couple of things he said. At some point earlier in the season, he did say when he was asked, Oh yeah, we can do it. We we're gonna get to the championship or whatever. But he also moderated it and said, you know what? We just he goes. I want to get to the bowl game for what's that old lady's name? Peggy. Peggy. He want to get her to a bowl game. Right? Yeah, he want to get her to a bowl game. That's what he said. <clears throat> so even he's kind of moderated. Now, granted, I'm pretty sure if you ask him this question again, he'll be like, "Oh yeah, you know what?" And especially after we see who's leaving and who's coming in, he may change that and say, "No, we're definitely going to get a natty or whatever." Which I don't have a problem with everybody because you know what? I don't have a problem with people changing their mind. New information you get. You should input that. And if you need to change your mind, I'm okay with that. I really, I really like that idea of them going to a, a natty. Because I'm betting on that. I'm putting a little bit of money on that. That's a good payday. Yeah, vacationing with kids says Prime said he was guaranteeing a bowl. And he said he because he wanted, you know, because Peggy is like almost a hundred. So he wants her to see that. She's she's been to a bowl game before. But I think it's been a while since she's been. It's been a while, but yeah. she's been. When um she was definitely there when Rashawn Salam was there, when she saw him win the Heisman Trophy. Yeah, look, she's, she's been there. She's 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 Max. been around to see a lot of um. Success. I was about to say she's almost a hundred years. I'm sure she's seen everything. She's probably seen the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she's seen the she's seen the, hel- <laughs> she's seen the leather helmets, Max. <laughs> No, nah, she ain't that old. She's a, no, no, she's not. <laughs> she probably has. Think about it. Football's like a hundred years old, something like that. No, I mean, she's hundred. In the fifties, no, they no, played she, with leather helmets. Yeah, so she probably saw all that. He ain't too far off with that. Uh, with that assumption, he's probably right no, about. Leather helmets were in the fifties, right? Yeah, she was a, like she's a hundred now. That's like well, I don't know. She's probably in her forties or thirties or something like that. She might have been young when the leather helmet yeah. grew. Oh, I think she's in her nineties. Whoa, whoa! She's like ninety-eight. She's almost a hundred. I know that. Oh yeah, well, for sure she's seen the leather helmets. Yeah, she's almost a hundred. Remember this listening on the radio. Mm. Hmm. But yeah, hopefully they, they get to a bowl game. Yeah. Bowl game is six wins, right? They should get to a bowl yeah. game. No excuse. <laughs> they should get to a free. Now, whether they win it, I don't know. But they should freaking get to a bowl game. We got enough talent on this team to really we forget the coaching. We got enough talent to get us to eight games. Eight games. Eight. I'm calling it eight with the just the just the we players. Got enough okay, coaching so you you upped it now. You said now you saying eight games. No, 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 no. I no. I, I still at my five. Don't give me. Don't still give me on five. <laughs> so I'm five. She ain't gonna never get. Remember, it was four a minute ago. Now you no, four. It was four, 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 four. No, it was four. I was four, but I'm five. I will say this: I, I, I'm not like everybody else. I have faith in the players. I have faith in them last year. I got faith in them this year. You don't have year. faith in the coaches. Exactly. That's my concern, I man. Do. I, I saw too many coaching errors last year that made me want to strangle folks. I was like, oh my gosh, why did you do that? Why did you not call that? Why is he in the game? Why did you take him out of the game? It was insane. It was insane. And I, to me, my, my head exploded with the Stanford game. All the mistakes. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. They were trying to make dinner out of scraps. So I don't know Warren said 10 and 2. It's hard to put a pull a full plate like together. 10 and 2 was good. Someone said, I agree with Sam. Hey. Yeah, like I said, everybody. Yeah, I who agree with Sam? Carrie, no, you thinking five and as two? I, she's a I, role, I, wait, wait a minute. She's a Roll Tide fan. Oh, is she? Yeah, Alabama roll fan. Tide. Oh, she's a Roll Tide down yeah, the street. Yeah, she Roll Tide, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, this career, can we go with five and five? See, she's used to winning, you know, like 
all these type of championships. Yeah, that's the only thing about being, come up, Kara. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing up. about being an Alabama fan. You are, you are oh. just. It's you're spoiled exactly. I just couldn't think of the word because it's right. late at night. You're spoiled. You're so used to winning. You know, it's it's hard just having the best of the that. best of the best of the mm-hmm. best of the best. Nick Saban got you, Alabama Roll Tide fans. Spoil, 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 man. Hey, hold on, Peter. Hold on. He's very. What do you say now? He said they're not beating Oklahoma State, Kansas, Kansas State, Texas Tech, or Utah. They're going to beat down Kansas State like it's nothing. I only think Kansas got enough to keep up. And I don't know, Texas, keep – y'all just like – why do you say that? Look at them teams. Go look at what – you can go watch them practice too right now. I don't think oh, they got enough. Colorado will win eight. She's saying eight. Okay. Yeah, like I feel go on, eight go on, go for the, the play. Mammoth tie. Don't give a piss about nothing but the – The tie. I put that actually in one of my videos too. Um, I heard you, Kara, earlier. You said "roll tide." I roll read that. Tide, That's why I think you, Alabama fan. No, uh-uh, I'm not an Alabama fan. Uh, oh, you, you know, you a Bama fan on the no, roll fan. I, you know what? I'm, I'm sinister. Like I can't, I can't. Okay, I kind of want to see them completely <laughs> fail. I want to see them fail this year. I want, I want the Nick Saban dynasty to die. <laughs> You gotta be a Scorpio. I'm so sister, man. I really really, want to die. Yes, I do not. I I want because I don't look. He's a great coach and all that. His record is is what he did is solidified, though. I I just I don't I don't like central power. I I want I just I want like this another reason why I want Coach Prime to win. I want the third. I I like a power shift. I like the power structure to be destroyed and I want it to be rebuilt and I want it to be more fair and I want us to be the new Alabama. But of course, we're, we're going to do it differently. We're going to, we vibe is different. So I, I really, I hate saying what I'm about to say, but I really do. It, it, well, I'm going to pay attention to Alabama, but it's not because I want them to win. I really want to see them fail. And that's terrible to say, but it's just how I feel. <laughs> At least you said it. At least you have a you take pride in saying it, I guess. Good <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, they, got the, um, they got the coveted offensive lineman coming back. Remember, he was supposed to go to Ohio. Mm-hmm. He's going back to Alabama. The Cater Proctor? Yeah. Yeah, Katie back in the building. Yeah, yeah, he back in the building. They still Bama now. Don't get it twisted. I yeah, see Bama, Bama practice. I'm watching practice. I'm watching Bama practice. They look like the same Bama. They really do. I don't get how you lose a hundred players and it look like you still got a hundred players. Because well, they that, were all waiting in line. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what, five five stars stars that's what I want us to be. I want us to be. I want our depth to be five stars. Yep, they got five stars everywhere. They have five stars. Everywhere. Yeah, they still got bad rankings everywhere. It's like yeah. they didn't lose nothing. But I'm saving. I don't. Don't get me wrong. They're still going to dominate next year, you guys. They're still going to dominate. But I got to tell you, I just if they can lose three or four games, <laughs> I'll be so happy. <laughs> I don't think Bama look. I really think Bama might just go undefeated again. Like oh, I think, oh God. I think it's gonna be Bama and Georgia again. I don't think Man, Texas is gonna be ready. And I dance so the old Miss about to get beat up. Be, every game they lose, I'll be I'll be doing a freaking Irish jig, even though I'm not Irish. I'll be so happy. I mean, yes, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. <laughs> yeah, but anybody be like. I was I, I feel you, but see that one right there, like you got Caleb the boy, man. That guy can really coach. I like he's a really good coach, you know, and I think he gonna and I already know them guys in Bama, they tradition. It's this I mean I am watching them practice. I'm like, dude, this don't even look like they lost a step. Like it don't. Like it it don't. Yeah, but you know, it's like anything. You've got a bunch of new coaches coming together and what did I and I could look what I said about Colorado, I could say about Alabama. People have to have to have chemistry, vibe, and cohesion. And, yeah. you know, and just because you have a lot of great coaches coming together doesn't mean, you know, it's going to be synergy. doesn't mean it, things are going to come together when it comes to game scheming and when things go wrong. Because right, in every situation, you know, when things go wrong mm-hmm. in a game, how are these coaches going to sit here and come together and 
coach their way through it. And then, of course, you know, I'm pretty sure people are nervous. I know if I was on, on that team, I'm like, okay, I was playing this. I was getting this amount of playing time. How is this going to look? What is my future going to be like? Mm. I would be absolutely new, nervous. And I would be, my finger would be on that transfer portal button to see, like, if this don't work, it's I'm out. Transfer portal button. Yeah. <laughs> so I start I, preparing no way in the world. Sam hitting the portal. Yeah, I'll be like, if this don't work, I know my value, I know my worth, and I'm out. And them guys you know, know, they know what all they got. They know all it takes is to be prepared. And I'm pretty sure they know how to prepare for games, yo. Like if you if you was to ask me right now in a football game, who do you want to go to battle with? Like, if you gave me that coaching step, I'll take that coaching step all day. Just on the simple fact that I know they're gonna be ready, to, they're gonna have me ready to go battle out here. And like, it's no way in the world they can't. It's just no way. It's just like one or two coaches, but like nine, man, it's nine people. These people got year, like decade. People ain't even look. People talking today ain't live long enough to watch these people get down. And then we got coaches that's been getting down. It's like it's just no. There's no way. It's just like when you around that kind of. A, just know how it's just no way. It's just it's too many eyes. That's 18 eyes looking at you all day. All and then when they looking at the other teams, they're gonna break them down during look, they gonna during the game, it's gonna be so much intel coming back because all of those pros looking at that game, breaking it, and they look, man, come on, man. You know Michael Irvin, they're gonna be they're gonna come, then they're gonna have then look, let's say this. They got nine coaches for show. Then you got six or seven of the other NFL homies coming over there, and they all looking at the game, giving hey, look at hey man, he doing this, hey do this, do it. man, come on, it's a wrap, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. I'm telling you, too much, yo. Be, football is about being prepared, and like I just I I'm you can call me crazy, but I will go with the team with the nine NFL coaches and two Hall of Fame jackets way before I don't care who you got. Kirby Smart. I don't care who it is. None of them got that kind of stuff. You can tell them they ain't called to play. You ain't played a down. How about that? <laughs> you want to keep talking about calling to play. Have you played a down? Have you already have you even been in the pros? The high college, high school and the pros, the difference is this. It's the hashes. The sidelines are bigger. In high school, the sidelines are really big. In college, they're really, really big because they bring a man closer. And in the pros, they move the hashes out wider. So the ball is lined up more center hash, more the field, than more out away from the sideline. Mm -hmm. In college, you got to cover the sideline. That's that's cool. I mean, he's got to have the people that can cover the field. We got those. Yo, it's not that much, you know, you, you got certain trick schemes and stuff like that in college that you might not run in the pros because of the speed of the pros. But, like, it's just pretty much that, yo. It's not like the the coaching is different, like, just on the trick plays and maybe Question. some of the counter schemes. But, question. like, wanna, not much I different. I want to ask you a question about Shador. If we win six or seven games next year, do you think Shador will get be in the top five or ten draft? If if they just nope. win, if if he if he only win five games, no, it'll be somebody taken before him. What about six or seven? If he wins six or seven games, mm -hmm. it Maybe. depends on it depends on the team. I think. Okay. But if you mean if, the, if he tanked the season, like if they only win three games, that's going to no. might hurt his draft status. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. I think, in my personal opinion, I feel like in order for Shador to get top pick in the draft, he's we've got to win at least eight games. Yeah, I think if we go, if we I I think if we win anything below eight games, I don't care how great his stats are, I really think that's going to impact his draft stock. Um, I also think that do you think that they may do do you th if they draft Shador, do you think they'll also try to try to take Shiloh? I think Dallas would. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be the only wild turkey. What about Atlanta? Arthur Blank, maybe. Second wild turkey. Okay. 
Yeah, because he, he has a relationship with um, Coach Prime, so he yeah, might. He, he talks highly about Dallas and Atlanta for his boys. Mm -hmm. So right. I'm thinking those two teams, he, he'd really want them to go to. All right, My well, let opinion. me ask you guys this since you said that question. Let's say, I'm not saying this to happen, let's say if he won four games again, mm -hmm. but he threw for <laughs> – Incredible amount of yards right. and touchdowns. Okay. What do you think his draft status will be? Uh, it's the same one. I know where we're but I don't know. It might. Oh, nah. Top 15 or top 20 or what? Top 20. I mean, top, I mean, top, top 20 taken? Top 20. Yeah, he'd probably be in top 20. Yeah. Because yeah, they're already so, high on him. But that's like, I, think, I don't see that I, happening. I think, I think if it's if he only, if it's anywhere from like seven and under, I'm giving him top twenty. How about Travis? Hmm. He, anywhere it go, Travis. You know what? I the thing about Tra Travis has such a likability factor to him. Mm. I mean, I, Travis is gonna go as long as it, Travis is gonna go high in the draft, in my opinion. He may not go number one, two, three, or four, but he'll definitely be top ten. Because I don't know if you noticed this, but on pro day, the scouts were talking to Travis. Yeah, they were. I mean, that was great. And they were talking to Travis when Xavier's pro day. Mm -hmm. They were talking to Travis. They were like, okay, I got to make sure I'm in this man's face. And I thought that was kind of weird a little bit. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, if I was a scout, I would shoot. If I was a scout, I would definitely get on Travis's radar. Absolutely. Hands down. Travis is talking to them Raiders. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's about to be a Raider. He's about to come Pharaoh down. Uh, tra uh, tra Travis to the Raiders? Yeah, during that pro day, he was talking to the Raider scouts. He was talking to a Raider, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can see him a Raider. Motor City, Ill. Smitty, I agree with you. I think Nebraska will be good this year. I think mm -hmm. so, too. I think, As a matter of fact, I'm going to start kicking out some Nebraska content. I think they're they, going to they surprise got another people. Quarterback, didn't they? Yeah, they picked up a quarterback in the yes, portal. Yes, they did. Now, granted, he's freshman. There's a, there's a freshman by the name of uh, Dylan Raiola. He's supposed to be a, aka the potential next Patrick Mahomes. I don't know about all that. Damn, next just, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, Damn. that's okay. and it's a, and in fact, I might make make that's a video juju. and I might call it that. And I'm not sure if I'll did you did you did you make a video on that yet? No, I, but I might make it. I'm still I'm trying to gather contact. It's either that or I might call him. The two million dollar quarterback. Um, is, he, is he um straight out of high school or he was at another college? Yeah, he's straight out of high school. So it's a gamble. It's a straight up gamble. But they also got Man. another good quarterback out of the transfer portal. So yeah, yeah they did. exactly. They, did. they got a really mm -hmm. good quarterback out of the transfer portal. So you know what? Matt Rule spoken into existence. And I said the only if from what I saw, the only thing that I saw that that was just totally broken was a quarterback, and they fixed it. Dude, they I'm gotta telling beat you, Nebraska. They got yeah. It. I'm telling you now, Nebraska. Nebraska is a, could potentially be a problem. It's a home. It's a away game. I too. doubt it. Well, we'll see, man. Matt Rule, that all that good. He's a great coach. Where was it when we played him? Because it looked like he didn't know what he was coaching out there. Like I don't know. I didn't see that. I just like uh, listen, out of all the teams Thomas, he played. No, man. I'm we telling was the you, only, look, it was that Sam, quarterback. It was that quarterback. Look, everybody they played in the whole thank you. season. Motor only City, two thank teams you. put yes, 30 on has some fumbles. Listen, only two teams put 30 on Nebraska last year. Thank it you, was, Sam. Or, sorry, one was Smitty. CU, no. and the other one was Michigan, the state, the national champions. Everybody else, they was locking down. So – the no. whole year they was locking people down, so their defense was there the whole year. And the only teams that beat them was the really good teams. That was Michigan and CU. CU picked up and got way better. Mich look, their number nine, uh, Tom's Robertson or Tom, whatever. Sabian was pounding on him. Sabian was planting that guy. He's supposed to be in there, number one, big time D tackle, left D tackle, bringing all the pressure. Sabian was planting that guy. Number zero, the same thing. He was he was still he was getting through there, but they was it was a little rough last year. Well, last year, 
Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I remember that. I I I, I disagree. I'll go, I'll watch the game. I just I mean, recently watched the game again. I, I, like, I, I disagree. Was, what I remember about that game was how you could go watch it. I watched it. I'll, I rem- I'm literally. I remember what I let me just let me finish. What I remember about that game was how atrocious their quarterback was. Like somebody said in the chat, the guy's name was Sims. I think it was a, it was a black guy running. Too. But anyway, that's how they hear there. Their quarterback was so bad. He kept fumbling. We had so many. We had so many turnovers. I just remember in the second half, you could tell the defense was getting tired because they had to work twenty times as hard because this guy was just messing up so so bad. I and but I remember thinking to myself, if they fix their quarterback issue, we are there. It's going to be a problem. Well, it traditionally, is- Matt Rule it only take him a few years to get the team turned around. Yeah. So he's going to turn that team around. Just a matter yeah. of time. They ain't got the Thank talent. Thank you, Motor man. City Smitty. She's they right. They don't got the talent. They do. Man, I'm telling you. Go watch that thing. They couldn't run the ball. Like. Watching, they couldn't been, run the ball on it. You know that, right? It wasn't just they couldn't. They couldn't just. They did have a few breaks. The quarterback broke for like 70. And then, like, when we had the scrubs in, they put up like 70 yards or whatever. Mm-mm. But, like, other than that, they wasn't running at all. Go watch that game. They were stuffing that running back last No, year. they didn't. Nebraska didn't have a lot of play. As a matter, as a matter of fact, most of their players are coming back. So that's another thing. Like, they I just remember, and I and it, because it's Nebraska, and I, I hate to be racial, I just remember there were a lot of white guys. And I'm like, I was like, they look like Vikings. They look like, oh, my God. That's not how Vikings look. This is how well, Vikings look in my PTR. Well, whatever. They From what I see in the movies, they look, reminded me of what I saw in the movies. What I see in the movies. Right. Anyway, but I remember thinking, I thought their defense was really good. And I think they only lost, like, just like us, you know how we lost a bunch of games, but we only lost lost by one possession. They were in the same thing by, like, but by three points. Like, but they was locking down yeah. defense. It was their number defense of, they was ranked pretty good. They was their, ranked, defense, was, their defense was, was uh, pretty good. They was ranked 11th in the nation in defense. Yeah, their defense was pretty good. Right, that same defense we depopulized by put thirty six on their head. Well, the I, the reality of it, it was is it wasn't because the defense was so bad; it was because of doggone freaking quarterback. They were good. Listen, everything was like pretty much locked up the first quarter or the first half. I'm sorry, and then after yeah. the no, I remember this game like it was yesterday. It was I after. It. Go back. It was at, it was the second half. That's when they started to break down. Number one, they were in art. They were not at home home advantage they were playing in our on our turf you know they those boys they couldn't handle the freaking altitude so we that's another thing it's another reason why they lost and then on top of that they were i could just the, the defense so we they were just broken utah so we should easily beat utah then we should easily beat arizona thank you if nebraska gonna me. beat us she's got if, some if, good if, football if, knowledge she's on point bro thank you if nebraska if if if, Motor if, City if nebraska City. If we count the if we if we count they fumbles that which was caused, and saying that because they didn't fumble they got a chance to beat us. Well, we got a chance to beat Arizona, Utah, everybody. We lost too because we was getting sacked too much. If everybody want to keep that theory, no problem. We could give Nebraska that same consideration. I had no problem with that. But me, I'm not. Well, I'm that's, not going that's to give different that. though. This different. We got sacked a lot, but that quarterback, he was just. Turning over the ball. He was, yeah, fumbling. <laughs> he was fumbling, fumbling like the dude. Eight. Like, no, 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 no. There's a difference. He lit like Shador. Shador no, is not. No, hold on. No, listen, listen, no. listen, listen. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, he can run that ball, Tom, though. Thomas, he ran let me, that let me, ball let me, let me on say it. what I got to say. Shador doesn't throw interceptions. That guy was doing that. Shador doesn't fumble the ball. That guy was doing that. Shador takes sacks. Why but, Why did Matt, why Matt Rule keep him in the game? I don't he know why. I don't know. I guess he didn't nah, have another he, really good quarterback. He put Purdy in there. When when Small's hurting, remember he got tackled and got yeah, hurt. Yeah, he by did Joel get Small. taken out for a little bit. Thank right. you. Like but they Small, had to fight. Small stole in his ankle. They put in a little party. They had to fight from behind due to the turnovers from Sims. I remember that game. She's got some good football. Center getting blown up. What well, is center getting blown up? Because that's, that's the how quarterback it when your was so bad. Blowed up. The quarterback cost them that game. I remember it because mm-hmm. I was I just couldn't. Okay, okay. Let me let me the give snaps. you an example. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Okay, Alabama, Alabama, the championship game. Who do you remember the most in that game? That damn center who kept messing up the snaps. Yeah. He, he kept he messing up the snap. Even Stephen A. said, I've never talked about a center ever. 
and Stephen A. ripped this guy to shreds, right? Yeah. And, that's, up, and that's and hold on, that's what I remember about that game. Now, was a Nebraska game? I remember the I could not believe how bad the quarterback the, was. The, the the center sniped the the center really snapped the ball and hit no, the player in no, motion. No, no, you forgot no, that one fumble. No, he 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 snapped the ball before the guy got by him in the motion. Then he snapped it again and he threw it at his ankles and he couldn't get it and he fumbled it. Then one time he just fumbled the ball. Then another time he fumbled it, handed it off to the running back. So. Like, that's all just coaching and running through your routines. But, like, the center, again, he threw that ball away twice for sure. And he did other ones. But even off those four fumbles, they only got three points out of those. Uh, no, out of one of Let them. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all are going to regret it. Ne this time Ten next points. year, I'm telling you right now, Nebraska – is going to have a really good season next year. I'm going to be following Nebraska book. I'm going to be picking out some Nebraska content because I'm, I've been watching the practices on Instagram and they're doing some kind of like documentary thing like we do. Something has happened in that little state that I've never been in. Something is something has happened. They they Matt Matt is turning it around. He's turning it around. And, you I, come and, again, big boys, and, get and, and I and I will say this: I'm at 50-50. I don't know if we're gonna beat them. I don't know if they're gonna beat us. But if they beat us, I'm not it's surprised. Not happening. I don't see it happening. They got home been, like they didn't bring in enough O line. Like they O line. Look, they they got that same center from last year that kept messing up the snap. They got the same running back who couldn't handle, couldn't take a handoff. Like. Okay, they got a quarterback that's hopefully a freshman that they know they can't start because they get no out the transfer portal, but they come in late that we supposed to be so worried about. Mm. Like who are we really worried about? About this. The, the the pressure game is the first game. They gotta win that. Man, they, they have to. They're gonna give that's North Dakota State. They gotta win that game. No questions. It's gonna be warm you, up you think about stuff. that, Sam and Thomas dude. First game, they got to win. It's a must win. Who because they remember, they, they ended the season with no win, so they got to win this. Who who are they playing the first game? I'm sorry. Which one? Is North, North Dakota know, State, right? Okay, North Dakota. Yeah, North Dakota uh, State. Uh, oh, they have to win this game. They have to. I don't care how they win it. They just got to win it. I think this is going to be a real, first, a real blowout to let everybody know that they're not playing, bro. They're not playing? Prime said, it's the first time I ever had a whole team come back after spring practice and not give me a call, everybody show up on time. They not playing. Them guys are trying to get better. And, man, this all, watch. They got months. They just, they already look good, man. But they, <laughs> they you know, the, you know, you got to watch how all them teams going to look at them as a bowl game. They're like, oh, we right. keep playing prime. Oh, yeah. Can I say something? It's about Nebraska. I got to read this. Motor said the guy's the quarterback's name is Sims. Sims is in the transfer portal and still hasn't been picked up. Someone else right? Jeff Sims has been the worst power five quarterback I've ever seen. That you ever seen? That's what someone Man, said. So why Mike yeah. Rule kept playing and why he didn't play Purdy? I don't know. I just remember that game. I don't know. <laughs> Bad coach. He, he sure ran that ball on us though. You See, man, he he, plays where he just broke free. He can run. Right. He the reason why they had rushing yards. And then uh, and then they <laughs> got the next, rush, I believe. Then they got the rest when the scrubs came in, and then they bust for like 50 again and then scored. They, they got to win oh, that know. game in the um Colorado State game. Those are both away games. They gotta win those. That Colorado State game is gonna be up. I'm telling you, no love lost in that game. I wonder if Henry Blackburn is going to be in that game. Yeah, he'll be there. Oh my god! Fifth year. Oh man. Yeah, he'll be there. Uh -oh. He's still there, isn't he? Yeah. He is senior. He was a senior. Yeah, he's he might still play there. five years. Is he still there? Is he on the roster? Because he, he was a senior last year. He might um, be a lot of people. I heard a lot of people say that wild dog. The first game is a trap game. They have to win that game. That's a vet. That's even even Prime said it. he said I'm thinking about the first game. I'm not thinking about any other games right now. He's think he's preparing for that first game. They gonna get him, boys. The works. 
and they plan to see you, they're gonna be so ready to hit something. Man, look, this is I don't know if them coaches could even can like how many how many how many coaches there's so no all them coaches been there for years. How many of them been in the NFL? <laughs> I don't care. I don't I'm not gonna say look, a college look, coach. You, you got them going the twelve and oh, Thomas. Huh? You got them twelve and oh, so it, it Man, every it game is a win. Every game. <laughs> every every game. Of course, game. I know I already know what you think about the first game. You think that's gonna be a blowout. Man, they couldn't have they gonna blow them out by at least thirty five. Twenty one for sure. That I, I, you know what I expect that game. I expect Staub to play, and I expect another quarterback to play. That's how much mm. it's going to be a blowout. This That's is what, what I would, exactly. I agree with you, Max. This is what I want him to do. If it if the game is very lopsided and we're winning, please mm. take Shador out. Take Shador out. No, they will take, take Travis out. out. Will. I want them to preserve mm-hmm. the, the the players. So like, if we're up by like forty pounds, fifty points, just take these. Yeah, they'll take them out. Yeah, they'll, they take them out. Don't they'll take don't them out. Don't have. You know, I don't like. They'll take they, all the starters out. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. We just we need to preserve our really good players. That's a cool first game. It's like a scrimmage. I wouldn't call it a trap. The trap game, I think, the real trap game. Well, they all trap games because you know, we all of them really is they gonna try and play it like a bowl game. Yeah, but, they're um, playing like a bowl game. Right, they're gonna play like be like um like the real. I think they're gonna be so hot, and then they're gonna come across play like Kansas State. They gotta keep it up for Kansas State. And, and then, every like, away game is gonna be up. So I, I see Kansas crowd, State coming out three and two. On us. Yeah. They're gonna be on them, man. Every game could be a trap because they're gonna everybody gonna play them tough, like a bowl game. So like they're like, I think if once they get to winning, I hope they don't sleep on Kansas State. Cause I think they've been playing like week six or week seven. And I hope they don't sleep on like see, um Texas Tech. You you see that, Sam? When they were up, Shador was out of his pads, had his chains on. Mm. That's how it gotta be. Yeah. Yeah, cool he's just kind of throwing the football around, joking around a little bit. The pads are off already. <laughs> right. The pads are off. Yeah, but I also want them to be like that if they're losing really bad too. If they're uh-huh. losing really like if we're losing really bad, like we did in Utah, or was it Utah? That what? no, 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 no. It was a Oregon. game before Utah, or or Oregon. That's a good one. I don't want it. Oregon. I don't want us to waste a really good first tier when we're when we're losing so badly. I agree with that too. If they if they getting blown out, yeah, yeah, we're just out. take out Shador, take out Travis, because every snap could be that uh, that player's last. Travis ain't gonna want to come out. He needs to, because think about what almost hap- happened to him in the Utah game. He almost yeah. he, his that's when he made that uh, catch, that high catch. I I couldn't even look at that because the way he came down on that leg, and then it looked what like his think? leg. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh my God! I, I to this day I can't even hardly look at that thing. Yeah, and we were we were that. we were losing so so bad. It's like, dude, this is not worth it. You need to preserve yourself. But who else they would have had? It doesn't matter. We were losing so bad. It would, I, they could have put me in the game. It wouldn't it wouldn't have changed anything. Nah, it's it's not. It's, not, it's about fighting still. Zap, they still fought that game. Yeah. The X factor. He's. Sap is going to be the X factor. He's going to tell that line, listen, gentlemen, I want you to give them 60 minutes of hell nonstop. It has to be 60 minutes. Full blast to the I'm quarterback. So Full blast. So glad it's a fight. Every, every down is a fight. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. They're going to have a hell of a defense this year, hopefully. Then, uh, <laughs> that's the key. Hopefully, yep. yeah, I, that's no, games, it's, man, it's no hope to plan. We, we plan things. We need that's some interceptions. Game. You know, Travis would be back there lurking. Shiloh, um, a few others. They're gonna be lurking. I don't know. Like Thomas said it. By by the by the end by the mid third quarter, Shador is out of pads already. That's what I see, man. I, I look like Bucky. Hand me my jury. The jury is right. back on. 
They about to be they about to be old school Bama beat down it, man. Second sec, second half thirds, man. It's second man third second and third string out there handling business. Right. Like, you know probably gonna do it like that. I don't, I don't I don't see it, man. I just don't see Big Twelve like that in the defense wise. Like I just don't see it, man. Yeah. Just don't see it. And then yeah. on the offense and Utah gonna be a problem though. What do you think? Who said Utah gonna be a Utah. Damn. Damn. I, I wasn't impressed with Utah. I mean, granted, they were on their fourth quarterback. Well, Utah they, wasn't playing their starters really. Down because I was like, they, they, didn't, they didn't really impress. And we really won that game. It was the referees that screwed us over in that game. Oh, but Utah, you, oh, God. yeah, they were terrible. But Utah, I don't know. I didn't really see much. That's why I'm like, we should be winning Utah. Now, well, they're granted, saying Cam Rising supposed to be back. Uh, see, so. I, don't, I didn't. I never watched him, so I don't know if he was good or not. He can help. He can run. Believe it or not, he can run. Well, he better be all right because he about to get hit. That's all I ought to say. Yeah, he, he takes too many smack, smack. Hit, So we'll see. I don't know what kind of cam rising we're going to get. So we'll see. That's the only thing. He just so old. Oh, old. he's like 25. Ain't played in almost two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it. Well, hold on. Wait a minute now. We had COVID, so COVID, you know, pushed everything back up, whatever yeah, you want to yeah. call. It. Mm-hmm. I mean, and think about it. Shiloh is twenty four years at twenty four years of age this year. We're twenty three. You just stacked on Shiloh. You cold. No, no, no. He's twenty four. Is he twenty four? Yeah, he's twenty four. Nope. I'm a check. Um, he, he he was born ninety nine. I thought he was born in two thousands. Dude, yeah, if he's born in 2000, 2000, he should be 24. Yeah, he's 24. Oh, he was born, I'm, I'm, I'm on his wiki page. Born February the 9th, 2000. He's age 24. Yeah, because I remember he just he just had a birthday because I, I, I follow him on Instagram. I follow Deion Sanders. So Deion Sanders like, oh, my favorite son. You know how Deion, you know, he, you know, he's like he plays and stuff like well, that. Well, technically, he's only, well, he's right. He only, because he had been injured and stuff. He's only technically, this is going in his fourth <laughs> year of actually playing. So technically, yeah. like on the field, he's a senior, even though he's not. But but I mean, think about it. Bo Nix was doggone near fifty years of age. Bo Nix was well, like, married. Not... Exactly. Everything else. Bo Nix yeah. is married. He's just, he's old man. I'm like, dag on. I don't. Yeah, I feel, hey, look, and that's he's that's why. Around and get drafted. That's why I never gave him any props. I was like, he's been in college for the past thirty thousand years of his life. Like he should be this good. And he gonna get drafted. On top mm-hmm. of it. Yeah, but like you know, that's his back in the day age. Like you know, he fifth year and se- fifth year senior. Like, okay, I don't get it. Like especially on defense, it's good to get a fifth year. They're more promising in the league. He gonna, I think he gonna have a, that. Just saying, he gonna have a long NFL career. Who does I like? Who it. Does, um, pr- um, prime called grown. Is it Shador or Shiloh? Shador. Shador. He calls him grown. Okay. Yep. He calls him grown. It is grown. Yeah, so I mean, uh, uh, Shadur got that seriousness with him. He got a he's a, he's very he's a quiet, he's what you call a quiet storm. He wants to Shadour win, grown. He's, he's quiet about it, but he wants to win bad. He does. He's a type where he's quiet and he wants to embarrass you. That's the type of that's that's what I think he is. He wants to win bad. Bad, yeah, you are about 50. Remember how he was playing in high school? He was putting up 60 points, 70 points. Yeah, that's how he wants to win. Thanks, Motor City. I appreciate the compliment. Don't let the extracurricular fool you. He wants to win. He does. I can see in his eyes. He want to win. Yeah, no, Shador. He's going to do what he got to do, man. There ain't about to be no – he already got 30 wins already. He want to get 40 before he get out of here. He wants to have crazy. a hell of a season. He wants to get in the playoffs. He of wants course. to. Because he know if he get that team in the playoffs, yes, he's the first quarterback taken. Yes. He's the first quarterback taken. No hand, hands down. He'd be the first quarterback taken. He might be number one overall if he do that. I don't know, y'all. Mm-hmm. I, this is what I do know. I do think that Shador is a really good quarterback. I don't think he's like the best ever, ever, ever. Um, no but I'm, the I'm, best I'm ever, ever, ever. Yeah, Tom Brady. You know, well, that's true. But I mean, you he got could, Joe Montana. He could, be, he could be. You never know. He could be the next Tom Brady. 
but he'll yeah. be the you know he'll be the he'll be the first Shador. But my concern, yeah, first Shador, my concern yeah. about Shador is his backity back back back. No, he said he's good. I think he's yeah, good. Well, we'll see. Yeah, he'd be all right. He's older now too, stronger, bigger. You know what I'm saying he's he gonna get bigger if he they got five more months hit them weights. That's a lot of time to hit the weights, yo. They about to get a whole lot bigger. He grown now, he really grown. He was what 22? Yeah, something he like born, that. He's he 22 now. He's born in 2002. I know that. Okay, so yeah, so, yeah, he, yeah, it's different. He mature now. He was still kind of young last year, 21. So, yeah, he'd be all right. I don't think he's gonna get touched too many times this year. I and think he, he is. Touch, he's gonna know it. Huh? You think, think he, he is? is? Yeah, I do. I think he, I think, like I said, y'all, I don't know what y'all saw on that field, but there is a level of sinister jealousy. There's a layer of it. I see it, and they're Even gonna come. You? Yes, and you they're gonna what? come. They're because they're jealous of him, and nobody Who's wants of him? The other players. They don't want. They don't want his whole watch thing, the flexing of the watch, which I love because nah, I think it adds to the game. Came. And I'm they here for that. For the, the flexing of the watch, yeah, stuff, the flex that's like, yeah. I'm, I don't have a problem with it, y'all. I don't have a problem with just it. Just like jewelry. But at the end, but at the end of the day. You, you trust and believe other people do. I know if I was in the opposing team, I'm like, I'll, I'd be like this. I know one thing's for sure. He ain't going to be flexing that watch. So I'm going to come for him. I mean, that's no, just how, not, that's how I would look, be. Oh, you're talking yeah, about opposing players. like last year. Yeah, opposing yeah, teams. Like, okay. Well, opposing team? Oh, well, yeah, that's – who cares? Like, we, that's expected. I thought you were talking well, about on the team. Uh, so you're uh, saying that's your motivation I, to like, yeah, to really go come out. at him. That's what I saw last year, last on the season. Like they were just, man, they were just beyond nasty they think, to him. They were targeting him and Travis. That bothered envy. me. That really bothered me. Right, envy. I, I hope they don't get dirty. Like I mean, I, well, they we should already know. See, like, like that little thing, like how shallow smacked the boy. Like, yeah, I hope that kind of taught everybody. Like always, you know. Keep you know protect yourself out there because anytime anything can happen. So I'm pretty sure they they on high alert now. You know they on super high alert about dirty getting hit dirty and all of that. So thank you. And, and I also want to sit there and I've said this many times before. This is not something that vacationing with kids said. She said this: Shador will get sacked 25 times. He got sacked a lot at Jackson, and they had this. They had this. They had some of the our best PS linemen or some some P5 linemen or whatever. I, I, I've i said this a million times. The way Shador plays football, he takes intentional sacks sometimes. He was the, he was one of the most sacked quarterbacks when he was at Jackson, and they had the far better superior team. He will still take a lot of sacks this year, but it will not be at the level that we saw last year. But I guarantee, I'm calling it now, He's probably going to be the the probably the top maybe ten most sacked quarterbacks. Well, again, like you know, he stay in the pocket. He's trying to like well, a lot of times he probably got cupped. Who knows? But I don't, I don't like last year, him holding on and like people was saying throw the ball. Sometimes could have been grounding on the rollouts. He looking, he holding it. That one time I get it, but he he kind of last year I don't, he didn't hold on to the ball to where he can really say he was holding on to the ball instead of throwing it Mm-mm. that one yeah. game the first game Damn. he did do that 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 he said when he ran out of bounds and he didn't throw and I, I already knew that was going to haunt him when he did that so he about to get haunted for that Damn. and he Damn. has you know it went yeah but what's up vacation is a guy oh it is mm-hmm. did i say a she oh yeah. <laughs> he did it multiple times tonight Oh my god! You know what? <laughs> I think it's because you said vacationing with kids. For some reason, I thought you were a woman. Sorry. <laughs> the world. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I just, I'm I just sorry. Assumed. I know Tom was in the middle of something, but I just had to say, Sam. That's Thank you. I really thought it was a woman. Sorry about that. <laughs> Man, you need a spell checker over there. And no, I just no. I just I just assumed it was like oh, and then it was Bay B A E. So I just like subconscious like oh, it's probably a woman. She's got kids. B A E, I don't know. Um, so yeah, it's all good. But yeah, I do think I do think that Shador is still going to get sacked a lot. I don't think he's going to get sacked yeah, anywhere Sam does near her homework. as as much as um. I'm proud of you. You really, 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 really yeah. Really Sam really does her homework. Do she don't make. She don't play games. <laughs> Have you yeah, been I've to her up. panel? 
Have you been to her channel, Nay? Yeah, have you been? Um, hey, uh, yeah. Sam, can you put your channel in the back chat so I can share it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you do. Yeah, that. I've I've definitely I've definitely come a long way, and I still have a long way to go. I still don't yeah, know the she, details she of lot. like. Yeah, I still don't know the details of football and stuff like that. Like when Thomas, you go into these like details and stuff like that, I'm like, my eyes pretty much glaze over. Like, okay, here he goes. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, he knows the intricacies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Game. You know the intricacies. Oh my god. And then when you come out of that, then I'm like, then I come back into the conversation. I mean, you know what? That's needed because um, I like when people um, break certain things. That, like we were watching a film earlier. And I like watching them. That's why I say I'm gonna come live. I want to watch the film with them because they always like they they see it from a different perspective because they played yeah. that level of football before. I only played high school, so there's levels to it. Yep. Right. There's levels to it. You know, high school is is like high school is kind of like the uh, foundation. You supposed to learn fundamentals there, but it's a different level at college. Whole yeah. different level of football. I know it's more, it's, into a bunch of them, whole different yeah. level. Yeah, I I will say one thing because I've been in these <clears> chats <throat> now for about the past six eight months. Um, I will say that it's been quite a learning experience, but <clears throat> you know people can disagree. Like for instance, when I said, remember a couple hours ago when I said I was so shocked about Derek McClendon and Roderick Ward, especially Derek McClendon, because being in these chats, everybody dogged on him. Oh, he's People, I remember people saying, "Oh, he's the loudest to, to yell." We're here, we're. He, but when he is, when he's on the field, he's nowhere to be found. He's a ghost. He's not that this. He's not that that. Well, guess what? He did great pro day. Roderick Ward. Nobody said anything about Roderick Ward in these chats. He did fantastic pro day. Mm -hmm. And some of the guys that they were talking about were really good, and they were supposed to do all this that this kind <clears> of <throat> third. They didn't really do that great pro day. So you just never know. Even when you're listening to guys who I've all, you know, I have no more than me in football, have played football, but it just goes to show when it comes to the human condition, you can't always accurately predict because people can surprise you. That's, that's, that's why you got combines. You know, that's why people, you say you, if they, they good, they do, if they do good at the pro day and they do have a good combine, they can make it up. So, that's what he did, and we knew but his season that last. He had a history of, like McClendon, when he was at Florida State. Supposed to be, you know, he did really well. He came here, then not too good. And when you do that as a player, and you about to go to the league, what you gotta do now is you gotta have an outstanding pro day in a combine to even get back in the picture. So he did that. He knew what he had to do. Yeah, he went and did it. And remember, he, you know, Derek didn't go to the combine. He didn't. He wasn't invited. He went to the pro day. Right. Right. You gotta either yeah, either or either you gotta make you know what I'm saying? Like if right. they wanna you say you good and you didn't have Same a thing with Right, mm -hmm. right. You gotta you get to make it up in those those situations. Because like if you got the skill, they just wanna see if you got the skill, like uh, agility, like you know, you to be in the league. You know, if they, if he's smart enough, okay. You play college football, you play four years of college football, okay. You might got a good chance. That's but you play four years of college football. And, and, and you have a good pro day in, in camp, you got a chance to make it to the pros. Yeah, and I, that's and again, like I didn't those two were not on my radar. And they weren't on anybody's radar. I mean, I hardly anybody said anything about Roderick Ward. And I remember people were dogging out Derek McClendon. So when well, he no, went we to the on Ward, we spoke on Ward in here. We I, we we dogged on McClendon. I was, I was yeah, saying Ward, we, we, knew, was we knew Ward was going to be able to, he had, we knew Ward was fast. I didn't, like but I, I, no, I, I, didn't, I would say, you, you just didn't, I will say this, and I don't remember, it. I mean, again, I, I, I'm not on every single person's podcast and live and all that other stuff, but I've been, you know, I've been on a lot of them. I don't hardly remember anybody talking about Robert Ward, like hardly nah, anybody. And, I, fast. and then. And then, and then on top of that, with Derek, you guys were dogging out Derek. Yeah, he was smacking. Yeah, McClendon, he he, he yeah. didn't produce. But but Ward, that yeah, yeah, we were talking about all that with Ward. No, you missed that. I don't know if you listen here. I, Cause we was talking about how he was hitting and all of that. We already knew he was fast. Like 
when you when you playing football and if you run like a four, I thought he ran a four three. We we didn't run a four four seven. I thought he was faster than that. Well, that's what I was saying all year. He ran a four three, but he don't. So just off of him running a four three alone, I'm already knowing he got a chance to go. Like you're going. Like matter of fact, you're going. You're gonna be on somebody's team probably if you run a four three and. You run a full full. So yeah, and then Roderick going. Ward had a great – Roderick Ward, he didn't have a great pro day. He had an outstanding pro day, like, to yeah, the point where it was, was like, going. who are you, sir? Like, where are you? Who are you? He just popped. Uh, Y'all didn't lottery. know he was fast. Uh, Smoke did okay. Smoke was great. Like, Smoke wasn't bad, but he wasn't – he did okay. Yeah, he we knew X. We knew Xavier okay. and, 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 and Rod was, like, for show for shows. Cause they fat. Like it, if you got the bet, the if you were a full fo, you got a you you in there. Like you could really be just pretty much in there. I totally agree with you. You sure did. Full fo too. Them guys are fast. Jimmy yeah. Horn, he Zay in Adam. there. He run a fo three. Everybody Zay who run a fo three. Right. Everybody who Sam. Everybody who run a fo fo on the team. They pros. They just gotta just stay healthy and keep playing and be yeah. competent. Like once you get that fast, the NFL will pick you up. Like, yeah, this is how I go. Just so you know, the people that were kind of disappointing that were like, I thought they would do better was Taj Alston did not have a good pro day. Like, oof, what happened to him? Maybe he right. ate, it, maybe, maybe he ate too much and just and he didn't prepare. He no, just, he pulled, he pulled his hamstring. He said, he said, he said he pulled his hamstring. That's why he ran that 40 like that. That oh, ought to be like, that ought to, if Dominic ran a 4 6, he, he'd be going for sure. Jeez, if man, you, I feel bad for Austin. Yeah. yeah, he did not do good. And Jordan Dominic, he his wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that great either. It was like, uh, mm-hmm. okay. It was if okay. he would have benched more, he if he would have benched like twenty seven, maybe thirty, like he Billy and him. Mm-mm. I was, that and then now, it was it was so bad that Buff Zone or whatever that's always positive about Jordan. Ooh, they were like he had a very disappointing pro day. I'm like, damn. Right, he because he yeah. missed the 20, 15. Uh, oh yeah, no, he had seventeen times. I don't know what happened. He just met. He didn't. I just remember thinking about. I remember shaking my head. I was like, dude, you're fucking. Up. I'm sorry, you're messing up, man. Yeah. All right, was, so, but I, but I, all that was, said, though, he, he his, all that said, he did get a recent invite for the Denver Broncos. So I don't know, maybe. Maybe Coach Prime might have picked up the phone. Maybe somebody called him and said, hey, look, he might not have done great in his pro day, but look at his entire collegiate career. He is the man, and you need to give him a tryout. I'm thinking but that see, might happen. But see, him not getting the invite don't mean he's not about to get drafted still. No, 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 no. I said he got an invite. His invite came in late. Right, but, yeah, he still might like he still might get drafted or undrafted, but, like, he would have had a better chance if he would have ran a quicker 40, like a 4-6. Is he two, what is he, like 250? He got to run like a four six, yeah. He, you know, because you got you got guys that's three hundred running a four <sighs> seven. It was bad. I, no, no, it wasn't bad. I take that back. It was just eh, it's okay. It wasn't expected. Uh, I mean, his his bench could have been a whole. Uh, his bench could have been a little better, and his forty could have been like a like a second quicker. But if he can get if he can run a four six in the pros, and if he can get up to like two sixty, he'll be all right. And that's how they're gonna look at him. They're gonna say if he can get two sixty, and he can get up around four six, he can get out there. You know, and like you're Austin, welcome, they, slap happy. Good night, slap happy. Singing. You too, slap happy. Slap. Austin might be a little different, yo. Yeah, I'm about to get off in a second. Okay. Hey, we've been on man. This is an iron dog. Oh, damn, this is an iron oh, session. Time? Seven hours, dog. Seven. Yeah, seven ten yeah, on the clock. Me to, that means you're gonna to get roll. paid, Max. You're gonna get paid. It's time for me to roll now. <laughs> yeah, totally. Seven, ten, Thank seven you. Hours? Damn, we just yeah. pulled. We, a TB, yeah. you, pulled, you pulled your time tonight. TB in the chat. <laughs> huh? You said who? TB said TB. No, I said TB. Um, he's live. He be doing marathon lives too. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't oh, been yeah, live no. in a while. So I made up for it today. I haven't been live in a while. Yeah. You my go, lives are um you, most of my lives are pre-recorded. Yeah, you're live. You go live on your other channel because I listen to it sometimes. Yeah, those be pre-recorded sometimes too. Yeah, I listen to it sometimes. Yeah, and then yeah. I have another channel I go live on that, but that's pre-recorded. Golly, look at you, Mister YouTube. 
Teach us your ways. Another one that I'm getting ready to go live on. Oh my gosh. Yep. Wow. So do you do this yeah, and your full time? Wow. You I have my own business. Okay. Now I, do. I have something. my own business now. Good for you. Well, congratulations. Yep. All right. Well, so it's like my time has been de- devoted to that now. So. You know, you work twice as hard for yourself than you yeah. did somewhere for somebody else. So sure my time is that. like, damn. I try to go live when I can, you know, Sundays. It looks like it's going to be like the weekend now, maybe Sunday. I mean, to go live live, you know, where I'm actually here. Yeah. So I just do it. The other lives are just so I can keep my content rolling because that's the only time I have a chance to do content unless I kind of like pre record it. When I get like a second, so reasonable. But Sam, you're doing pretty good yourself, though, huh? Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to, you know, like I said, I think I'm, I'm actually going to slow down content, so I'm not going to post as yeah. much. Why not? Um, why? Why are you? Why are you slowing down? Um, well, because I'm about to start a new job. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but, but still, I mean, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, so I can't. I won't be able to post as much. I might, but I, you know, I might do lives instead because it's, you know, because for okay, me to put together okay. a video it takes me a little bit of time and stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, like yeah, definitely. When you go, I got I got the notifications on, so if you go live, I'll catch it. Awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Well, anyway, TV I, be getting me through my um days sometime. I be oh. I listen to TV live. I have it in the background. <laughs> it, yeah, it'd be hilarious, especially oh, when I'm somebody sure. somebody get going. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Well, all right, guys, thanks for all coming right. on. It's it's been real, man. Time yeah, we made up for lost time. Yeah, absolutely. so I got a little tapping up, man. That's what's up. Y'all yeah. talk, y'all right. talk so. um boxing. I mean, I can talk a little who? bit. I know that the, the YouTuber versus Mike Tyson. I put up a video about it. I don't even like to say his name, Jake Paul. What a mess. Oh, Mike, about to, I tell you, uh, Mike, we heard Mike again. Mike is oh, about to God. tear this man head off. Uh, what kind of rules where, where is it going to be? Is it, is it Marcus of Queensberry? What kind of rules is going to be? It's going to be different than Marcus rules, of Queensberry, yeah. right? Yeah, man, like that. Tyson about to go go to work. We're where are we, where, where are we at? He's I not going to beat Teddy. Tyson under the Marcus of Queensberry. He's not doing it. He ain't going to beat Tyson, period. This man is Hopefully about he got insurance ready. He's might crazy. Like he, crazy. Might look like he got 10 years he's younger. Because you know what's going to happen, right? He's going to hit Mike the wrong way, and Mike oh. is going to snap. Oh, <laughs> man, I, I think it's he, this guy will probably do maybe one, maybe two rounds. And that'll be it. How many rounds are they supposed to be fighting, you know? Mm-hmm. One is too many. I mean, because to be honest with you, if they're not, because I know Paul wants to, he he's really considering like turning pro, so he wants to fight Mike to see where he's at, and I'm sure Mike will tell him after the fight where he <laughs> think he's at, right? Oh, he about to so find out. The case <laughs> well, he, he needs to fight floor. Mike under regular rules. He needs to to see where he's at, because Mike will be able to um, assess his skill skill set. He about to mm-hmm. say something. I don't know what's about to be his skill. I mean, he'll be able to tell him where he's at, you know, like, okay, based upon oh, your fight, and I think you're ready. Oh, man. But what if he ate? But what if he ate, Bax? What if he ate? Well, that's how he learned, though. He's going to learn, you know. He'll oh, be able man. to see where his skill's at, at least. Because he's what supposed he- to be able to have a good showing here. He said he couldn't. Mike said he couldn't wait to get one of these YouTubers. <laughs> I know Mike. See, Mike has that itch. He still had the itch in him. Yeah, he's taking a payday, but he got that itch to fight. He has the yeah. itch. He's been had it a long. See, with Roy Jones, he couldn't do it because Roy right. wasn't trying to fight him like that. And he was. You see how Mike was disappointed. He wanted to actually fight. This time right. he's gonna get his opportunity. Right, they don't understand. Mike Tyson is a different kind of person. Like, man, this man, he he's so he's like he just loves to box. Like, he like yeah, it's box, but he, he has he, the he, itch. He has to knock something out. Like, he literally just every like, why are you still practicing? Holyfield don't do that. Lennox nah. Lewis and the man still practicing. No, you don't see them practicing. This man is always practicing boxing. He's fast too, still. Yeah, he is. And he's dangerous because he knows how to hit you. See, that's what Paul is going to figure out. 
this guy knows how to take you down. He better not. He better not let Mike come close, because that's nah, how Mike gets not. you. Because once yeah. Mike comes close up to you, it is a effing wrap. It's it's so done. Well, all he gotta do is hit like that. That hit you in the midsection, go uppercut like he used to do. Mm. That, Knock see, all the, the wind out the body. Shot, he said it freezes you, mm. and then that sets you up for the uppercut. Imagine, mm. imagine losing all the air out your chest and then getting hit upside the head with a club. <laughs> that's, that's tight. I don't think he realized. I think he's looking at Mike's age. No, you don't look at his age. You look at what type of shape he's in, and he already had the experience. So yeah, it's a dangerous fight for him. But he'll see where he's at, though. Do you guys watch? Do you no guys watch? To be do you all do MMA at all or no? I watch it. <clears throat> Not anymore. Really? How after, come? Uh, after John Jones caught his first drug case, I stopped watching. Why? Because he took his BS. Yeah, it was like it was, he was beating everybody up, and I was like, I think it was like 2012 or something, 11. I stopped watching. Well, see, that man is now. That's a dangerous man. I don't think he should be fighting nah, people. That's how dangerous he is. Them elbows or something else, man. Yeah, he dangerous. Whew. Dangerous. Even late in his career, he's still dangerous. He's you know? teaching now, I think. Yeah, I think he is teaching, coaching. Mm. John Joe's Cause I was, guy. Because I do you, do you, uh, I, I know you guys are thinking about starting a boxing channel. I know I want to do yeah. – I'm trying to determine whether I want to put out MMA content or boxing content. I'm not sure. Well, with MMA, you have a lot more content because there's so many – like boxing is so like – it's far in but well if you well, I like I like the golden glove stuff too because you know the Olympics is coming up. Mm, okay. So I wanna like follow the Olympic boxing. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about boxing, period. But you know, the Olympic boxing is coming up. And you know, the qualifying for certain um for the Olympics is coming up. So there's a lot of content out there around boxing. Because I'm always looking for the next champion you know in the olympics like i follow floyd since he was in the olympics you know what i love about floyd mayweather right now mm. i'm obsessed with his grandson his little, little grandson hit that boxes he's like oh yeah he's gonna groom him two or three have you son. seen him oh my gosh he gonna groom that him. little boy yes he is that little boy he's posting content of his little he's he's gonna be like two or three years old this That's little YG boy son, is so it? adorable yeah, uh, NBA? and NBA. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's yeah, boxing his grandfather. Yeah. It's so yeah. cute. I said, man, you're gonna be adorable, just like your daddy. Good for him. That's his <laughs> grandson. His granddaddy. Yeah. His yeah. dad yeah. rapping. Yeah, he, he's grooming. He's gonna groom him to fight. You he said already Mike got the little combo to hit him too hard. It's in the contract. Yeah, I don't want him to fight then. If if I was him, I just wouldn't fight then. What you mean he's not allowed to hit him too hard? Yeah, I agree. Technically, I agree with that because he can kill him. (laughs) So technically, so he ain't ready. I don't think he should fight him. Period. If it's that case, because yeah, he can kill that kid if he wanted to. Oh man, but I think he should be a gentleman. Mike is actually. I don't think so. I think he wants to fight. They they trying to figure out the rules. I think he wants to fight him. If he trying to use this for like an expedition, like. I think it's an expedition. Like he's trying to, yeah. So he gonna get the full works. It just might not be like, well, I don't know. This might be a high paid expedition fight, but like, no, uh, Mike want to go full blast with him. Yeah, that's what I want to see happen. Ain't no cocky thing. That's what I want to see what happen. I mean, if you if you want to sit here and get into the ring with a lion, then damn it, you get in the ring with the lion. Don't turn that lion into a cub based on rules. I hate that mess. It's a right. gamble for um, it's a gamble for Paul though, because he can get hit the wrong way and his career is over. So well, it's a gamble happen. for him. But that can happen that's, any fighter, though. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what he he's trying to see if he can. He, that's what he's saying. He's saying if I can handle one of Mike Tyson's punches, I can go and handle at least the 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 average amount of punches in in whatever boxing profession I'm about to go to. Not so, with the young guys though, his age that are that are professionals, then he ain't gonna I don't know if it's gonna work. All right, Jake right. Paul is ever but fought we'll are washed up has-beens who have come out of retirement to fight him so that he wins. 
this dude is a joke and a clown, which I put in the video I made about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. And I call him YouTuber versus Mike Tyson. I made an entire video and calling Jake Paul a freaking clown. But yeah, I'll watch <laughs> it. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Why not? I don't know. I guess the ex, I guess they what's the bag for Mike? How much is he getting? They Anybody gotta be paying know? him a lot of money. It's it's yeah. on Netflix, so they gotta be paying him like oh, it's gonna be on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix. It's gotta be whew, yeah, it's gotta God, be a little weird. bag there. Yeah, I mean, and he'll be set up yet again, once again for life financially. Yeah, yeah this is a little bag there, so it's a big bag. Yeah, it's just and I don't know, like I said. I wish he would fight somebody more formidable. Yeah, I want to uh, see a fight fight. Yeah, that's what I want to see. This is a mess. But, yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Well, you I guys... I want the old break his ribs. He come in the ring just with the towel on. And he with gets the, in the ring and he just, he just ready to go. I want to see that, Mike. But, you know, he don't come, he don't come in like that, I'm telling you. What with other the, with, the, with the Reaper what, shirt on? What other boxes are on your radar right now? What name names? Um, I'm looking Maybe. at some of these Olympic boxes because okay. the boxers now they don't want to fight each other, and I'm tired of them. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I mean, I'd be watching Devin Haney, and you know, I watch them all, but I just want to yeah. see them fight each other. Right. That's all. They all in different, all in different classes now. I, the the best boxing was um is past now, eighties and nineties. That's the best boxing. You if right you about that. that. You've seen the yeah. best of it. Everything past best basketball. Why do you, why do, you why do you think a boxing doesn't have its the golden errors? What happened? What's your opinion? They don't want to fight each other. The world is too soft. Really. Yeah, back in the day, you know, Mike Tyson lost fights. You have to be willing to lose fights to fight. You know, like somebody's gonna lose. I mean, what about Tyson Fury? Can't be scared. That's a rig. Who, I mean, like who is he fighting? You know, I mean, I would like to see him fight Joshua. It's like didn't he already knock Joshua out twice? But they're not gonna fight. They're not gonna fight each other. I'm gonna see. Um, I don't even want to see Joshua fight. Uh, what's is, is he retired now? I don't even hear about him no more. Deontay Wilder, he retired. Yeah. He just got beat by Joshua. No, he Deontay a, Wilder, the dark skinned brother. Didn't they just fight? Didn't he? Who, no, that uh, was Nagano. Oh yeah, Nagano. He knocked out Joshua. Yeah, Joshua knocked out Nagano. Yeah, uh, but didn't he just beat him too? I thought he beat the. Uh, nah, they they don't want to fight. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the promoters or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like in this case, neither one of them could be goddamn Fury. Yeah, so Fury's, Tom, a, Fury's a dangerous fighter. So Thomas, you never watched the Khabib and Conor McGregor fight? I watched the, uh, MMA. Wait, the, uh, yeah, you didn't watch. Which it. one? Which Khabib, no, Khabib and Conor? Yeah, you didn't watch it. I well, watched. I think I did Khabib. I think I, I'm trying to remember what, what it looked like. I think I didn't him. Didn't he, did he lose him? He lost, right? Yeah, Connor lost. Yeah, Connor, yeah, he got hurt too. Yeah, I think I seen that one. I seen a bunch of his fights. He he ain't that good to me. I mean, he kind of garbage. He ain't really that good to me. He got I think that I did see that. Did he get choked out? Right, he got choked out against uh oh boy. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Did he get choked out? Yeah, you're right. He got choked out. Yeah, he got he tapped out because he was choking out. Yeah, he's um, talking about that smack. Always talking smack, getting choked out. Like, the Gregor ain't that hot to me. Like, only like right now, like, and then them guys, like the one, uh, the guy from uh, Ukraine, wherever, with the Russian, he pretty good. The Russian Muslim, the Muslim brother. Yeah, it could be. With the big ears, it could be. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he said with the big ears. Ear. <laughs> <big ear. laughs> so true. The big ass them, that's them boxing ears. He got them boxed out ears. They really be punching themselves, making their ears like that. They get a board and they'll, they'll hit their ear and make it swell up. So it just be like, I guess I don't know, reinforce. I don't know. I don't you want my ears to work. when they get those cauliflower ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Khabib retired though. He's no longer. Yeah, he retired. 
Yeah, once his father yeah. died, he's like, he didn't have any passion anymore. Yeah, I'm mean, fighting bears. Wrestling, you want to fight to my bear in the backyard? Allahu Akbar. <laughs> 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 that was a really good impression. You got some talent, man. Wow. It's a really good impression. Dude, yep. You nailed it. Like you the beloved it. Iron Sheik used to say, a loud walk bar. Yeah, you know I'm talking about. Like, you know, talking about you know, my, oh, yeah, I remember that play. He choked him like sad. He was talking so much. Khalid was just like, this guy think he could fight? I fight bear. <laughs> he was like, you know, I was like, what? You fighting bears, bro? Yeah, I was like, yeah, he owned one, bro. I was lit, bro. I was, I was, he, right, did, he was, get out of here, man. Yeah. Right for sure, for sure. All right. Good oh, morning guys. to you. Might as well say good, good morning. morning. Good, morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm a couple everybody. hours away from breakfast. <laughs> but I'm a couple here. hours away from breakfast. Same here. It's like 4.37 oh. a.m. my time. <laughs> I know. Oh, same it's, here. <laughs> it's one. It's, crazy. A, it's only one o'clock over here. Yeah, you won. <laughs> you on the West lucky. Coast. You lucky. All <laughs> well, right. Good night, everybody. All right, good night, good All right. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. I'll be yeah. back. We'll be back next weekend or some, whenever I can get it in. Sounds good. Okay, uh, thanks for coming in. You yeah. know, we'll do it again. Sam Tate. Yeah. We'll wait for her to go live at some point. She got content over there. Yeah. So check Thank Sam you. out. Thank you so much. Everybody take care. Good night. Good night. All right, Sam. Bye-bye. All right, y'all.